friends, happy Saturday everyone. Welcome to the stream. Let me go ahead and fix the headset. We'll get this show on the road. Good to see you, by the way. All right. Audio should be coming up pretty soon. Uh, let me go over to the Discord really, really quick. And one second, too. Let me just bump the volume up a little bit over here. Yes, all the way. Max it out, just in case we get some alerts today. I do have a new sub goal, escapees. We are at 54 out of 60 subs for this month. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It would help out a ton, you guys. Thank you so much. It's been a blast so far, you guys. Good, uh, good month of streams so far, escapees. Yeah, I'd like to think that I'm kind of back into the swing of things. A few months ago, sadly, I, you know, had kind of stopped streaming regularly, and I was missing a lot of days and stuff like that. And I think we finally kind of broke that cycle, which is really nice. Of course, you know, I still take a couple days off here and there, but it's not like four months like I did a couple months ago. Oh, man. Yeah, I had a mean old four-month break. It was crazy. All right, so I just add everybody on Discord. I went ahead and did that one first, because sometimes I forget. School's back in session today over on the Soul Stream. Come hang out, chat with me and the escapees while we do some terrible things for the Crimson Fleet Raiders. Only in Starfield, only on Twitch. Click the link to join. That's twitch.tv slash soulscape. Twitch.tv slash S-O-U-L underscore three S-C-4 P-3. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Uh, added a couple of hashtags with that, but that's the tweet pretty much. Gonna copy paste that over to Facebook. Oh, they want me to add a button. I'll just say not now. <laughs> no! All right, next thing the next. Let me do a little testing, make sure the audio is synced up to the video. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, looks good. I'll go ahead and lower the audio right there so you don't hear any echoes. Yo, what's up, Chris Theon? Welcome to the stream and Quivery Room. You guys are the first person in the channel. First person I see there is Chris let me go ahead and throw that hype right there. Welcome in, you guys. Good to see you. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're having a good start to your weekend. All right, let me uh, throw some emotes in there as well. All right, uh, one second. What am I looking at? But yo, how are you doing, Quivery Room? Welcome in. How are you doing, Chrisan? Good to see you. I was looking at something, now I forgot. Oh, well. All right, let's go to the stream manager. Just make sure that we're in the right game category here. Make sure everything says Starfield. I did play a little Fallout 76 last stream, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I could do that again. Definitely have more of those daily challenges to complete, but I'm glad I finally was able to collect most of the stuff off the scoreboard. I had been waiting for a while. I was like, oh man, I gotta get this game on stream again. So we did, we played a little bit of 76. All right, uh, I think, yeah, I already posted over on Facebook. Good, good, good. Oh, that's what I was gonna do, of course. The mobile postings. All right, do you have a video that I'm sending over to Snapchat? And one more going over to Instagram stories. So if you want to see that, feel free to do so. Oh, I'll turn the volume down on that. All right, just let me uh, add a couple of hashtags. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, yo, what's up, Nimi? Welcome to the stream. Hark now, what do I hear? Nimrod5885 with the subscription. Thank you for the 73 months. Holy snap. Thank you so much, Nimi. I hope you've been doing well. Good to see you. Yeah, let's give some resub love. 
in the channel for Nimrod. If you guys haven't checked out his stream, he's also a fellow streamer, Scapies. Thank you, Nimmy, for the 73. Uh, 70, yes, yeah, 73, right? Let me, uh, let me go back up there and make sure. Yeah, 73, woo! Se it's been 73 years. One second, escapees. Gotta hashtag my tweet over here. Yo, what's up, Alex? Good to see you, too. Thank you, Nimi. How are you doing? Welcome in. You been playing any Starfield? I've been working in uh, Doc Savage's channel. I know he's been playing a little bit of Starfield here and there. Just throwing some hashtags over here, scapies. But I will get back to you in one second. Alright, hashtag cosplay. There we go. We should be good. Whew. Alright, we are live out on the uh, Instagram stories. Excellent. Yay. Okay, throw that away. Put that oh you know what oh I hate it I forgot to do threads as well let me uh, let me quickly grab my tweet and I'll just really as fast as I can let me copy paste it and throw it over on threads I know it dude threads the quickest dying social media. I had high hopes for threads. I was like, oh, this is going to be so good. It's going to be better than Twitter. And then like after one week, pff, complete silence, tumbleweeds, crickets, the whole sh uh, shebang and stuff. Yeah, good to see you guys. Welcome in. Thank you so much for hanging out, everybody. Good to see you. Once again, huge shout out to Nimi for the 73 months. That is amazing. 73 months hype right there. I hope everything's been going well in the me. Thank you so much. That is amazing. Blows my mind. I'm like, holy snap. Whew, time flies, escapees. Time flies. Well, it's good to see everybody. I hope you guys are doing well. I am in as the schoolgirl today. Yay! Uh, if you're just coming in, I've been rotating a couple of my Halloween outfits. I've been the nurse on stream. I was the nun last stream. Gothic, kind of creepy nun. Uh, kind of clownish is what my face paint ended up looking like uh, if you want to see it you know check out last stream and uh, today what well, we're gonna do the school girl I think I did the school girl last week or a couple weeks ago I don't know maybe I just took some pictures or something and I'm confusing that with that but uh, yeah that's about it escapees I do have a suggestion list over on my tweets or my discord if anybody has any other ideas I'll be putting some of those ideas that you guys have already given me thank you shout out to you if you helped me out with that um, I'll be putting some of those ideas over on my Amazon wish list. Maybe a few um, of my followers can help me out with that. If not, don't worry, escapees. Don't feel bad at all. Uh, these outfits are actually, they were gifted as well last year and stuff. So huge shout out to you guys. Thank you so much, escapees. And uh, once again, thank you for all the suggestions as well. Oh yeah, okay. So today's a little bit of a special night. Uh, nothing too special or anything. We're going to be, just because it's Saturday, I decided to, and you know, I'm home alone and all that. Nobody's here right now except for, well, my brother, you know, he's over in his room and stuff. Uh, but other than that, mom's not here. So I decided to run over to Safeway and I got more of these $1.50 little one hitter quitter shots. And I haven't started drinking yet, but I poured a little bit over ice and I don't want it to get watery. So throughout the night, I'll just kind of, you know, mix and match here. But we have a little bit of alcoholic beverage. This is the Chi Chi's Pina Colada mix. It's a little bit of a wine cocktail. It has 12.5% alcohol. So it should be good escapees, yay. So that's just the special occasion. No real special occasion or anything. Just, you know, hey, it's Saturday, whoa. So we're gonna hopefully get a little bit loose here on the stream. 
yeah, no problem, Nimi. No, thank you so much for everything, dude. I appreciate it. Nimi's one of the first people that I met over here on Twitch. Oh, so many years ago. Wow. Good seven, eight years ago. Thank you, Carpet Noctum. Huge shout out to Carpet Noctum. Uh, yes, he is a big supporter of the stream. He's helped me get a bunch of these outfits, a whole bunch of those fish nets and all that stuff. So, huge shout out. Thank you. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, you know, be like super vocal about it, Carpet Noctum. That's why I'm always kind of, but I'll definitely shout you out if you want it. You know, I just, I don't know if we're supposed to keep it on the DL and stuff, but you know how it is. <laughs> oh, you're moving. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, no worries. Thank you when you can come in. I hope the move goes well. You know, it's always stressful and stuff. I get it. I remember moving back and forward, you know, during my college years and oh man, dude. Oh, funny story. Just real quick too. Nothing too crazy. But uh, when I finally moved out of my, not my dorm, sorry, uh, my apartment, the very last year of college and I, you know, I had graduated and stuff. I just stayed there for the whole summer uh, until my lease ran out and stuff. Cause I was like, oh, you know, I don't have to go back right away. And I knew if I came back home, mom's going to be like, get a job. So I stayed there, you know, in my apartment until my lease ran out during the end of the summer. But uh, yeah, I guess I had accumulated so much stuff that I thought, oh, you know, I brought everything here in one car full. Uh, I should be able to, you know, get everything back in one car ride. And oh man, was I mistaken. Apparently, you know, there's things that I had bought that I forgot, like a big old screen and stuff. And I had to shove that in my car. So it was like coming out the sides through my windows in my back seat. I, it was, my car was filled to the brim. My passenger seat had a whole bunch of stuff in there. Dude, I was just like praying like, oh please, I hope I don't get pulled over. It was a good three and a half hour ride from Pullman back to my hometown. So it was crazy. It, it was good times though. <clears throat> but yeah, you know, I should have uh, planned ahead basically is what I'm saying there. <laughs> Maybe taken half of my stuff home, you know, the week prior I was going to move out and then come back, you know, do the rest. But Oops, I did it all in one go, and you know, I just hope I don't forget it. I didn't forget anything. No, I'm sure I didn't. But yeah, good luck on the move, Carp Noctum. Always very, very stressful. I remember Nimmy moved, like, uh, by now it's probably been a good year, at least a few months, huh? Uh, okay. Alright, if you're just coming in, I had my first drink, so hopefully we'll start to feel a little bit fuzzy here in a bit. <laughs> Yeah, school girl making bad decisions already. Once again, drinking a little bit of Chi Chi's. $1.50 if you have a local Safeway around you. I think Albertsons and Ray's might have them too. Not sure. There we go. Just pour it. It says serve over ice, but I don't, you know, if you leave it hanging there, it gets a little bit melty and stuff. So we'll do this slowly. But yeah, cheers everybody out there. Thank you, escapees, for deciding to kick it with me. We will be continuing with some Crimson Fleet stuff. Let's mix this baby up. Whew, that was a little warm. All right, I'll leave the rest right there for later as we go along. All right, stream starting officially in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Soul Stream. Thank you for hanging out on this beloved Saturday edition of the cast. Thank you, thank you, escapees. Sorry I didn't stream yesterday, you guys. I was feeling a little bit lazy. Had done some yard work, did a little bit of, uh, I uh, almost said shoveling, but it's not that time yet. <laughs> did a little bit of raking of the leaves and all that. So I was like, oh, all sore. Ended up passing out a little bit early yesterday. Around 11, I think, 11 p.m. Then I woke up at like two and I was like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go to bed. <laughs> and then I, you know, changed into pajamas and all that. You know how it is. Uh oh, what didn't show? Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, Nimi. Was that an emote? Probably an emote, huh? Yo, hey, speaking of fuzzy, how are you doing, fuzzy? You back from your Oklahoma vacation yet? Or are you saying hello from Oklahoma? Either way, it's good to see you, fuzzy uncle. All right. Let's do it. So we're going to start off, I think, right where we left off last stream? I'm not sure. I don't think I played much after the last stream. Last stream, we kind of, we didn't do Crimson Fleet stuff. I was doing, you know, I was wearing that goth nun outfit. So we just did a completely different quest. 
had something to do with the Elios retreat. Long story short, with them, uh, it happened to be kind of like a rehabilitation of sorts for uh, people that had bounties on their heads, gamblers, low-level criminals and stuff. They were trying to, you know, get them back into society. Uh, so basically, we were helping them with the quest there. Uh, real quick, I'm going to mute my cameras for at least two hours, otherwise they'll be dinging the whole time there. There we go. Uh, but yeah, so we did a little bit of a mission, side quest for Elios. I think, what was the side quest about? Some guy had been kidnapped, and when we found him, lo and behold, it turned out that the Trackers Bounty Hunters Alliance was behind it. They found out that these uh, rehabilitated, you know, criminals were there and they're like, oh, hell no, rehabilitate criminals. What about us? We want their bounty. So they were, you know, trying to hunt them down. So basically we had to do a little persuasion, be like, hey, please don't, you know, hunt this retreat of people who are trying to better themselves, yada, yada, yada. And that's kind of how that one went. We got paid for it handsomely and all that. So not bad. Oh, it's cool. Well, good to see you again, Fuzzy. Missed you. Yeah, it was very, very quiet in the streams without Fuzzy Uncle Bob. <laughs> Shout out to you, Fuzzy. You're officially, you're officially a regular. You were before, of course, but uh, yeah, I definitely missed you, Fuzzy. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to me during these streams. I, I do, uh, yeah, I, I do feel the emptiness when you're not here, Fuzz. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yeah, how is Oklahoma? Hopefully everything went well. Got to see your family and stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh, let me see here. Oh, okay. Apparently I was doing some bounties where I was finding things. Like scanning, you know, worlds and stuff like that. But back to the task. We are going to continue our Crimson Fleet quest line. Now, quick side note on that. If you're just joining and you didn't see any previous streams, uh, I am doing Crimson Fleet stuff, which is like raiders, uh, space pirates type, you know, missions. But there's a caveat. I am a good player. I'm trying to redeem myself. I'm actually working as a double agent. I'm an infiltrator, a rat, a snitch, whatever you want to call me. But I'm actually working for the... UC Vigilance and the United Colonies <clears throat> System Defense Corporation. So I'm, I'm kind of low-key working with the Crimson Fleet, but I'm not really, you know, I'm eventually going to have to like backstab them. So I do feel a little bit bad about that. Uh, but this is my good playthrough, so, you know, there, there will be a time where I have to stop working with the Crimson Fleet and stuff. So yeah, I'm just, a, I'm just an infiltrator right now. I'm undercover, is what they say. All right, so, and honestly, we're working on burden of proof. We are looking for evidence to prove, and I've already brought them at least two pieces of evidence, but we're looking for evidence to prove that the Crimson Fleet are indeed, you know, a threat to the system defense and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's basically what we're working towards. But now, I have to pretend that I am friends with these fleeters here. So Delgado the Bigwig has asked that I talk to Neva, somebody we've been working with previously, and Jasmine, one of her friends, and work out a plan to get the comm spike. Comm spike supposedly is kind of like a GPS. It's going to help us find this fabled ship called the... What was it called again, you guys? It was called... The Legacy, right? It was the Legacy. And why the ship is fabled is because... I think his name was Jasper Cricks, the original leader of the Crimson Fleet ra Raiders or Space Pirates. Uh, he went on this crazy mission to find this Galbank ship that went off the radar and stuff. Supposedly that Galbank ship was called the Legacy and it was supposed to have like a ton of credits on board. I don't know, nobody's found it yet. Um, supposedly if Jasper Cricks found it, According to the system defense guy, he said, well, if they found it, you know, uh, the Crimson Fleet would have been, they would have been so rich that they'd have, like, better weapons and stuff, basically. So we don't even know if this thing exists, but we're basically looking for this ship that's floating out here in space that has a bunch of credits on it. Uh, so I guess the com comm spike is going to help us locate it GPS-wise. So that's what we're going to do. 
Let's go meet Nava and Jasmine on the key. I'll set the course there. And we'll jump. Oh, that's cool. Hey, what's up, Rick? How are you doing? Good to see you. Welcome in, you guys. Happy Saturday, everybody. Schoolgirl Soul coming in today. Uh oh, what's that? Oh god, I didn't know I was driving straight forward. I could have crashed into this thing. Alright, let's go ahead and dock here. <laughs> and it would have been my fault for, you know, texting and driving. Texting and flying, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty good. Not too bad. Buzzy said it was amazing. Well, congratulations on the granddaughter. She's cute as a bug. Aw, that's beautiful. I mean, of course she would be, though. All babies are super cute. Alright, let's see here. Unless they're those skinny, scraggly babies. No, I'm just joking. Skinny babies are cute, too. I prefer my babies fat, though. <coughs> Whew. Sorry, I'm choking on saliva. Uh, my superstitious grandma would have probably said, Good, that's what you get for talking bad about skinny babies. <laughs> she would have said that would have been, that was karma and stuff. <clears throat> choking on saliva there. No, but thanks for coming in, you guys. Alright, let's see here. So, oh, I don't know why I am, uh, <laughs> just pulling the out my gun. Family. Stealing from each other. So, you know, these pirates, they're supposed to be my friends and stuff, but low-key, I'm kind of afraid every time I come in here. It's like, uh oh you know, sometimes, you know, my character likes to talk a lot. I, I may or may not have blown my cover at this point. I mean, you know, I'm sure I haven't blown my cover just yet because we're not kicked out, but, I mean, you never know. They might know. They might have known the whole time. Oh, I know you were working with system defense. It was obvious from the start. They're probably going to pull one of those on me after uh, this mission's All right, over. Jazz. All right, what so here's got? Nava and Jazz. Let's listen to According them. According to the latest, the comm spike is being developed at UC Star yeah, Station. I'm here, SY ladies. I'm here. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? Yeah, disclose that could location. Lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Yeah, you I know who, Nava. Mm. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. Jemison, friend. Interesting. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Oh, I knew it. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium Juan UC Dayu. smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY 920 security. Just remember. Well, to I don't count plan on pissing her off. Jeez. With her. Count my fingers after I shake hands with her. Okay. <laughs> Why does this lady bite or what's going on here? Uh, I mean, should I expect any trouble? Y'all are talking scary here. You're in the fleet. You should always expect trouble. I guess. As far as Juan goes. Even though she's one of our newer contacts, you shouldn't have any problems Newer contact? With she's a snitch. Maybe even more than I am. Uh, what do you mean by premium smuggling routes? You know, we're not taking the lower routes then? Definitely. We're talking cargo depots, star yards, research stations, and like an SY920's case, military outposts. Ooh, they got the connects going I've on. I've never seen someone new to the game have so many contacts. It's the reason we let her join up in the first place. I don't know Very how she valuable, accomplished huh? that. We've been trying to crack some of those places for years. Would be sad if this Juan Daiba ended up dead, wouldn't he? <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, sounds like she'll be useful then, huh? I sure hope so. But she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. All Basically, right. you break it, you bought it. Long story short, don't sit on it when I'm back at the ship. All right. Um, what does it look like? 
Unfortunately, I have no idea. Like Neva said, well, that it's doesn't a prototype, help me, Jazz. So it could look like anything. Uh, Once you're inside SY920 on, and you're behind their firewalls, you should pick through their computer system. With any luck, it'll point you the right way. Oh, Jazz. And one more thing. Uh, what? SY920 Neva? is a UC military installation. So that you means said. It's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. That means I'm probably going to spill some blood, If you intend blood, to huh? turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal. Because you're going to... Okay, maybe don't spill blood. <laughs> okay, understood. I'll try to sneak my ass around, though. But, I mean, of course she doesn't care, so you don't care if I shoot. Of course she don't care. Uh, how's Swan going to get me inside that station? She's got the clout to get you in the front door. They're gonna think you're part of She's a regular use her supply clout. delivery. Okay. Beyond that, you and Juan are gonna have to put your heads together and come up with a plan. Honestly, I'm just gonna try to sneak in, probably naked, something. All right, understood. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. All right. In the meantime. I'll make New sure Atlantis Jazz comes well. up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay. You'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Hey, right, Jazz? That's exactly what I'm saying about Neva. Of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. Uh, anyway, Jazz. Looks like me and Jazz are on the and same don't level. don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go get drunk and, you know, stop bothering. Stop riding our asses. So, uh, if Juan asks why we need this comp spy, what do I tell her? I mean, you know, of course I'm going to lie to her face, but what lie do you want me to use? I'm going to leave that up to you, bro. No. Oh, I get want to make sure we're on the same page. you think bringing her into the fold is going to make the difference, tell her whatever you want. Ugh. At some point, Delgado's going to be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the yeah, better. Yeah, I've been kind of keeping it a secret. Uh, on that last mission, we were able to tell uh, that one French guy that, you know, what we were looking for, Crick's legacy and all that stuff. But I ended up saying, I kept my mouth shut. I was like, mm, I can't tell you that yet. And it worked. He's like, oh, okay, well, you know. So I'll, I'll try to keep that quiet. It's our secret. Uh, what can you tell me about Juan? Anything else? The Crimson Fleet made contact with her about a year ago. We were searching for a smuggling connection in UC space. And her name kept popping up repeatedly. Yeah, so ooh, what's up, Shadow? Good to, to see put her you. to the test. Not I'm only being a bad schoolgirl today. But the results were Got a little alcohol here. Ooh. Made us both a ton of credits. That was good enough for me. Beyond Principal's going to be upset when he sees know me much drinking. About it. But hey, as long as she keeps my gal bank account humming, she can keep all the secrets she wants. All Your right, and I will is too. Pissing me off. I we literally just stopped talking. Okay, whatever. I'm leaving. I'm out of we'll here. Talk later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Jazz. Good luck figuring out that comp spike you stuff. Stay under the radar. I'll go I get the actual you. comp spike though. She'll figure out how to work it once we're done. Some hardcore mercenary. I almost went up the stairs. Almost went the wrong way. I was <laughs> like, oops. Oops, just joking, everyone. I'm going back down the stairs. Now it'll be good to see you. I hope you guys are doing well. Happy Saturday, everyone. I know. Some of these Crimson Fleet people, it's like I want to slap them a little bit. But, you know, I'm supposed to be nice and all that. So I won't. I think I've had a shootout with Neva, haven't I? Security on my tail and my grav drive just chokes. And you oh, know what no. I What happened after in? that? The what? fattest what? leech I've ever seen. Worm oh, nearly no. got me dusted. He had a fat leech in his grav drive almost choked him up. Well, that's a shame. Should check your uh, your cargo for leeches. You know, I always do. Actually, I don't. There's probably like five or six back there. Actually, I've never checked for leeches in my life. <laughs> Alright, let's undock here. So, we're back to New Atlantis. We're gonna go down into the well. And I need to find somebody called Juan Daya. 
or something like that, right? And it's a lady. Mrs. Hyundai. Mrs. Hyundai. All right, let's see here. Zooming out to Alpha Centauri down there. Let's go ahead and crack it open. Get over to Jemison. And flip that over to the Lodge. Or not the Lodge, but uh, New Atlantis. And I guess I'm just gonna go... Let's go to the Residential District. I don't know, that's exactly where it says to meet Juan. I know we have to go down into the well, so... Maybe the residential district's an easier way to get there? I don't know. I usually take the uh, the elevator next to the train station. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's whack. But yeah, I'm being a bad school schoolgirl today, Shadow. I'm being naughty escapees. And I already feel it. I feel the buzz a little bit. I'm drinking another one of these $1.50 Chi Chi's Pina Coladas. 12.5 alcohol. And it says serve over ice, so I'm doing it little by little. I don't just want to pour the whole thing over and then I forget to drink it and then it's all watery later. That's gross. That's gross. Yeah, a little pina colada. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, very nice. All right. I know we're barely 30 minutes into the stream. I feel a little bit, tiny bit buzzed. Not crazy buzzed or anything. Just a little bit. All right, see, I came over to the residential district and it's like, oh, just joking, take the train again. All right, take me to Mast is where I can find that elevator. I know there's different areas and different ways to get into the well, but I haven't, I've found one different elevator, but I keep forgetting where it's at. So I'm gonna go to the elevator that I do remember, which is right here to the right. You travel to the Mast section and then you go right here. This is like the only elevator I remember for some reason. There are others, but I don't know. I just forget where they're at. Then I found different elevators and they'll lead me to like the rooftop of like the coffee store. And I'm like, no, <laughs> that's not where I wanted to go. All right, here we go. So we're on the lookout for Juan Dubai, I think her name is. She's some lady that's a connect for the Crimson Fleet. So we'll see if she can help us out here. Apparently she's up here somewhere. Oh, Something there she is. Report. You there! I must speak with you. Here, uh, do a little parkour. So how are you? Uh, you good? Leave me alone, citizen. Oh, damn it, damn it, citizen! Still, I blame I that on you. Tunnel. Let's just hope it's not a train. Darn it! Oh, Got to do that again. Oh no. Thank goodness I'm not driving, huh, escapees? Can't walk a straight line to save my life! Alright, here we go. Oh, I made it! Okay, here we are. Ah. <laughs> Jump over the table, knock over all the plates and stuff. Oh, I'm here! I'm here! Ah. Hello, uh, Miss Juan Dayu, I presume? May I take your neighbor's new recruit? Whew, I like your eyeliner. I have the exact same. Uh, wow, and you must be the smuggler all loud in the public eye over here. Careful, the walls have ears. I know, sorry, I That's just yelled that out loud. That's why 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Oh. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech. So to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. All right. I can do that, but I have conditions. Oh no, gotta help somebody now. I know, right? Great, more rules to follow. Ugh. And you know, I too have conditions, and my assistant will provide you with a list. I have no assistant. <laughs> huh. Eva warned me you were difficult. Clearly, I didn't understand oh. what she meant, but I do now. Oh, please, a little joking. Work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. But make no mistake. Once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Okay. Uh, okay, so she's gonna be like my little side companion for a while, that's cool. Random ass question, but how loyal are you to the fleet? 
says the person who's backstabbing them, right? Imagine. Look, I know I don't have a lot of history with the fleet, but I'm putting my reputation and ship on the line for this. That alone should tell you enough. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to risk my ship. I like my ship, even though it's, you know, not the best. It's got us through some good, good and bad times. Um, I mean, all right, I, I guess so. Well, got it. Good, then we have a deal. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. Ooh. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. That's a cool Once name. you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. I can't come and go as I please? My goodness! What am I, your slave? How dare you, I'd like to talk to your manager. Imagine this woman. Pfft. Once you're on my ship, you can't come and go as you please. Why? Am I gonna track mud in and out or what's going on here? That's rude. Anyways, all right, all right. Well, I'm getting pushed around by the NPCs. <laughs> oh man, this is too fun. I know, right? I don't know if I like her either. You're right, Shadow. You might be on to something. You're a good judge of character, so... Yeah, lucrative, huh? We better be making those credits here. Alright, alright. So, uh... I'd like to know who I'm working with first. Can you tell me more about yourself? I'd like to, but I need to keep a low profile. Boo. In my experience, the more people Boo. know about you, the more they have over you. Alright, well, fine. <laughs> You're right, I, I only wanted to know so I could use that information against you. Because <laughs> I'm purely evil, of course. <laughs> I thought you might. You're a pirate, after all. But it takes one to know one. Oh, clearly Anyways, I'm joking, Juan. I appreciate Juan. the small talk. Elgato's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. We can swap bar stories and share scars when we've got enough creds to buy the bar. And fix the scars. I got a scar on my butt I can show you. Yeah, she show me where yours are. No, I'm just joking. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways. Uh So we don't she doesn't exactly know about Crick's legacy, you know, that spaceship that we're looking for and stuff. Uh how much do you know about the job? Just curious. Only what I've been told. Get you on the SY920 get you out if all I can. right all right that, that sounds being said, good i can be a better guide if i know what it is we're after so it's up to you oh you know we're just uh you know neva you don't want to mess with neva she's a real biatch especially in the mornings if she herself said you don't need to know the details so mind your business mind your Bye business me. if this goes bad the less i know the better and all right, if i all do right. get caught there'll be nothing to confess to very, yeah, true, true. All right, uh, let's get out of here then. We'll talk more on the ship. All right, next thing's next. Get on her ship, the Jade Swan. Dude, people in this game have really cool names for their ships. The Jade Swan, the Spicy Meatball. There was another one that I forgot, but it was like a cool name too. My ship is purple, so I called it the Purple Haze, but I felt that was kind of dumb. But yeah, some people have really cool ship names. Uh, the Mantis had, like, the, the Grasshopper ship or something like that. Well, welcome to the stream, escapees. If anybody is new in the channel, my name's Soul Escape. I've been streaming on Twitch since 2015. Eight years. But I've been forgetting to change up my social media because I actually, fun fact, this year is the first year I actually didn't stream on my anniversary. Nope. I was a little bit too depressed, escapees. I'm sorry about that. Then I said, oh, well, you know, we'll, we'll do our anniversary stream, you know, next month. And then the next month just came and went and all that. <laughs> so we never did the anniversary stream. So slowly, slowly, I'm changing my social medias to say eight years of uh, Twitch entertainment and all that. All right, the Jade Swan, I presume. This is a big ass ship. Holy crap. How did she get this thing off the ground? Jesus, criminy. Dude, all of my ships are like half this size. Pfft, she's flying a freaking mansion over here. Uh, excuse me, Juan, is this ship going to be able to get off the ground? Look at this beast. God damn. I'd like to go into a battle with this thing. Dude, that'd be crazy. Oh my god, it's actually, oh my holiness. I only saw it from one side, but holy crap, dude. 
Look, I'm tiny next to it. I look like this little insignificant ant. I'm just a little tiny cockroach. Standing next to this giant mansion of a ship. This titanic boat of a ship right here. God damn. God damn, god damn. All right, let's get out of here. The Jade Swan indeed. Whew, nothing delicate about this ship. They should have called it the Jade Elephant. Jesus criminy. Jade Swan my ass. <laughs> swan, tiny, delicate, beautiful little bird. It's a giant elephant of a ship. This should be called the Jade Whale. Uh, hello. Oh, oh my God! Help Always me! Always looking for the next Help. mark. Give me your hand. I'm falling. I'm falling. Ah. Oh, okay. Whew. That wasn't too bad of a fall. Clumsy me. Now I'm looking for the cockpit to this boat. I think. Oh, apparently it's upstairs. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, darn, I was hoping there'd be some good weapons here or something. Like, oops, I, I just felt I tripped and I happened to pick this up and put it in my pocket. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm not stealing, never. Psh, stealing? My goodness. All right, now where is this captain? Oh, is she up top? freaking maze of a ship. This is yes. actually, honestly, this is a really cool ship. I've actually never been in one this size yet, so my mind is blown. This is a maze of a ship. Juan! Where are you, Juan? How do I get up there? Oh, there we go. Uh... <laughs> that door led to nothing. It was a false door! Who put this fake door here? Come on, you knew I'd fall for it. Somebody's trolling me. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. I have no idea. Oh, maybe this way and then find some stairs that go up? Somehow I have to get up there, but I just do not know how. Oh, here we go. Oh, finally. Jesus. Who put the ladder in the freaking back? My goodness. Freaking three-layer ship here. Ugh. It doesn't even go up. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Sorry. I have to get on the other ladder. Okay. Here we go. Here we are. Ugh. There we are. Okay. Hello. All right, there we go. This is more like it. Hey, whoa, whoa. All right, I don't think I drank that much alcohol, but I'm seeing double here. You guys seeing what I'm seeing? Are Howdy. Are you? Excuse me. Twins? Do Do you two happen to know each other? All right, I, I've seen way too much. <laughs> Imagine all the crew looks the same. This guy has the same face as those ladies. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. You hired the uh, Ashley Olsen twins over there. Nice, nice. What's all up, right. Juan? A few things to note. When we get to the checkpoint, UC military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to. Yeah, I'll just blend in, all right? I'll be silent as a crate of tissues. You won't even hear me. N not even a pin drop, all right? Good. Say nothing and let their minds fill in the gaps. Yep. Now, like I said before, Sounds once good. we take off, there's no <laughs> The less talking I do, the better, dude. If you need I'm to liable to say something wrong. Leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. Um... I'm pretty sure we're ready, and if not... Oh, well, we're ready now. I'm ready, let's go. Hey. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Routing power to enter the crab drive. All right, I'm gonna awesome. pretend I'm crew. I'll make myself useful over here. 
There we go. Alright, I might not look like crew, I don't have the same outfit, but darn close enough. We'll graph jump jumped SY920 from here. Don't worry about your personal ship, the fleet will make sure it's secure. Yeah, that's fine, I'm not worried about prepare, my ship. Just try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Alright. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. Hello. I can handle a little banter. Dude, this ship is huge! Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my uh, This is yes. cool, dude. For the record, I don't I've not like been that. in a ship when somebody else is driving. That's cool. Noted. I'm gonna watch. Get us there safe. Yeah, this Roger is amazing. Woo! I trust you, pilot. Full throttle! Come on, I wanna see how fast this baby can go. This big old elephant mission. We blew up during the grab jump! Ah! You've we entered didn't secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. Oh my god, oh my god. Alright, I'm hey. gonna I'm gonna go quiet this down in the back. Oh. Cargo class ship ID UC 7938. <coughs> Requesting permission to dock. Shh, shut up. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. Alright, there we go. We're docking. You're clear to dock in docking bay two. Looks like we're clear. We'll talk more once we're docked. Okay, sounds good. Good job, Captain. So far, so good. And then we crash into the side. Whoa, we did a full, uh, full barrel roll right there, didn't we? Surprised none of us have fallen down. All right. Okay, Juan. I think let me quick save it because we haven't saved at all. All right, what now? Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. All right. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need Cheers. to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. <laughs> She's peacing out. All right. Uh, so long story short there, get a military uniform by sneaking down into the barracks area. All right. Hey, hey, out of the way. Out of the way, twin. Talking to your captain here. Uh, wait, wait, what's this about the vents? I can kind of sneak around and stuff or? This is a star station. So there are plenty of ventilation ducts you can slither into. As far <laughs> like as a snake. Go, Great. It's an oldie, but goodie. True, though. I mean, that's good to know. Thank you. Um. All right, and the security checkpoints remind me of that. I, I may or may not have been listening. Only military personnel are allowed out of the cargo area. That's why we need to get you to the barracks to find you a uniform. All right, all right. And then uh, what if I get stuck, though? Provided you haven't sounded the alarm, then yeah, like I said, if you can find an intercom, I'll keep a channel open. They're gonna listen to us talking! Oh my gosh, all right. Don't worry, I'm gonna try my best. I would hope not. But Sometimes if they do, my best is terrible. we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Whew, Either way, okay. for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Excuse me. Man, you made me real nervous, Captain Juan. All right. <clears throat> yeah, she threw that last bit in there. I'm like, oh, I hope I don't get caught. Oh, man. Howdy. All right, you're gonna jump down. Ooh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Silly me, I seem to have tripped. <laughs> tripped right into that money! <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Oh, let me get to the back of this maze ship. Actually, you know what? There was no red mark on those credits. They were free credits. So even if I did get caught taking them, nobody would have cared. Yes, what? All right, you guys, Hello. we're about to go and try to, to, to try my best to sneak in, get that calm spike that we need. Basically, it's like a GPS that's going to help us find that Crick's legacy spaceship that's legend has, has a ton of credits, and Crimson Fleet leader Crick's, what's his name? Uh, Jasper Crick's went up looking for it too. Who knows if he found it or not. One second, though. 
I think it's time we get a little bit extra schoolgirl naughty in the stream. Let's go ahead and take a little ho uh, a little toke. See, there's one of them. I was gonna say hit and toke, and it said hoke. Hoke is the word that came out. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, Hark now. Oh, Nimi, thank you for the five gift subs. Yeah. Shout out to Nimrod5885. Thank you, Nim. Dude, you were amazing. Thank you, Nimi. Nimrod5885 gifting five people the channel. Whether you like it or not, Kooning and Mersu, welcome to the Ascendancy. Marvel Junkies, welcome to the Ascendancy. Brent151, welcome to the Ascendancy. Call now, welcome to the Ascendancy. And Saito Benkai, welcome to the Ascendancy. Thank you so much, Nimi. Hey! Escapees, anybody close to your keyboards, please drop some love, some hype, some emotes of any kind. Going out to Nimi5885. Thank you again, Nimi. That's amazing. Five people in the stream. Woo! Thank you, Nimi. You rock, dude. We are one away from reaching our goal of 60 subscribers this month. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nimi. Huge shout out, huge hype and love going out to Nim as well. Because without him, it would not have been possible. Thank you, Nimi. Much love. That's wild. All right, so now I'm off to do some naughty stuff here. Before I go sneaking around, let me just make it that much harder by putting a little herb in my pipe here. Don't worry, just a little one-hitter quitter, and then we'll take a, a little drink of alcohol and stuff. <laughs> Perfect, right before we gotta go sneaking, huh? Earlier, I was uh, I was trying to catwalk against, or er, I was trying to walk against this uh, catwalk thing and balance and stuff, and I went right off the edge. I'm like, uh oh, that's not gonna be good if we're trying to sneak around. Yeah, thank you so much, Nimi. Alright. Cheers, everybody. Whoop. Don't worry, I won't do this on stream. I'll do it over here. Nice. Smoking in the girls' room. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. By the way, if you're wondering what that little string is, that's hemp wick. I use hemp wick instead of just hitting it with my lighter. Because uh, I used to hit it with my lighter and I'd get some headaches and all that. Oh, Nimmy, thank you so much. Nim, we reached our goal, escapees. Woo! Thank you so much. Shout out to Nimrod5885. That was crazy. Thank you, Nimmy. Reach the goal, escapees. Woo! Sub goal hype. Thank you, Nimi. Once again, I know Nim said for me not to shout him out and stuff, but thank you so much, Nim. He's also the streamer here on Twitch. I've known Nim since 2015, escapees. Eight years. Blows my mind. Thank you, Nimi. And thank you guys, everybody that helped me reach that goal this month. All of the uh, subscribers and the people that gifted subs. You guys are amazing. Much appreciated. Whoo! All right, drink that little alcohol. But fear not, I still have half of my little thing here. If you're just coming in, we're about to do a mission that requires sneaking. So I'm making it just, just a hair bit more difficult. If you're wondering what this drink is, once again, it is a $1.50, so super cheap alcohol. You can get it at Safeway, has it. Uh, my local IGN market has some, uh, some of these too. They're about $1.50, not expensive at all. 12.5% alcohol. This one's the pina colada flavor. But they have different flavors. They have like pink lemonade, margarita, uh, Mexican mudslide, which is like a chocolate one. Pretty good. Whew, cheers. Uh, I think I was supposed to say cheers before drinking it, but <laughs> there we go. Thank you again, Nim. You rock, dude. 
And uh, the info link right there popped up as well. Uh, if you're new to the stream, you haven't hit the follow button, please consider following. Hey, Fuzzy! Hark now, what do I hear? Fuzzy Uncle Bob! Eight months in the stream. Thank you, Fuzzy. Let me get you that resub love. Anybody close to their keyboards, drop some love for Fuzzy and Nim. Thank you, thank you, and thank you too, Shadow. You helped me out a ton too with the gift subs as well. Yay, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Cool. Thank you, Fuzzy. All right. Uh, wait a minute. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I was like, did I board already or am I going through? No, we gotta go through still. All right. Looking for the calm spike. Gotta be sneaky. Something about ventilation units and getting a uniform. Gain access to the barracks and find a uniform. Okay. Everyone look inconspicuous. You know what? Let's hard save just in case something crazy happens. All right, here we go. Oh, what what a nice ship this is. Oh, yes. Uh, hi. I, I just boarded looking for a, a bathroom. Swan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loading and unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. Oh, no worries, no worries. I, I might job, need to find a restroom. down and we won't have trouble. Yeah, 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 definitely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. We're going to beeline down this way. I don't know. This guy's kind of guarding this area. Uh, hey, can I go Hold through up. here? This oh. area is for SY920 oh, military sorry, only. Sorry, sorry. Uh, my apologies. I, I'll, uh, hmm. Well, we might be able to persuade him. I, uh, seems I, I... I do work here, don't I? <laughs> Silly me, I forgot my uniform. Those are rules. Can't let you in unless you're military. Oh yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, hmm. It won't be long, just, you know, give me about five minutes or so. Well, maybe if you hurry. Oh, thank you, Fuzzy, for the 180 biddies. Woo! Shout out to you. What? It's a, oh, hype train. Woo! Thank you so much. Oh, it's uh, I am the Shadow with 100 biddies. Gary, uh, hype train. Thank you, Shadow. Much appreciated. Hell yeah. Escapees, anybody in your keyboards? Exclamation. Biddies love. Biddies hype in the channel. Going out to I am the Shadow. I know, sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. I've had a little bit of drinks. My apologies. Shout out to Shadow for those 180 biddies. <laughs> Oh, oops, sorry, I passed. Screwed up the note. <clears throat> I mean. Yeah. And of course, everybody's favorite, the Dollar Tree version right there. Appreciated. Woo! And Fuzzy with the biddies right there. Thank you, Fuzzy, for the 100. Shout out to Fuzzy Uncle, keeping that hype train going. Thank you, thank you, Fuzzy. Woo! Biddies love, biddies hype. Holy snap. Got that level one hype train going. Thank you, thank you. And for Fuzzy, oops, I didn't catch it. <clears throat> I was supposed to catch this with my other hand and I missed. Oh, let's see. Do I remember how this goes? Every night in my dreams. No, I'm just joking. We're not really going into the whole song there. <laughs> Imagine if we did, that'd be hilarious. Thank you, Fuzzy. Thank you, Shadow. You guys rock. Thank you, Nimi, for the gift subs earlier. Amazing getting that hype train going. That was fantastic. All right, now I'm in the middle of lying to this guy trying to get into the ship here. Uh, uh, well, uh, yeah, just 
I, I just need to get into the barracks. <sighs> Stupid me, I forgot my uniform. You know how it is, man. Yeah, oh, I get that this place can be a maze. Yeah, man. It's an emergency, dude, I promise. <sighs> Never happen again. Well, if you're quick about it, I suppose no one will notice. Yeah, a secret between you and me, come on. It is just the barracks. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll be in and out. Come on, that you won't even notice I was here. I suppose if you're quick. Yeah, the fast as lightning, dude. I'll be in and out real quick. Real quick. Maybe if you do it quickly. Yeah, come on. It's an emergency. I suppose if you're quick. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's get all out right, of here. All right, fine. You're good. Just be quick about it. Dude, that was like pulling teeth. I thought he was gonna get ready to tell me to, you know, skedaddle and stuff. All right, all right. Uh, okay, we have options. Let me see here. Options, options, options. After docking at the SY920, found myself in the cargo hold. Need to get access to the command bay. All right. Oh, Rambo with the 1,000 bits right there. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Woo! Parking out. What do I hear? Biddy's love. Biddy's hype. Going in for Rambo. Hitting that level two hype train. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Escapees, anybody close to your keyboard, please drop some love, some hype, some emotes for Rambo. You know what? All right, all right. I haven't done it in a while. But y'all have convinced me that it's time I take out my real instrument. The instrument I am known for. Oops, pull out my camera on accident. The clarinet. Oh, I suppose I can drag this out of retirement. All the dust and stuff, I have to like dust it off real quick. <laughs> but I've, be forewarned everyone, I've not played this one. Man, I wanna say in months, escapees. I actually used to bust out the clarinet and then I was like, you know what, it'd be easier if I just brought these out. I haven't played it in a while, so I'm gonna, oh no, I don't know. We'll see. Thank you, Rambo. Much appreciated, dude. All right. I'm gonna adjust it. By the way, if you're wondering what this is that I had in my mouth, I have to wet this up a little bit. This is called the reed. It's the part of the instrument that's wooden. It vibrates against the rest of the mouthpiece in order to make that sound. One time I was putting together my clarinet and somebody was like, is that a cigarette? <laughs> I was like, cigarette? I'm like, oh, you must mean that reed thing that I was putting in my mouth. All right, <clears throat> this is going out to Rambo for the 1,000 biddies. Thank you, Rambo. We know Marmwind still. Uh, let me try out Oblivion real quick. Oh man, this one's gonna be hard.
moves. Cool, close enough, huh? Not too bad. Uh, what? Okay, I think that's all. That's pretty much all I know besides, you know, like the... Good old song of storms or something like that. Woo! Thank you guys. Thank you for the hype train. Y'all made me bust out the clarinet. Haven't busted that one out in a good man. I want to say like a good six months or so. I usually just bring out the recorders and all that. But yeah, thank you again. Much appreciated. That was going out to Rambo. <laughs> Oblivion. All right, escapees. Thank you so much for that. Whew. Got sweaty. Thank you, Rambo. Thank you guys for allowing us to get to that hype true hype two hype train right there. Thank you, thank you. See that that happened again. I said hype true. I was thinking of the word two and train at the same time. Whoosh. True came out right there. Yo, what's up, Lusty? How are you doing? fellow musician in the chat escapees. We got Lusty Bard. Welcome in, Lusty. And you know what? I'll be honest. A thousand biddies is a lot of biddies. Oh, I think I lost some lipstick on that. On my clarinet and stuff, escapees. Oh no. That's okay. Oop. That just means I'll probably have to uh, put some more on and stuff later. But yeah, I'll show you my last and final instrument. I do have one more. I have an alto saxophone, but that one is not set up. It's currently in its case. Here's my flute. Sadly, my flute's been broken for years. I do have a piece of tape right here. Helps me out with this note, but sometimes it doesn't work, so I sound a little funny. Uh, I don't know too many... Uh, uh, I'm a clarinet main, so I don't know. I didn't really learn too many songs on the flute, sadly. I can't hit those super high register notes because sad to say one of my keys is broken a little bit. That sounds a little weird. But anyways, you'll have to believe me that I do know at least how to play a few woodwinds there. Alright, there we go. One second, you guys gotta redraw my lips on. Actually, no, I just took some uh, some lipstick off the middle part, so it doesn't look too bad. There we go. Just fill that in a little bit. Excellent. Good. 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 Just like new. Might as well refresh the makeup while we're here. <laughs> hey, I got sweaty playing those instruments. It's wild. All right, sorry about that, escapees. Yeah, 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 thank you so much. Once again, 
to Fuzzy Uncle Bob, Shadow, Rambo, everybody else that helped me out with that raid. Thank you guys, you guys are amazing. Helps out a ton. And <laughs> listening to my sister practicing some of it. Yeah, back in the school days, huh? Good times. Oh, it's all good, Lusty. Oh, man. Nah, trust me. Man, I wish my flute was in working order. I'd be able to play it a little better, but yeah, that's how it is. I'm sure you're amazing, Lusty. You don't feel bad. <laughs> but a secondhand one. A clarinet. Woo! Can't do any. Well, oh, it's, it, it'll be easy. Once you get into it, Lusty, you know a lot of instruments. I'm sure you'll be able to uh, have it down in quite a, you know, a little bit of time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drinking alcohol, escapees. My words are not coming out properly. Which, by the way, cheers. I have about, mm, I'd say like a third left or so. But yeah, if you were asking me, Lusty, about how I was doing and stuff, uh, not bad. Things were going well. I've been dressing up for uh, Halloween here and there in October. Um, I am currently taking suggestions over on Twitter or Discord for, you know, anything you guys think might be a, a cool Halloween type outfit uh, that I don't already have and stuff. You know, feel free to drop that in the chat or over in the Discord and all that. I'll put those on an Amazon wish list soon enough. Ooh, you're gonna have some wine. I know, I have no, I was like, hey, it's a day for celebration. I was like, well, the day I'm celebrating is Saturday. N nothing else to celebrate, just that it's the weekend. I'm sure it's somebody's birthday out there. Happy birthday, yeah! Drinking to you. Oh, not yeah, the nun outfit. Well, thank you, Lusty, I appreciate it. Yeah, I think the nun outfit, sad to see, I don't think it slapped as hard as I wanted it to. Um, I say that a lot. <laughs> that didn't slap. Uh, Zoomers nowadays, if something's, you know, hitting hard, if something is, like, popular at the moment, it slaps and stuff. Like, oh, that's a good thing, right? And uh, when something flops for me, I'm always like, oh, it didn't slap hard enough. But, yeah, I don't think that goth outfit or the goth nun slapped. Um, I don't know. I think maybe because I was doing a little bit of Jesus talk. I was just joking, though. Not really Jesus talk, but, you know, pretending to be a nun and stuff uh, during my earlier part in Fallout 76, or earlier stream Fallout 76, and uh, I think I might have scared away some viewers. Oops! But, uh, well, you know, yeah, that's what happens when you start getting into character a little bit too hard. So yeah, my bad if I scared anybody away with that nun, you know. <laughs> oh man. Insufficient slappage, yeah. Like whenever I post something on TikTok and it actually gets like some views and stuff, I'm like, oh good, that video slaps over there. Excellent. Yeah, 1920s flapper girl. I mean, I'm not sure if uh, the fapper would be uh, appropriate for Twitch, but yeah, flapper, definitely. All right, so I just convinced this guy that I Got my uniform, so I can go buy him. Commander Natara runs the ship. But if anybody command. else catches me, I'm sure they're gonna be pissed off. Like this guy sitting down. Yeah, I need to find a uniform ASAP. Please let these be the uniform area. Oh God! All right. Okay, making sure. Oh no, the robot's watching. Damn those robots, they never forget. And there's a cleaning bot too. Ah, you know damn well he's gonna rat me out. Give me that. I'll take both of these. And actually I'll take all that money too. I'm gonna use this money to help me unlock the door here. All right, no eyes besides robotic ones are on us. Uh, I'll move the camera really quick, escapees, just so you can see what I'm working with, too. Show you what you're working with. Right there. Alright, good, good, good. Here we go, let's pick this door open. First, I'm gonna look at all the options. See if there are any that I need specifically for any ring levels. Which it looks like no. Oh man, so that doesn't help me. I have to use pretty much anything. Oh, uh, let's see. I could try 
to keep that one and this one. Oh, no, that wouldn't fit. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, okay, maybe this one and this one that goes kind of straight across. Next level. Ooh, ooh, maybe, uh, yeah, this. Plus that one. Perfect. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, God, did I use that other one? I think I might have used that one I needed. Oh, well, well, we have two. Okay. No worries. Luckily, we have two that are singles right here. Good. So I went and messed up and used that one I was saving. Oh, <gasps> there's a dude in here! Oh, my God. Oh man, what am I supposed to tell this guy? Oh god, okay. Shh, 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 shh. Come on, give me a fuzz in uniform, dude. I need a uniform. Oh man. Oh, fuzz. Okay, okay. Let me take off my clothes so I don't make noise. I think that's how it works in this game. Oh, that's my weapon! Oh my gosh. I just unequip my weapon like a fool. Okay, shh. I still have a dress on. Oh, fine, that's fine. Well, oh, dresses are loud, though. Oh, man. Okay, take the dress off, then. I think the hat can stay, though. The hat can stay. Okay, shh. Plus, it, it goes with the narrative that, hey, I don't have my uniform, because why would I be naked, right? Oh, my God. Do these have to be the loudest freaking things? Okay. Oh, that's a trucker hat. That's not a space uniform. Oh my god! Oh, okay, it's locked. Oh, jeez. Alright. Okay, first things first. Do I need any of these? I need this one for the middle. Probably in that. Okay. Let's see here. That could fit that way. Alright, I'm thinking this one? Oh, but then there's still one notch that's unaccounted for. Ooh, so maybe... Alright, let's go at this a different way here. Okay, maybe that one and one that looks like this. Yeah, there we go. That, that, and then let's see here. Alright, one that has, yeah, three notcher, I think. Yeah, I think that's the one. We're gonna use this one and that one. Not bad. Just stole something, oh god. Alright, I see new, no uniforms anywhere. Come on, where are the uniforms at? God, don't tell me they're not in here. Maybe I have to knock this guy out for a uniform. Oh, oh, right in front. Okay, okay, okay. It's right in front of him. Oh, ha, my uniform. <laughs> hey. Oh. Wait, no, 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 no. Come on, man. Oh, oh, I just got shot. Damn it. Oh, too loud. God damn it. Oh, no, the robots woke up. Alright, alright. Darn it! We were doing so well until I reached right in front of that guy. He didn't fall for it. He's supposed to be like, oh, you're naked! Okay, that is your uniform. Damn it. Alright, alright. One more try, escapees. <laughs> yeah, take him out! Maybe I should. I should probably just knock him out, huh? Not really knock him out, but you know. Alright, I'll fix the camera too. I forgot that we were in the center there, or that we were at the bottom right there. Damn it, so close! We were doing so well! 
I have not gone through the Ryujin quest line. Nope, I haven't done anything for Ryujin yet. All right, damn it, all right. Oh, man. I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill anyone. Let's see if it works, though. All right, I'm sorry I have to do this. Okay, shh. I know, I know. Terrible. They'll find his body later. One person had to be sacrificed during this event. <laughs> One collateral damage. Oh, that's so terrible. I know, poor guy. He probably had a family and stuff. He had a wife and kids at home. He was slaughtered mercilessly. All right, I'll save that one for the last, and I think I'm gonna need this one too right there somewhere. So we'll save those. This one looks like it's gonna work in that middle section. Oh, actually, yeah, it'd probably be like that. Cool. All right, this one we'll put somewhere in here. Hmm. There we go. Might have to fit like that. Then which shape is left? It looks like one with four. It kind of looks like that. This one right here. Yeah. Alright, that one and that one. And then, let's see. Mm, maybe. Can I use this? And one that looks like a Y, like that. I think. Alright, last one. I think it was that one and this one. Alright, here we go. What do we have in here? A Grendel. Cool. I'll have to take this guy's outfit. Alright. Ensign Nagato's uniform. Let's go ahead and take it. Oh! Trying to take it! Oh, it's not! Oh! I'll have to hold it to equipped. Alright. There we go. Oh, it didn't equip! What? Come on! Oh, it's not working! Why? Because I killed the guy? I can't steal it by pressing A and I can't equip it by pressing and holding. I wonder why not. Because I'm, uh, I'm sneaking or what? Oh man, maybe I ruined it after I killed that dude, huh? Damn it. I don't know, I guess we're just gonna have to continue on. No one knows we're here yet. Oh, dang it. Alright. Oh no! That robot scared the crap out of me. Okay, there's that one guy. Oh no, see there's two guys over here now. Well, it's gonna be super obvious if I walk by. You're gonna be like, hey, what are you doing here? Great, I know, this is gonna be, oh, this is terrible. Oh man, look at that guy, the cafeteria worker is watching us. Oh, great. Okay, so, oh. So something's going on with my encumbrance as always oh I know why or no I still have my spacesuit equipped don't I yeah I do but I don't have my mantis one all right let's do the mantis real quick that has a carry weight capacity thing that'll help me out here all right let's uh, let's try to go behind these two Shh. Yeah, don't mind me there gentlemen just sneak into the restroom. Yup, yup, sneak into the restroom. Alright. So far, so good. So, like, basically, I killed that one guy for nothing. Yup, I couldn't even put that fuzzing outfit on. Oh, God! Oh, God, oh, God. Okay, oh, you know. Oh, hoo -hoo! 
I was just about to say, let me equip Scent Star stuff so I can see who's around us. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to avoid this person walking over. Oh, man. Easier than said than done, eh? Oh no! Oh my god, I'm stuck here now! Let's see. Oh, please! Okay, I'm like, please don't let him go. Oh, fuzz! The other guy turned around. I was just about to go in that hallway. Oh, fuzz! Now there's three of them! God dang it. Okay. Alright, I want to wait till this guy... Yes, either he moves or gets out of the way or something. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, I just gotta get through here. Open up, hurry up! Oh god, oh, ho, ho. hello! I know the other dude went around, god damn it. Yes, this guy. Okay, okay, we can go, we can go. Oh my god, this guy's coming around the corner. Oh my god, no. All right, all right, we're, we're all right, we're all right, we're still alive. Oh, yes, another outfit. Please. Yes, yes, I got an outfit. I got an outfit. Close the fuzz and door. <gasps> Put the outfit on. Hurry, hurry. Can't see me if I'm not out of my inventory mode just yet. Hurry, put the fucking outfit on. Where's that? Should be a new, new items, new items. All right. Yes, yes, somehow we got this guy's outfit. Yes, it's ugly, who cares? All right, perfect, perfect. We got a card here, nice. We got a navy crew hat, put that on. Wait a minute. I don't know if that navy crew hat's part of the set, but good enough. All right, yes, we got an outfit, you guys. We got an outfit. I'm still gonna sneak around just because I don't trust anyone watching us yet? Oh, uh, let me see, let me see. I think I might have to take off my... Yeah, my, my actual suit. Which, once again, does get rid of that extra carry weight capacity that I had. Uh, but that's fine. I'll just drop some crap on the floor. Let's see, what do I have? Something that's kind of heavy, like a gun or something. Yeah. Four pounds here, two pounds with that. Refined Rattler, all right. All right, hopefully we're good. Oh, hello, oh, just uh, chilling in my barrack. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right, very well. Now. Got my outfit, what am I supposed to do now? Enter the command bay, apparently. All right, all right. So can I, I'm just, I'm gonna test it out. Let's quick save, just in case, you know, something goes awry. But, uh, oops. Just, uh, wondering, you know, if... There we go, I'm trying to put my weapon away. So if I just walk out in the open now, are they gonna accept me as one of their own? Hey, hey there. Hey, you got hello. Patrol duty, huh? Yeah. You're standing on your feet, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, Things it's the right hat to wear. since Commander Natara took over for Commander Woods. Hello, uh, well, co-worker. Don't like it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. High five, you guys. Psh, we found a working suit. So the guy's death wasn't in vain. I mean, it was, but you know, it led us to this other uniform, so that's good. Now, hoarder's worst nightmare, having to leave two guns. I know, that's money on the floor that I left back there. True. Breaks my heart to leave money on the floor. Alright, I need to get to the command center. Ah, oh, here we go! Some of those air ventilation ducts I've been hearing so much about. Whoa. Free money. That's about the only thing I can pick up right now is money, because it doesn't really weigh anything. Oh, excuse me. Oops. 
Oh, I didn't know how to lockpick this. Thought it was just a quick open and shut. Alright, I might need this for the center ring right there. This one too. That one for the center. Let's see, maybe that one, and I think this one. might work, hopefully. Uh, let's see this one here. That one plus the one notcher right there. Alright, we'll lock that in. That one would be maybe this one right here. Yep, I think that's the one I need. Right there. Alright, <laughs> this guy's gonna be like, hey, why'd you come out of the ventilation unit? I'm sure he's gonna have some questions for me. Alright, I'm curious to see what weapon is in here. Ooh, it's locked. Ooh, look at this one. I can pick these up without any repercussions, apparently, too. Oh, well, except for the over-encumbrance. I forgot about that. That's all right. We'll make do. Ooh, shotgun shells. All right, did that guy leave? I'm going to open this up here. Curious. Curious to know what's in the box. Alright, I'll save these two for the inner rings. That looks like I'm gonna have to use maybe this one. And possibly this one right there. An adaptive frame. Well, I don't want that right now. Too heavy. Too heavy. All right, here we go. If you're just coming in, escapees, we're working with the Crimson Fleet right now. And I'm trying to sneak in here. I do have a, uh, you know, uniform. So I'm blending in at the moment. But we're trying to get to the command center to see if they have the comm spike. It's a prototype for like a GPS type thing that we're looking for. Yo, what's up, Hilarious? Good to see you. What up, HD? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, curiosity killed the cat. True. True and real, sadly. Well, if I haven't asked you yet, how are you guys doing? What's everyone up to right now? How's your Saturdays going? Thank you for hanging out with me. I am drinking a little bit, so cheers out there. Yeah, perfect timing for that, Lusty. Me too. Cheers, everyone. I'm almost done. It was a little shot of the uh, cheese alcohol pina colada wine cocktail. It has a 12.5% alcohol contents. Alright, there's the last of it. My ice is already melted, so I basically just poured it into the, uh, <laughs> the melted water. Which was still cold though, so maybe it'll, you know, even it out a little bit. But yeah, cheers! Whoo! That's strong. Yeah, thank you for being here, you guys. Good to have you. Alright, here we go. Wait a minute. Oh, the intercom! Ah. Uh. Captain Juan! Captain Juan! Shh! Jesus, keep your voice down. Hey, uh, I made it to the command bay. Good. And no alarms or warnings on the comps. Music I did kill one here. guy. Rest in peace to that one guy. Be sure to put it on. That'll provide some cover. Don't know what you're after, but I'm guessing there'll be another checkpoint. Oops. As far down, you might need a clearance code. A clearance code? You don't say. I could just kill everyone. Um, hmm. I mean, 
I guess I could use the vents. I don't know, maybe I can use the uniform? I don't like deliberately drawing attention to yourself. But a disguise is never a bad idea. I'll the go through the vents. won't be enough, though. You'll need to find a computer with the code. Try the security office. They likely have a computer there that has what you need. Going down for now. We'll talk again once you've located your target. Alright. Okay. Alright, so... We need the clearance code, but I gotta... You know, I can't just be walking around like a fool. Let's see, let's save it. Uh, hey! Just, uh, looking for the restroom. Don't mind me. What's this? Utility door. Oh, maybe, yes, utility door. Ventilation shaft. Perfect. Alright, let's go through here. Yeah, uh, Juan's right about the unnecessary attention. Uh... Is the vent up here? I don't know. I guess. Let's continue. Oh, it is, it is. Okay, okay. I was like, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. We're getting that much closer to the... command center area. What do I have to do? A little parkour? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. balancing. Oh, I mean... Yikes, I've had a little bit to drink tonight. Let's just save it real quick. Dude, I'm gonna be like halfway through and fall right in the middle and be like, oh, this isn't the restroom and then I'm gonna get shot at. Oh man, this is not gonna be good. Let me just drink some more alcohol to make it worse. All right. Yeah, the guy was an acceptable sacrifice, wasn't he? <laughs> good, I like how you think, Fuzzy. All right, here we go, come on. <laughs> okay, here we are. Man, this is where all of our concentration comes in handy. There's no way that someone's not going to look up at that very perfect moment, you know. Oh! Oh, just joking! Oh! 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 How did I get up there? God. Dude, how did I fall? I didn't even go sideways. Oh my gosh. Embarrassing. All right, no. How do I get out of here? I don't think there's a way. I think I'm... Yep, I'm stuck. I have to keep going. Damn it. No! Oh! Hello. There was a lady right there. All right, shh. Dude, we made eye contact. She's our guardian angel. She decided not to narc us out. <laughs> I made eye contact with that lady. I forgot I was over encumbered too. Oh God, there's somebody sitting right there. Okay, shh. As long as we pass, there's a, there's a freaking eye in the sky right there, security camera. Oh my god, oh my god, just go, just go, just go! I'm guessing the uniform is the saving grace here. Because these guys would not let me get away with any of this nonsense. Alright, I'm gonna hopefully wait until he walks away. Okay, good, at least he turned around. Oh! Okay. Now's our chance. Oh god, Jesus. Quickly to the computer. Do 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 press all the buttons. Alright, so we're looking for a prototype of the comm spike. Yeah, right there. In fact, I'll read about all of them though. What's the Spallen? Active project here. Hmm. What's the uh proposals? The gro the groll. The goal of project UC. E V85, or I don't know where that V came from. UCE85 Slin is to create smart shielding designed to offer better efficiency and power economy for larger starships. Rather than generate shield power for all modules, the intelligent shielding would divert power on the fly based on predictive algorithms. 
taking advantage of data rooted in classical Bayesian inference and time series modeling. By calculating a number of high probability factors such as distance, enemy ship capabilities, and likely targets, the system would anticipate and generate shielding for specific modules before an attack occurs, rather than rely on in-the-moment computations that are sl too slow to be practical. Benefits are better, more concentrated shielding, more efficient energy consumption, and increased power supply for other systems. All right, interesting. What about the UCA-44 TUSER? What's the TUSER? The goal of the TUSER is to create a guided missile targeting system that offers surgical ballistical damage to energy excuse me, enemy spacecrafts. The use of, excuse me, the use case for the system is to debilitate targets without destroying the ships themselves. Benefits are disabling enemy spacecraft without harming systems or crews, allowing for better recovery of resources or prisoners, and more efficient use of weapons, increasing overall cost of effectiveness. All right, all right. Now the goods, we want the comm spike. Let's see, this is a project under Dr. Gabriel Vogels. Oh, let's see. The goal of the comm spike is to create highly sensitive receiver capable of picking up communication signals and decrypting them on the spot. Signal range would be star system wide at a minimum of 50 AU. The receiver would be strong enough to pick up traces of frequencies potentially weakened by distance, atmosphere, or a gravitational field. Decryption software would be smart enough to both decrypt any signal within nanoseconds and propose any missing or corrupted data. Benefits. Distress signals become easy to locate and interpret. UC security could detect hostile frequencies before they become a threat and hostile embedded messaging could be easily exposed. Oh, and one more. Communications across the system are greatly increased with fewer delays. All right, all right. And the approval, it was. So let's upgrade the security clearance so a lowly, I don't know what we are, guard or something can get through. I don't know what I'm pretending as. I think I'm a guard or something. All right, all right. So we have that override. It looks like the elevator, engineering bay for elevator clearance was granted. Let's go. All right, uh, now down to the elevators. We're up. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking too, Lusty. I should have poured the rest of this into some coffee and stuff. But then, oh man, what time is it? Well, it's 8 p.m. right now, so yay, it's a good time for coffee. <laughs> Drop and start dancing, right? There we are. Like, I haven't had Kahlua in years, but I remember Kahlua goes really well with coffee. All right, uh, let's see. Wait a minute. It says to go back this way. Let me see, why? Was there something on the computer I missed? Did I mess it up? What did I do? Yeah, find information on the comp spike, right? I did. Ah, uh, let me see, let me just press all the buttons again. I could have sworn I found info on it. Project lead. Oh, okay, okay, I have to look at the project lead. Oh, heaven forbid. Project lead is Dr. Gabriel Vogel. All inquiries regarding Comspy should be routed through him. Yada, yada, yada. All other matters directed to Commander Natara, our highest ranking officer on the station. Okay, okay. Well, heaven forbid, I forgot to press one button on there. Almost ruined the whole quest. All right, now we can go this way. Uh oh, wait a minute, if I open this emergency door, I hope it doesn't, you know, sound the alarm or anything. That's not gonna be good. 
Oh, well, this is, okay, it's secure access, not emergency access. Good. Hello? Uh, oh gosh. Oh man, wrong way. Or maybe it was the right way. <laughs> Let me see what's in here. Probably nothing, you know, too crazy. All right, it looks like we're gonna use this one and probably this one. Storm. Nice. Actually a pretty cool weapon. I'll take it. Well you see how much money I could possibly get from it? 19,000 credits. Even if we don't get 19,000 credits we could still get like a good 8,000 for it. Not bad at all. Alright, let me quick save. There we are. So far so good everybody. Wait a minute. I think somehow I have to get over here. Which way? Oh! Somebody's talking about the comm spike over here. Not to change the subject, but are we concerned about the potential leaks? No. Until you can provide more substantial proof, we'll simply monitor the situation at the cargo bay. For now, I've recommended to Dr. Vogel to contact me immediately if he identifies any suspicious behavior. Suspicious behavior, weird stuff. What is this? You guys see that shiny thing, right? Is that like a, what is that, a star being? What, there's more. Look, there's another one. What are these shiny things? I used my sense star stuff, which should sense anything that's alive. But what the fuzz is this? I have a feeling there are star beings here and they're just kind of hidden right now. That's weird, I don't know. Yeah, invisible people! Magic invisible people. I'm gonna quick save it. Oh, things are getting a little fishy here. Yeah, there's one here. One right there. I don't know. All right, real quick escapees. I'm gonna use the little girl's restroom, or the little girl's room. <laughs> I will be it right back, escapees. Yeah, gotta love that magic. Quick restroom break, my friends. And I'll check on the dogs too while I'm at it. Uh, real quick, if you're not already following my social media, please consider checking it out. Never any pressure, but if you do want to, links are right there in the channel. I'll go ahead and drop some soul gems too. Yay, soul gems are just a currency that we have in the stream. Besides the ones, that Twitch incorporated itself, so we have the family jewels as well, too. So, all right, be right back, escapees. Thank you again for kicking it with me. Uh, you know what? I'll see if I can run that ad so that we don't have to worry about it later. Uh, I think maybe, yeah, we'll run it right there. All right, be right back.
Okay, sorry about that. Weed escapees. And one more thing. Yeah, I noticed there's a little bit of a split in my bangs. Nothing wrong with that, but I do like to try to keep it together a little bit more. Alright, there we go. Better. There must be split in the proper area. And we don't talk about... We don't talk anymore. No, we don't talk about family jewels around here, said Fuzzy. Alright, one more hit of herb. And I think we'll be good to go. Nobody's come by and yelled at my character yet? Good. I was a little bit worried about that. I'm like, I don't know. What about those star beings? Are they, uh, are they still around? They are! Yeah, I still see those sparkly things. I don't know, that's gonna be crazy. Okay, because before, if I use my magical power called Sense Star stuff, I should be able to sense those weird star people, but... My character wasn't able to sense them, they just stayed looking like that. You know, a little glittery and stuff. So I don't know. Oh, thank you for the raid, I appreciate it! Cheers to that, everyone! There we go. Pop that right there. Oops. Do it over here. Alright, now cheers. Nice. There we go. Thank you, escapees, for being here. Much appreciated. Give a shout out to Epic Milky. Thank you for the raid. That is amazing. Let me give you a fellowship hype and a official Twitch shout out too. Thank you, Epic Milky, for the raid. I appreciate it. Yay! Happy Saturday. Welcome in. Starfield gone uh, about as well as it can so far. Ah. Uh, I'm a little tipsy right now, so I'm doing a mission where I'm trying to sneak through. We're looking for the calm spike for the Crimson Fleet. However, I am undercover, though, for the uh, United Colonies System Defense Corporation. So I'm kind of, you know, I'm doing a little double agenting here. But right now we're working for the Crimson Fleet. I need to steal this thing known as the calm spike. It's a uh, prototype for some sort of communications device. And we're going to use it to look for the Crix legacy, this old Galbank ship that supposedly, it's kind of like a like an urban legend of sorts, where it's said to be floating out there somewhere with a bunch of credits on board. Uh, Jasper Crix, OG leader of the Crimson Fleet, supposedly went after it himself, never came back. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, did the shout-out not work? My apologies. I must have, uh, not typed it right. There we are. Yeah, thank you, Epic. What are you doing on your Starfield playthrough? Welcome in. Yeah, thank you, Raiders. Thank you, guys. Much appreciated. Hope everyone's doing well today. Dressing up, because it's October. Might as well. We're doing the, the schoolgirl bit. However, I've been drinking and smoking weed, so... <laughs> I'm being a, a naughty schoolgirl, let's just say that. Alright, let's go. So I noticed, though, there are some sparkly beings. I'm not sure what it is. Could be nothing. Could just be, you know, a little bit of a magic in the air. Who knows? But I did notice those things there. So I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm wondering, am I going to get jumped? Do the Starborn know that I was looking for this calm spike thing? I don't know. Yeah, good quest line so far. Yo, what's up, Aaron? By the way, welcome in. Good to see you. Alright, here's where we need to use that ID reader. Here. Slide it on through. Alright, we made it to the elevator. Very good. Oh! I was looking out there. Jeez. Alright, here we go. So far, so good. 
I can either talk to Juan on the intercom, or I can just go straight through. Let's talk to Juan. Juan! Juan! Shh, keep it down. Okay, okay. But I'm your cargo, though. What about me? You are, and I've delivered you just as the Gardo asked. No, you're that gonna leave said, me here. I can stay in orbit for a short while. I'll need to send word to Delgado anyway, if you don't get off that station. Oh man, but all right. it looks like you'll need to find your own way off the ship. Juan! That doesn't mean you're trapped. On a station this big, there are bound to be other vessels you can oh, steal. Oh god, I have to steal a As vessel. As a of the Crimson Fleet, I Great. trust you can handle that. Yeah, I suppose, but oh man. I thought we were in this together. First lesson in being a rookie. You share the loot, but not the risk. Juan! Good luck. If you make it out alive, next time you're at the Nova, I'll buy you a drink. Oh man, you're just gonna leave me here? Ugh. All right, well, good luck to us. We're on our own. Okay, uh, continue looking for that comm spike. Where is it at? Looks like it might be in here or it's on the level below us, something like that. Oh, access denied. Oh God, they're gonna know I've been pressing buttons. All right, all right. Let's go into the research lab. And yes, it looks like I probably am gonna have to go downstairs, although there's like so many people down there, I don't know if they're gonna get mad at me. Oh, looks like we gotta talk to a guy. Let's go find the scientist then. I hope they're not upset that I'm down here. I've heard the team is looking for more test pilots. Yes, if you have experience flying, you should talk to Dr. Bolt. Oh, no, no, no. there's other people here wearing that same Fun outfit. I okay, should stop good. letting my career define my self-worth. The project you might know, not even exist fine. tomorrow. I mentioned it would have to be in a difficult True, because we're about to steal the project, so... The guy, is no he knows more than what he thinks. All right, here is Dr. Vogel, I think, Gabriel Vogel. We read about him a little bit earlier. Intercepting transponder data in the harvest system might be promising. According to autocorrelation models, results in risk increased by a magnitude of two. But we won't tell Commander Natar. What she <laughs> doesn't know won't kill her. Yeah, just hide information from your lab partner, sure. Um, uh, Dr. Vogel? Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? Um... What sign? I, I didn't see a sign at all. The sign outside that says no visitors. Oh, my bad. Wait. Walked right past Did it. Did they not put that up? I requested it ages ago, but not surprising. Ever since Commander Natal He's like chewing over, on his finger. The priorities have changed. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, uh... So, are you the person in charge of Project UCE 86? Oh, yes. I've been studying decryption of all types for quite a long time. Probably since before you took your first crab jump. Signal right. protocol, quantum ratchet symmetry, interleaving data extrapolation. You name it, I've lectured on it. I've probably forgotten half of it, but I definitely knew it once. <laughs> I, I used to research that. Then I got high. All right, well, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, here, special duty, doing a routine check of the comm spike and stuff. I just kind of need a little bit of access to it, not for long or anything, you know. Don't you mean access to the ship? Because the comm spike isn't a device, it's a module. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase. Stealing that ship! across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even ah. interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Well, perfect. Since we need a ship to get off of this boat here. All right, good, 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 good. Excellent. I think we found the ship we're about to steal. <laughs> Don't tell the good doctor that, though. Oh, yeah, 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 decryption on that level it has vast military applications. No wonder the UC is interested in <laughs> Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. 
Oh, we yes, yes, Doctor, for yes. Everything from oh. backup plans to meal consumption. Oh, Not meal that consumption. We care oh. about that sort of thing. Uh, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes, there are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury. Imagine it's all there. broken. But it's all part Can't of even the adventure. use the thing. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, ship's perfect. Kill two birds with one stone. That's exactly what I was thinking, but I'm not telling the doctor that. Oh, wow. Huh. Sounds like it might not be entirely ready then, huh? A little testing oh, or so. It's ready. We're long past the inference stage. Statistical models can only go so far. And now that we've corrected the prior mishaps, it's time for real flesh and blood pilots to stress test the systems. The kind on afraid to make the necessary sacrifices. In short, I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. Oh, man. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties... I hope they're not already waiting on the ship, our though. Findings to mast. Otherwise, we're going to have to clear them out. Oh, God. Betray Juan to divert attention. Arrange a test flight on the pilot ship. Oh, God. Betray Juan. There's no time. The captain of the Jade Swan is trying to steal the comm spike. I need to secure the prototype ship immediately. No, I won't betray her. She was really nice to me. Come on. I'm a... Surprise, surprise, Doctor. <laughs> I'm actually one of those new test pilots. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Oh, Normally yeah. my requests aren't given this much attention. Let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Suspicious? Never. All right, let me catch up on chat real quick. My apologies. Uh, Epic Milky said I'm working on the UC quest line. Yeah, I played the main story four times. God damn. I'm on the fifth playthrough, but didn't do much of the factions quest line. Nice. Well, congratulations on being the, beating the story that many times. That's amazing. I'm actually at a like a turning point in the main quest. I haven't seen the rest of it yet, uh, but I'm at a point where all of my companions are gone right now, all of the ones from Constellation. So right now I'm doing that UC and Crimson Fe Fleet quest line so that I'm uh, I'm able to do like evil stuff without Sam or Sarah or any of the good characters like oh you know disliking things or hating things and all that. So yeah, right now that all my NPCs are kind of gone, I'm like, oh, let's go do some evil stuff. So that's why I'm doing the Crimson Fleet. That, and I got in trouble and sent to jail, so I'm trying to get out of that as well. Yeah, they might be Starborn just hanging around, huh? Just watching, seeing me do evil nonsense. <laughs> the Ace of Base. The Ace of Spades! The Ace of Spades! And I saw the sign. I saw the sign. I had opened my eyes and I saw the sign. That one song. All right, here we go, you guys. So I just told him that I was the new pilot. He's like, I don't know. They don't usually take my requests that quickly. Well, I mean, you know, classified reasons. But you know how important this is. I've been asked to personally fly this ship. I see. Yeah, it yeah. It would have been nice if they kept me in the loop. I am the project lead, after all. Oh, and we love you for it, Dr. Vogel. We love you for it. Um, but, uh, I mean, we don't really have that much time for this. I was told it's kind of an emergency. You're right. We do need to hurry if we're going to have this module. <laughs> right now. I mean, yes, You've convinced yes. Me. You're the new test pilot. Oh, You'll need of course a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. Oh, the uniform you can get in right. the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at Docking Bay 8. Use the password to the access password. the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, Bay best eight. of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. Yeah, to science! Dude, he's going to be so disappointed when he finds out that we're not working for them at all and he just got robbed. Oh, man. Robbed right under his nose. Okay, now that uniform. Uh, which way is the uniform, sir? Probably this way, huh? 
Hey, he went through the ventilation system too. Looks like we all use the vents around here. Advanced, wow, that's nice. Advanced SY92 pilot spacesuit. Hell yeah, don't mind if I do. All right, let's get this baby on. Hopefully it's in the right size. Ooh, it looks good. I like the uh, square shoulder pads, <laughs> I guess. Looks good, looks good. Yeah, more stuff to carry, exactly. All right, we're looking good. Excellent. Let's save that there. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, I You'll won't find disappoint the you. You'll ship in docking bay eight. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. All right. Don't mind if I do. Let's go. So now all we got to do is get to docking bay eight. Trying to steal the comm spike, which we just found out is not just a little device. It's actually a spaceship. Which, surprise, surprise, I did need a spaceship to get off this damn, uh, giant spaceship. Or starship, or what do they call this? Yeah, starship or something. Spaceport, there we go. Yeah, one of these big areas Commander that just floats around called the spaceport. Oh yeah, what's this? More of those starborn? I see you, sparklies. You know what I think of you, sparklies? This is what I think of you, sparklies. Yeah! you sparkles damn starborn keeping tabs on me show yourself spineless coward starborn all right there that's enough of that <laughs> it's enough get a hold of yourself soul escape all right now, i swear they're watching us you guys Yeah, it's a modification or a mod module here have a bit mounted on a ship. Yep. Which is perfect, because I needed that spaceship to get out of here, too. Uh, somehow we're going to have to get over to the docking base. Let's see. D3. Oh, O3, actually. <clears throat> right, I have no idea how to get over there. Help me, scanner! My only hope. Let's see, well, maybe the scanner is not going to help me very much at all. All right, somehow, some way, I need to get over into this area. Let's see, possibly downstairs. Command bay, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, all right, all right. Wait a minute, I might be going backwards. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? Help. Nope, okay, I did go backwards. Hopefully the doctor's not watching. He's gonna be like, this person doesn't know where she's going at all. Are you sure you're the new pilot? <laughs> Seems like you don't know where the ships are, though. Oh, I got first day on the job, sir. First day on the job. Cut me some slack, man. Oh, well, duh. There's this freaking staircase right in front of me, right here. There we go. All right, well, that still sadly doesn't get me in there. Hmm. All right, let me switch to personal atmosphere real quick. Because I, I am a little bit over encumbered, so. Fix that. <coughs> All right, maybe this way? Aha! Uh -huh, security only. Oh! Wait, requires key. Do I have the key to this or... Uh... Oh, okay. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I thought that was the door to go through. Okay, that's not the door. Here we go. Maybe we have to go through this door. Oh. Duty pilot. oh, hello! Oh, yes, yes, I've... Uh... Uh, I'm expected here. Dr. Vogel gave me the approval. I hope he sent word down. Another test flight, huh? Yeah. The pilots are braver than me. You're clear to pass. Don't forget to schedule the flight in the control center. Oh, of course. I would never think of forgetting that. All right. Good, good. We're in. Excellent. Oh, wow. Is that the, is that the ship right there? Ooh. Hey, somebody's on the ship. 
What if I uh, take off with them on top? Well, I haven't seen anyone suspicious. Good, good. What I heard, they could be wearing a marine outfit, so stop anyone you don't know. Oh no! Oh god, they're talking about us. Okay, quickly, quickly. Uh, let's go schedule the test flight. Uh, schedule a flight. How do I get up there? Have to get up there somehow. Let's uh, let's quick save on the off chance something terrible happens. All right, all right. Ah, uh, maybe not that way. Pilot. Hello. Just uh, looking for the test flight scheduling computer, which I see is up there. Uh, let me see. Aha! There we go. Hello! Hello, just uh, logging on to my usual computer. <laughs> oh no, I'm just a stand-in for Kathy today. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she, she left the money here just for me! And I'm gonna unlock her safe, too, <laughs> while I'm at it. Alright, one second, guys. This is a big one right here. So I will, uh, oops. Wrong button. I'll go ahead and move the camera down a little bit so that you guys can see. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Avenge Clayfold? Dude, one of my old favorite bands, Avenge Sevenfold. Dog Slick Mick, welcome to the stream. I'm sorry I missed you up there. Would have tried the scanner as well. Day one on the job, boss man, right? Hands you the keys exactly to a multi-millionaire or multi-million dollar secret project, huh? Yeah, spacecraft and stuff. What could go wrong? Oh yeah, just some noob working on this. Now I'm unlocking Kathy's lockbox over here. Ooh, this one might be a little bit tough. About this one, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. I right, say we use this one for this level right here. Hopefully, that wasn't a mistake, but I'm locking it in. That one and that one. See if it turns blue, that means I can use it. Try these two right there. Next one up, I think we had this as an option. There should be another one that was an option too. If I use this one, hmm, I'm going to need one. <sighs> Whew, I don't know about this. Let's see. Well, actually, let me figure out the very last one. Because I might have already ruined it with the very last one. Oh, thank you so much. Hey, we got a follower. New follower hype. Let's see if the new follower hype works. Oh, it doesn't, huh? Thank you, dog. I appreciate that. Uh, how far have I gotten, like, in the main storyline? Um, I know about the Starborn already. I've gotten some of those powers. And that's about it, though. I'm at the part where everybody kind of split up and stuff. And so now that we don't have any NPCs, uh, no constellation people hanging around us, no companions, I'm doing, like, kind of evil nonsense. But right now, in this particular quest line, I am in the Crimson Fleet. And we're currently trying to steal the comp spike in that quest line. Uh, Venge Clayfold said, how are you liking this game? I'm enjoying it. I love Bethesda games, though. I love the RPGs. However, you know, I, I'll be 100% honest. I have enjoyed 
like Fallout 4, Fallout 3, Skyrim, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I, I enjoyed all of those a little bit more than I enjoy Starfield. Starfield's cool too, but it just, I mean, I don't know if I'll be playing it that that much as much as I still play Skyrim and Fallout and all that. I don't know. But I mean, I still like it. I, I don't have any uh, big old issues with Starfield. I have a few small issues, but nothing too huge or anything. But yeah, I recommend it though. But then again, keep, you know, grain of salt because I do like a lot of the Bethesda RPGs. So I'm a little biased. I'm a little biased here. Yeah, what I'm doing too is uh, I'm actually working for the UC as well, but I'm kind of, I'm doing the undercover stuff. So I'm working with the Crimson Fleet only to a certain point that I'm going to stab them in the back. And the only reason for that is this is my good quest line or my good playthrough. So next playthrough, I'll, you know, go ahead and do the evil, evil ones where I actually side with the pirates and become a pirate and all that. But for right, now, for right now, I am a pirate, but only until a certain point, and then I'll have to, you know, unveil the truth as well. Be like, ah, I was lying the whole time. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, getting on the Xbox, true, true. Well, I, I recommend it, Avenged. There's other, uh, what do you call it? There's other, um... Yeah, there's definitely some, some good stuff about this game as well. I don't do evil well for some... Yeah, me too. I don't know why, but me too. I'm always, at first, at least a good player. And then it used to make me feel a little bit guilty of being mean to, like, the NPCs and stuff. And uh, I kind of somewhat got over it. And now I'm kind of like, when I do my evil playthrough, I'm like, ah, oh, who cares? But no, it used to make me feel bad, too, being mean to the NPCs. <laughs> I have no idea why, but... Alright, let me see. I think I might have messed this one up, but I'm not sure. <sighs> yeah, I either need this one that has four. Yeah, I think this one might be able to fit. There's a chance. Oh, okay, okay, we didn't mess it up. Good, 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 good. So, that one, that one. This one, and I think this one right there. All right, all that work for a uh, little pistol. Some money though, the money was worth it and an extra lockpick right there. Mm. All right, well, good thing that guy didn't get mad. Uh, anyways, what I was here for, I'm supposed to be scheduling a test flight so that they don't get suspicious. Um, Let's see, apparently there's two other test flights going on. Let's do our UCE-86 comp spike, right, right, okay. Good, good. Watch me schedule test flights for everything just for fun. No. That would be suspicious. Who's scheduling all this flights? Things were a little too loose under Commander Woods. With Commander Nataro, we had stricter checkpoints, more patrols, better security. Yeah, good job for her. Is this Commander Nataro right here? I don't know. Neither of those two have names. Or if they did, I didn't see them. Alright, let's go. Yeah, now evil seems easy. I know, because you just know, you know you're joking around and stuff. I always say that too. I'm just trolling. They're not real, you guys. These are just NPCs. Just joking, just kidding. Alright, here we go. Let's save it and shave it. Docking Bay 8. Alright, we're on the prototype ship. Here we go. Ooh, we made it through the checkpoints. Good. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, killing I killed one person during this whole shebang here. That's pretty good. I'm sure there are others who went through slaughtering this whole station. Oh! Yeah, 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 I see you, star buddy. Always keeping tabs on us, huh? Damn starborn. Alright, got anything good in this cargo bay? Oh, ho, ho, 5,000 credits, good. I'll take that. Alright, good enough. 
off. Let's quickly save and shave it right here. Yeah, empathy's good. We're not a psychopath. Well, I mean, I don't know about that. <laughs> Just joking. Alright, here we go. Prototype ship, you are cleared for takeoff. We'll begin the test on your departure. Yes, thank you. Thank you, sir. Over and out. Hey, that's a nice ship. Looks like the one that I have. Alright. Recording test flight data. Please adhere to the scheduled flight plan and let us know if you have any issues. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, no worries. Cool. Alright, we made it, you guys. We're out. Excellent. Get out of here. Schedule the test flight going over to the key. Crimson Fleet Pirate Headquarters. Yeah! Woo! Dude, they're gonna be so pissed. They're like, hey! That's... That's not the right course that she's on. Oh my god, stop that ship! <gasps> stop her! She's stealing the ship! Ah! By then, it's too late. We already grab-jumped. And they can't chase us because we stole the comp spike. It's somewhat like a GPS. Woo! Got an achievement for that, apparently. That was the tenth ship that I collected. Ooh, cool. Quickly, quickly. We must dock. Immediately. I went full speed ahead. <laughs> Nearly crashed into it. Good, good. Oh yeah, I'll move the camera back where it's supposed to be. I almost forgot. I did forget, actually. Uh, let me see here. There we go, sorry about that. Yay, we stole it! Good, good, good. Alright, now let's get back on. Excellent. Didn't see you too much different with that ship. Apparently the comp spike was a module that's on it somewhere, so... Alright, alright. Uh, speak to Juan at the last Nova, so we gotta go talk to Juan well, well, at the well. bar. Welcome back, Rook. Looks like you got a new toy for me. Yeah, Rook. Go right on past in and give jazz, everyone the lowdown. We'll take care of things from here. I That's a real nice ship you brought in. Right I can't wait to tinker with it. Yeah, you like it? That's a real nice ship you brought in. I can't it. wait to tinker with it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. See you later. I'm gonna go talk to Captain Juan. She helped me out quite a bit here. See, I guess if I was a real, real good character, I would have turned in Juan, right? Because she's a, a do-batter, she's a no-gooder. Uh, basically, she's trying to work with the pirates, right? So I guess technically if I was really good, I probably would have ratted her out, huh? So she got taken down. But I didn't do that, so... <laughs> you know, I'm a little chaotic good here and there. Oh, she's telling the same story that that one guy told earlier. Remember about the heat leech being in his cargo hold? He almost got caught because of it. Somebody else just told that story too. Like, who's lying to me? Oh, thank you so much. Hey, we got a new follower. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Hey, do they have metal going on here? What? I've never heard a metal song play. Are you looking to start something? Dude, who's jamming to this? This is amazing. Well, they're not exactly jamming, but they're working out to it. Wow. I don't play too many games that feature metal music. Cool. Yeah, this guy's getting down. Hell yeah. Bang your head. No, we're just joking. <laughs> yeah. My fake air guitar. Right. Yeah. I was joking. 
Uh, I love metal music, though. All right, all right. Might not seem like it, but I, too, am a metalhead. Well, that was a good song. Yo, what are you doing in a place like this, Captain Juan? Good to see you. Nice to know Neva was right about you. Almost it's lost my headset, by the way, headbanging. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, couldn't have done it without you. I won't deny I helped. Let's hope the compensation reflects that, huh? Anyway, I believe I owe you a drink. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, Bog's you earned more Hell than yeah. your fair share already oh, with Bog's that Oh, Bog's Grog. Spec. Excuse me. Oh, I mean, hey, what did she say? Yada, 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 something about the legacy. How did she know about the legacy? Wait a minute. Yeah, who told you about that? Yeah, although I get why you didn't give me the details. Yeah, they told me if to keep my mouth this shut. Apparently the legacy, they can't do the same I themselves. I might have asked for a bigger cut. Wow. Yeah, I mean, well, if it's out there, it's good as ours. Sounds like you're on board as a true believer. I have to admit, oh, the way the things are going, no. I'm starting to believe myself. Wait, we myself. got the sub goal earlier. Anyway, I've kept you long Why enough. Why is that thing just now going right now? Now that you've right had now, your drink and my debt is paid, <laughs> it's time for you to give yeah, Delgado the Yeah, we celebrated that news. earlier. That's strange. Huh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, time to go talk to Delgado then. Uh, thanks, Captain Dayu. It was cool working with you. Need something. See you later, Juan. Some people drink. Yeah, her name was Juan. I thought that was hilarious. Oh, maybe I should have had a maintenance check that ship back there. But then they would have made me pay for it. If I get to keep it, sure, but I ain't paying for nobody else's ship out there. All right, uh, next thing's next. Well, see, yeah, they told me to keep my mouth shut. Oh, the less people that knew about the comm spike, the less people that knew about the legacy, the better. Everyone's gonna want their cut after that. And so they told me to keep quiet about it. Well. Lo and behold, Delgado, the whole leader of this motley mission here, the one, you know, loose and, what do you call it? What's that saying? Loose lips sink ships. Well, he's letting his loop, lips be loose and fly with all those secrets. How dare. And I then I, I bet at the end they're going to get mad at me. Oh, you didn't keep it a secret. Bull crappery, dude. I kept my mouth closed. I didn't say a word yeah. about the legacy or the comp spike. Weren't me. Bog at the last Nova will be more than happy to take your credits. No, I'm just joking. I'm just upset because they told me to be quiet about it. And then I come over here to find out everybody else is talking about it. Mm-hmm. I see how it is around here, Crimson Fleeters. Everybody's lying. Shouldn't have put it past a bunch of pirates, huh? Everybody lying on this ship. All right, anyways, <laughs> I mean, hello, Delgado. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, hey, boss. All right, I did the dirty work. I said I did the dirty Jasmine work. tells me oh, that you not only brought us the comm spike, but an entire prototype UC ship. Yeah, I'm pretty nice. You. Look at my outfit, Very too. Impressed. I came in the UC Marine outfit as well. I'm surprised you guys didn't shoot me on sight. <laughs> um... Yeah, the, uh, the comm spike was kind of built into the ship, so, you know, I didn't really have a choice there, but yay, free spaceship. Woo! Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. Shut up, Neva. Juan I was talking to you. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. I'm sure she did. She gave you some really high praise. Said you were a pro. Yeah, I only killed one guy. From what I hear, receiving and they didn't praise find him. from Juan Dayu is quite an accomplishment. All in all, a job well done. You know what? Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? All right, I'll, I'll hold yep, my I'm thought. Here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Oh, they broke down the ship. The spike oh, shouldn't be too tough to extract. My heart, I wanted to keep that. I'm looking that. forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. That's okay, though. I keep have my own posted. ship, I suppose. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. Oh, I forgot about I that. I think we've discovered a solution. There's oh. a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive Never heard of them. grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. Uh, well, 
You know, Jazz is pretty uh, good about that. What he's talking about real quick is, I forgot about that. Um, apparently, not only did we need the comm spike to receive and decrypt those communications, somewhat like a GPS as well, um, there's also another problem. The planet that the legacy is kind of orbiting happens to be extremely irradiated. It's one of those gas giant planets. And so supposedly we're not even able to get close to it or near it. So he's kind of telling us about a, a fix here. All right, uh, so... I mean, you know, Jazz has been doing good so far. I have faith in her. you damn right she can. Shh. My girl can piece together no one's talking a jump to you, engine neighbor. with her eyes shut. Literally, I've seen her do it. Lost good money on that bet. All right, let's you not bet get against your friend. Ha ha ha. Now, why don't you give us the info on our neon contact? Yeah, who is this you neon person? You get to person? meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's right. had her deft little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is okay. one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done. And <laughs> none of the typical bullshit. The like me and Ava just twiddling our thumbs. Yes, Captain. Yes, Captain Delgado. Don't worry, we won't do any bullshit. All right, I mean, you know, I... Wait a minute. Yeah, I trust you're not implying anything with that comment. Like, me and Neva don't get anything done. Mm -hmm. You see stuff getting done right now, Delgado. You'll find I rarely imply things. In fact, I take pleasure in declaring my words straight to your goddamn face. Well, he's probably right That's there. Exactly. He's pretty blunt. I want you to do everything Estelle asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable. Yes, to the Master fleet. Delgado. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact. You're going to be answering to me. When have I ever pissed anybody Estelle off? Estelle will quest be waiting line, at Madame Savage's place. I'm like the perfect little soldier here. I say here. don't keep her waiting, but chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. Yeah, hey, I had my fair share of price. liquor tonight as well. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. I did actually. So I want you focused. Drink this whole little bottle. We are one step away from Quix's legacy. And we cannot afford any screw-ups. Can you dodge, Delgado? No, I'm just joking. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 I'll get it done. I'll get it done. When have I ever failed you, Master Delgado? Never. Thanks for making me look good. I would have had to kill you otherwise. Neva, you on the other hand. I'll talk to you later. All right, anyway. Fleet first. <laughs> um... Never As we forget. were. Ah, oh yeah, so what I was holding my thought for is, remember that one guy that I killed in that last mission? I did, I was supposed to sneak all the way through, right? And I did pretty well, but I did kill one guy. Shot him in the back of the head. And then, sad to say, I wasn't even able to take the uniform that was right in front of him. So yes, it's true, Fuzzy Uncle is right. I did sacrifice one dude in that last mission. But I was thinking too, I'm like, when did they find him? Imagine we're like gone, they find that dead guy. They're like, oh shit. <laughs> we shouldn't have let her get away with the ship. Can you imagine the UC people right now? They're kicking themselves for that last mission. Like, oh, we just let her on through. Oh, she got through all the checkpoints. Oh, we're such morons. Yeah, I would have been saying that about myself had I let someone go through. I would have been like, oh man, now I feel really bad. Probably gonna get fired. All those people involved are probably fired. Even that poor doctor at the end, Dr. Vogel, Gabriel Vogel. I'm pretty sure he might, he might be demoted. Dr. Gabriel Vogel might be uh, scrubbing floors next time we see him. Nah, who knows, maybe he's, uh, he's probably contributed more than just that. I just thought that was kind of funny. Well, once again, Escapees, thank you so much for being here. Nightbot threw out the links to my social media. If anybody wants to check those out, feel free to do so. You can find me at soul underscore escape, capital S E U L underscore three S C four P three. Thank you again, you guys. We have a Discord, we have all that good stuff if you want to check it out. Oh, uh, alright. So next thing's next. It looks like we are heading back to Neon this time, and we're gonna talk to somebody named what? Oh, or do I have to go back to... Oh, 
Oh, okay, okay, my bad. So before I go talk to that other contact, I have to go and give this um, information. I don't have any evidence or anything this time around, but I have information. So I have to go and report back to Commander Ikande uh, about what's going on and stuff. So, okay. I know I was all ready to head over to Neon. Practically forgetting that I'm supposed to, you know, be double agenting here. We're undercover. Alright, here we go. But yeah, if you're just coming in, I did drink a little bit earlier, so my words are a little bit slurred. My bad, escapees. Had a little bit of cheat cheese pina colada right there. Wine cocktail mix, it says, and it was 12.5% alcohol. Not a lot, it's pretty small though. It was only how many ounces? Sad to say, it doesn't say how many ounces it is, but probably like four, much less than eight. <laughs> Wasn't a whole glass of alcohol, sadly. There's still a little bit in there. Nice, I got a screenshot of that, that's hilarious. Hey, that student's drinking alcohol. Shame on her. All right, let's see here. Uh, so we need to go back to the Vigilance, the United Colonies System Defense Crew. And I'll be honest, I kind of forgot where they're located. Oh, yeah, the Soul System? No, 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 a little bit past that. They're in Prokion, Prokion B, apparently. All right, it's been a while since I seen them floating around out there. Well, speaking of drinking, it is Saturday, so I'm gonna take another hit of herb. And we'll continue this party keep it going. Oh wow, holy crap! Woo! Since when did we uh, invite all the rest of the spaceships here? God damn! Yeah, what's all the chimeras and, you know, the gladiuses? What are all these extra ships doing around? Are we getting ready to go to war? Holy crap, alright, well... Looks like the knife might be going into the UC's back so I mean, the Crimson Fleet's back sooner than we think, huh? Alright, that's a little crazy. Yeah, cheers, hilarious donkey. Also, don't worry guys, I am in Washington State, so... Recreational cannabis is legal here. Hey, was that guy coming to dock in that same area? That's hilarious. Imagine some ship docks while we're docked as well. They just crash right into us. Dude, I'd be pissed. I'd start shooting at them, like, hey, mother trucker, I was parked here first. It's some bitch. No. <laughs> start fighting with somebody out there. That'd be funny. All right, one second, you guys. Let me just hit this weed real quick. Cheers. Yeah. Light it up. Oh, damn it. I went too far that way, and I, I went too fast, too quickly, and my flame went out. Okay. Gently, I will go this way. Ever so gently. Woo! Cheers, escapees! That's good. Uh, that particular strain of herb that I'm toking is called Blueberry Creme Brulee. And actually smells really, really nice, escapees. Uh, when you first get it out of the jar and stuff, you take a whiff of it, it's like, that's nice, it smells good. Alright, here we go! So we Everything are currently clear. back on the UC Vigilance. Tough not seeing any we gotta go and give our info in. So we did steal a comp spike. It's currently in Crimson Fleet hands. Which they said I should continue I to do, so I didn't betray them or anything. That's what they told me to do. Commander Conde, I'm back! Anything to report? What can I do for you? Yeah, lots hey, to report. I want to talk to you right now. Wait, I thought I was supposed I to have do mass this. Breathing down my neck. They're ready to shut down this entire operation. He you told me to do fire this. On SY920 and kill oh. people. Oh Just God. Who the hell do you think you are? 
Okay, I killed one guy. Oh god, I forgot about the... Okay, okay, you're right. Oh man, this came back to bite me on the ass. <laughs> oh man, uh, I'm sorry. Oh god, that one guy. Damn it. Uh, oh man, well, I'm sorry, Commander. I don't know what else to say. I should make you say that to the families of the innocents you murdered. It was one guy! You have died because you were too innocent. stubborn to find a safer solution. Person. This is not how you see Sistep operates. If you do it again, you're off this operation, and I'll have Toph throw you in the brig. I'm sorry. God It'll damn. be my pleasure, sir. Oh, please. Right. You know what? I think we're all in agreement here. So let's get back to the operation at hand. Please give me your report. You know what? As the, if, In the words of somebody from chat, when Sam Co started being rude, that was mad disrespectful. What the f- Dude, I have half a mind of stabbing the UC in the back now. Excuse me, killed people? It was one person, first of all, person non-plural Ikonde, and I don't appreciate you treating me like I'm some type of child here. I mean, come on, man. How am I supposed to remember I'm not supposed to kill anyone? <laughs> it was one guy, dude, and he looked young. He probably didn't even have a family, all right? He was probably some lowly guy that they got off of Jemison somewhere. They probably got him off the well, okay? The slums. They grabbed him in off the slums. I'm, I'm here to speak. explaining my part to you, Ikande. I mean, you should have a little respect for the person that's been doing all this legwork here. Yeah, one guy died, so what? You get your ass on the ship and go sneaking around. Expect not to get caught without any casualties. Hmm? Hmm? All right. So you know what? Before you start yelling at me like I'm some little kid getting in trouble, like I'm some fucking student or schoolgirl getting in trouble here. I don't know where he get that idea. Pfft. Excuse me, Mr. Commander Ikonde, all high and mighty. Can't get his ass off the ship. Probably was eating donuts the whole time. Ugh. Yes, one death occurred, but it's not like it's a huge deal. It wasn't like it was the president or the captain of the if ship you there. Would kindly continue. All right, all right. Okay, I'm calm. I'm calm. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm calm down. I'm calm down here. <laughs> I know. I'm just joking. All right, all right. I deserve that. I did get one guy killed. All right, or I killed one dude. I have blood on my hands. All right, well, okay, okay. All right, so anyways, aside from all that, which I did apologize for, um, oh, should I rat out? I'm gonna rat out Juan here. A cargo ship captain was on that ship too. Her name was Juan Dayu and she helped me get on the station. You guys gonna arrest her too? Please, that all depends on what you brought back from your mission. Aside from your eyewitness testimony, I assume you have the usual evidence that could lead to her incarceration? I actually I don't, I don't think. I can once we complete your debriefing. But at the moment, I'm far more concerned about the comm spike. Yeah, I don't think I picked up any evidence this time around. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, well, uh, so what I know so far, besides all that other drama, is that Delgado has Jazz, a.k.a. Jasmine Durand, working on the comm spike at the moment. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. Makes sense. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? The immense radiation issue. Well, he's sending me over to Neon. He says a corporation named Jennerdyne, they have a, a conduction grid in Neon? Something about that might be the key. The conduction grid? Yeah. That's brilliant but is it actually possible it's 80 year old tech sorry sir the conduction grid is how neon generates its power it essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy it would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle bannock forzy field an engineer like jasmine durand that's is that case. like her sister or Before something? Contacts on Neon, this lady's being a... Be that Lieutenant Toph? In the near She's super secretive. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. Yeah, because I killed someone, huh? We're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet and make amends for the UC's oh, embarrassing please. mistake. 
yell at me like a kid and then at the end be like, Oh, by the way, you're getting praise from up above. Ho 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 ho. Okay, then don't yell at me in the first place, Commander Conde. Excuse. Excuse. Alright, well anyways, I'm pleased that I guess they're finally taking you seriously. Let's see. Yeah, are you like the tiniest bit concerned that maybe the fleet's getting a little bit close to uh, Crick's legacy? Of course I am. But it's a calculated risk. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, what, what embarrassing mistake were we talking about? The, the fact I killed one guy? Oops. The fact that our common enemy owes its existence to the United Colonies, of course. Oh. It was the riot at the lock touched off by Jasper Cricks that inspired him to create the Crimson Fleet in the first place. Thanks oh. to your assistance, I didn't we'll be that. able to rectify that mistake, and Mast will authorize an all-out assault. Ooh, I hope I get to be involved. That'll be interesting. <laughs> Big ol' space war. Oh, well, I mean, I'm glad they're finally taking you seriously. That's good. Yeah, I hope that means I'll be getting a pay increase. <laughs> we know that's not the case after our little mishap. I accidentally killed one guy. Oh, no. It's long overdue. All right. I suppose that's all for now. I'll be all looking right. forward to your next report. Good luck. And please, be careful. All right, no more casualties. Hey, we got an achievement there. Woo, the best there is. Complete the quest, the best there is. Nice. All right, GG, high five everybody. Whoosh. Got a little tongue lashing from the commander here. What can I do I for mean, you? I'll admit I was a little bit offended. That was a little disrespectful there. But, you know, I get it. I get it. I should be more careful. It's okay. I've calmed down. It's probably the alcohol and the weed made me a little upset, a little angry at him. But, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I even contemplated stabbing him in the back for a second there. But, you know, I've, I've calmed down. So, appreciates the sacrifice side you. note, Go uh, I don't think I picked up any evidence against Commander Dayu, or uh, Ship Captain Dayu, I should say. But you let's talk to Miss Toft here. Remember to turn in any evidence fragments you find. Uh, I guess I have some evidence? I'm not sure. Nice work. Let me take a look. I think that guy, that NPC on the in the background, he looks like he dropped something on the floor. <laughs> um... Well, I have information about the Galbank employee, but that's about it. Are you kidding me? Zembrowski was already making a six-figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me <laughs> sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. Anything else? Ooh, Dumbestry's going into the, uh, the can. All right, that's all I have for now. Okay, fine, fine. I know there's more out there, so keep on it. Yeah, I completely missed the stuff incriminating uh, Captain Dayu, though. Juan Dayu. Oops. All right, well, let's see. Uh, I guess that's all I need to know. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Yeah, no problem. See you later. She said later on I could talk to some of the prisoners, but they probably wouldn't have been captured yet, right? That'd blow our cover. They'd be like, hey, we only got information from that one chick that was here, and it'd be us, you know, so. Hey, what's up, Rad Cow? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Uh, how far am I in? In this particular quest line, we are, let's see here. Uh, well, I'm on the mission known as Absolute Power. In order to retrieve these, I'm pretty far in, I would like to say. Because we've already got the comm spike uh, that we need to encrypt the communications on the legacy, that one ship. And so now we just need to retrieve the conduction thing so that we're able to get close enough to that one planet, Bannock. It has like a high radiation level or something. So once we get this, supposedly we should be ready to go get that ship. So pretty far in, I would say. Uh, in order to retrieve the conduction grid technology, I need to travel to Neon, meet up with somebody named Estelle Vincent, the Crimson Fleet captain based out of the hedonistic city. Yes, yes. Alright, I should probably take off this UC Marine outfit, huh? Yeah, let's get back into uh, normal people clothes. Yeah, that was my bad. I got yelled at for killing one guy during that mission, which I deserve. Go. 
Oh, there was a pilot helmet that I was supposed to be wearing. That's hilarious I didn't wear it. Alright, let's go back. Yeah, hedonist. That's what the, uh, uh, the quest synopsis thing called it. it. Said Neon City was a hedonistic city. And I was like, yes, there are plenty of hedonists there. Hey, you need something? What's up, Heller? Go ahead and undock. Looks like we're headed over to Neon City. Which is actually kind of far out there. I think it's in the Volai Galaxy. Oh, you know what? I haven't scanned this planet yet. Might as well do that up. There we go. Oh, there it is down there. want to flip over to Neon. Yep, let's go to regular Neon right there. <laughs> yeah, my kind of city, huh? A lot of hedonists there. A lot of people doing drugs and having sex. Drinking. Partying. 24-7 parties going on over on Neon. Even my character tried a little Aurora. We've had our fair share of drugs over in Neon. Oh, speaking of which, we have to go back to one of the places where we've done drugs before, Madame Savage's. So it's uh, one of the bars that's kind of in the, uh, like the slum area, I would say. Oh, wait, one second. You know what? I am a little bit over encumbered, but I think my ship is so close so I can go ahead and put some stuff in there real quick. Let's see, I'll drop that. Pretty much any of the weapons that I'm not using. Oops, sorry, I was taking that out of my inventory. There we go. Yeah, leave these. And pretty much anything we're not using at the moment. That's a nice rifle. That spacesuit. Hopefully, I don't need that pilot spacesuit anytime soon. I just put it away. Uh, any resources? Got a couple of resources on us. Good. Let's see, no books. At least none in the inventory. Maybe some of the aid is getting a little heavy. Alright, well, should be good enough for now. We can at least walk around and stuff. Good. That's all I need to do, huh? All I need to be able to do is walk around a little bit. Walk and run. But you know what? Since we are in neon right now, I'm gonna try to, let's uh, let's take off our actual suit. Let's try to fit in a little bit here. Let me put on my cool outfit again. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Pretend to be a neon dancer. <laughs> oh, don't mind me, just a dancer outside of the club. Oh, the scanners won't hurt you. No need to, you know, uh, suspect us of anything nefarious or anything like that. No, no. The neon dancers, they never get in trouble. Ho ho. In fact, they get harassed almost every night in the club. In fact, they're the ones making the police reports at night. Want to challenge your instincts and hone those corporate skills? Alright, apparently. You have to go right back here. Cool. Going down into the ebb side, apparently. Good, good. Or Hilarious is here where Dan Paul used to get shot all the time. I don't know what he did to make these guards super mad, but DP did something. Madame. So 
I paid off that guy that was at the door. I think he's the dude that DP made angry. I just gave that guy money. I was like, you know what? He's the only person in this city that's asked me for money so far. Here, a few shekels. Now beat it. Now scram. All right, Madame Savage's club. Nice, nice. Doesn't have the metal music that, you know, we were jamming to earlier, but close enough. We've got some techno. All right, all right, gotta get some screenshot of that. There we go, there we go. Gotta make it look like we're having a good time on the stream, escapees. Come on now, smile, everyone. Turn that frown upside down. Oh, nearly broke in. Oh, here we go. Uh, Estelle Vicente, I presume. You looking to get zone? Uh, not today. How'd you know? How'd you know I was high? No, I'm just joking. Zoned? What do you mean? Yeah, you know, dusted, blazed, frosted, high. If you weren't here to dusted. buy some Aurora, then what the heck do you want? Um, well, I mean... From the Crimson Fleet. Really? Shh. You're just gonna blurt it out like that? Good I whispered. Since it's obvious you have the work that Delgado whispered. Sent, I'm gonna save both of us some time. Turn around, right. fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. Side note, I like those bottles around her. They're kind of cool. Oh, man. Uh, who's who said no one's taking you seriously? I mean, the guy said to come work with you. Come on, give me a break. You're not exactly a top dog over there at the key, now are you? Now, how would she Sending know that? Sending me a rook to handle That's a job rude. this risky is a goddamn insult. Well, fuck you too. I'm getting pretty goddamn tired about call about being called the rook. I'm about to pull my gun out of my back pocket. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. All right, okay, one second, you guys. I fell out of my Xbox party. Let me fix that real quick. There we go. All right, sorry about that. Well, uh, you know what? Cry me a gut dang river. That's the way it's gonna be, huh? Fine. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around. Thank you so, so much. So I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdine's facility in the underbelly. All right, sounds easy enough. Uh, thank you so much. Hey, new follower hype. Got a new follower there. Thank you, Kirito. Welcome to the stream. Fellow emo, nice. Well, always amazing to meet a fellow emo as well. Or I guess retired emo here. <laughs> I guess I'm a little bit too old now to be emo. Oh, another awesome anime. What's up, Full Metal? Welcome to the stream. Got a new follower hype for you too. Thank you, Full Metal. Thank you, Kirito. Now I could be wrong. It's been a while, but uh, let's see, Kirito was from, I think. Anyone in there? Hello? Shh. Quiet down, Estelle, I'm trying to think here. Kirito was either from, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. What was that other anime? Ah, yeah, yeah. So either Sword Art Online or was it Attack on Titan? One of those. Sword Art Online or Attack on Titan? Yeah, retired emo. And we emo. Yeah, we old ancient emo. We elder emos got to stick together. Actually, you might be a young emo. I say I'm retired because I'm, you know, in my 30s and stuff. <laughs> I'm a uh, millennial. Oh, it was Sword Art Online. Nice. And then Full Metal. Of course, Full Metal Alchemist. Very, very good. Oh, you all right, let's bored see. or something? I no, mean, I, I just I forgot we were talking else, about. Or, uh... Uh, hold your horse, Estelle. Hold your spaceship. Um, let me see. She wants me to go into the underbelly, go to that one corporation, right, with the funny name, 
and download the coordinates or something like that all on my own, right? Um, okay, what kind of facility is that? What are we talking about here? I'm talking about Jennerdine's main power plant for Neon. Oh, it's a power plant. <laughs> all their cushy Good offices luck. might be up in the trade tower, but the nuts and bolts of their operation are running beneath the city. All right, and uh, what exactly is the power core? Is that like the main thing? Is anything gonna blow up here if I pull that out? Some fancy name the brain trusted Jennerdine calls the room where all the power from the oh, conduction it's a room. grid is okay, stored. Okay. Cute, right? Hey, don't look at me. I didn't build the damn thing. All I know is that the tech inside the place is valuable. Well, probably if it runs the whole city power. All right, I guess sounds easy enough. I do know where the underbelly is. I've been there a couple of times. Love the confidence. Don't ask for but what, though. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. Ugh, what is While it now? While you're inside, Jenardine, I need you to plant a virus into their system. And here is where it's I a help her. It's job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Oh, man. All right, well... I mean, Delgado himself never mentioned anything about a virus. That's because you're planning it for me as a favor. Mm, I knew it. has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. Oh, man. Well... <sighs> Why do you need access, though? Hey, if I'm gonna help you, I want info. Why? Let's just say that information can be just as lucrative as selling Aurora and oh, keep it okay, at that. Oh, okay, I see. Okay? She wants to but sell her I personal Delgado private data. Came to the conduction grid data. She's one of them. That's his territory. One of those. Don't touch it. One of those hackers. So are we talking about another Bayou? Part of the, you know, esteemed Neon City Bayou family? Yep, nepotism has its advantages. Oh, Word on the street is that the Jennerdine gig is the only one Benjamin could get for his younger brother. He's, well, he's not the brightest. Perfect. Sounds great. All right, I guess. Well, what's the security like there? Just curious. Oh, no. Are you scared, little rabbit? No, I well, just wanted worry. to know. I've got Jesus. you covered. Jennerdine's Can't ask got any their questions, locked apparently. down tight. But as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start right. with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdine. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. All right, all right. Uh, so, uh, wait a minute. There's got to be a catch, though. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. Ooh. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorico. I don't Talk know how that's the, the catch, place. but Micah, good info. She'll point you in the right direction. Juicy details As for there. As Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When all you're right, done, right. come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Oh, man. All right. Well, I'm dressed as a dancer from the Astral Lounge, so it makes sense. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. Brace and Bayou, is that Bayou's younger brother that we're gonna go after? No, his name was Benjamin. Who the fuck is Brayson? Nepotism gets him the job at Jennerdine as their chief technician. Yet the guy doesn't know the first thing about electrical engineering. They There's obviously three invented Bayou's the now? just Chief to get some more on a salary. One of the many poorly kept secrets Oh, in maybe Benjamin Bayou's Frankly, the main Bayou, right? I, such a I forgot his Benjamin name. Benjamin Bayou stuck his ass in that facility under the city to oh, keep okay, him out okay, of the Oh, okay, okay, okay. Benjamin's the main Bayou. Okay, I get it, I get it. All right, all right. Uh, anything else that, you know, I might need to know about the company or whatever, Gender 9? Not much to tell, really. Thanks to their nifty little conduction grid, they're able to provide power for the entirety of Neon. Damn right. thing was supposed to be some kind of miracle invention, turning lightning into usable electricity. Neat trick, right? Only catch is that you need a planet like Voli, where lightning strikes often enough to make it feasible. Guess how many of those exist? Ding! If you said zero, you're absolutely correct. So Jennerdine has been in dire financial straits for years. Oh, well, that's terrible. <laughs> the one product that they're trying to perfect can't be used anywhere, great! They have zero, um, what, target audience or whatever. <laughs> Good, let them burn. Oh, no. They'll be just fine. 
The only reason they haven't folded is because they charge exorbitant fees for power. I'm talking two or three times what it costs in New Atlantis. More okay, corruption. Now, on to round two of our little game. Guess who has a major stake in Jennerdine and soaks up all that delicious profit? Um, let me see. Either the shareholders, maybe Ryujin. I don't know, Ryujin? Ooh, not even close. The oh, answer you were looking for is you? another corporation. It's a person. It's good old Benny Bayou. Ah, uh, That son Benjamin. of a bitch has a finger in every single pie in the sorry excuse for a city. Dennerdine's no different. All off the books, of course. How the hell do you think Brayson Bayou got the job down there? It wasn't because of his good looks or smarts. I can promise you that. All right. Uh, I guess anything else about that Ayumi Komiko chick? Besides the fact that she's dating, uh, what's his name, Brayson? Businesswoman. Tough as whole plating. She's the COO at Jennerdine, and I can assure you she didn't get there with her winning smile. As oh. for her relationships, well, you probably slept her way to the top. Publicly, Shh. she's having a bit of a fling with Benjamin Bayou. But rumor has it that she's just. Oh, Benjamin, Bayou. I thought she was sleeping with his son. A little bit son. of fun on the side with Micah, the owner of Euphorica. If I were you, I wouldn't Ooh. bother trying to appeal to her good nature. She's a, a little love triangle who there, uses maybe. To get what she wants. Using people to get what she wants? Hmm. Ah, uh, the lowdown on Euphorica. What does that have to do with anything? Pretty laid back club over in Ebside. Owner's name is Micah. She's young, but sharp as a razor, and has gang muscle to back her up. The little Aurora lounge she has tucked away in the building is the real gold mine. Said she modeled Been it after there opium before. dens on old earth. Bayou takes a cut of the profits, of course. The rumor says it's way less than he usually takes. No one knows why. Mmm, probably sleeping with that lady too. Watch All right. your step. Benjamin Bayou has eyes everywhere. Yeah, I'd be surprised if you weren't two of them right there. All right, well, we have our orders then. Yeah, Intel's always useful. Good, good, good. Yeah, they all—they got the whole niche market. Oh, that's crazy! Is wow, I didn't know that. Uh, apparently, Kirito said, "Fun fact: Kirito, Inosuke, and Aaron are voiced by the same person in the American Dubs." No wonder I kind of thought I was like, ah, either this person or that person. But yeah, that's cool. Aaron from Attack on Titan. I still have the last season that I haven't watched just yet. I know. I do want to see that last season. I'm waiting forever until it comes out on Netflix. Yeah, sad to say I don't have any Crunchyroll right now. No Crunchyroll, haven't had it for years. One tear shed. All right, so we have options here. We can go dig up some dirt on that lady that we're gonna go shake down. Or, yeah, let's see. The tech I need is within Jennerdine, Neon's power utility company. I'll need to speak to Micah, who's over at Euphorica. Oh, yeah, the owner of a club named Euphorica, who can help me make contact with one of Jennerdine's executives. But then I can also go and steal that one thing, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it says locate evidence to extort Ayumi Gomiko. Mm. All right. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. I just pushed that citizen out of the way. Uh, I guess, well, if we go to Epside, right away we're gonna be heading over to Euphorica. Uh, let's go to that one corporation building. We'll see if we can, like, find some evidence on this lady. Or, you know, find some dirt on her. So that we'll have a, a little bit of the edge if we need to blackmail her just Back a little off. bit. That's an order, not a suggestion. Well, excuse me, jeez. Got a little close to that security guard and he nearly shot me. <laughs> Alright, Jennerdine Industries. Let's go. Let's do it. Still on season two. Nice. It's a good anime. I love it. I love Attack on Titan. Alright, let's see. Oh, okay. Save it and shave it. I don't know what I'm going to tell this guy. Uh, hello! Uh, hello, Mr. G. Nishida? Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. 
Oh, let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here nope, for the conduction no job. tour, we shut it down a year ago. Ah, well, uh, oh, the conduction grid, interesting. See that big yellow thing that's draped over almost the entire city? That's the grid. Uh, no, I haven't seen it actually. Besides, looking like some Maybe sort I have of and it just modern art never piece, registered. It's actually the main source of the city's power. Oh, cool! I didn't know that. I thought it was just some fancy lights. Huh? Interesting. Well, that's a darn shame. A tour would have been nice. Well, like I said, it shut down. Had to cut the entire tour staff too. Look. Oh, well, darn. I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid Looks like he was just sitting there doing nothing well. when I walked yeah. in. Well, maybe he was doing something on the computer, I don't know. I mean, it looked like he was doing fine to me, see? Even the game says so. I was joking. I mean, hey, I'm a therapist, a freelance therapist, that is. If you don't mind talking about it, hey, I'm always uh, willing to listen and stuff. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online right. almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. Hmm, wow, well. So you're telling me the conduction grid is your guys' only product? No, of course not. We still produce smaller power systems and backup generators, but nothing even close to the magnitude of the conduction grid. Genodyne needs to come out with something spectacular to put us back on the map. If not, we'll remain stagnant forever, or worse. Dead. No, uh, well, I mean, you know, wow, I can't imagine any of the superiors are very happy about that. <laughs> My superiors seem to only be concerned about themselves. The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. So I I've heard. You, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. Also have heard that too. Wow, well, that's terrible. Yeah, you have to man up and fire the guy. Imagine firing the big wig's younger brother. Dude, he'd come down with you with an iron fist. Wow, well, we know how Brayson got the job in the first place. He's that dude's younger brother. Hmm. I mean, surely they have somebody, you know, holding his hand, though, right? Of course there are. But so far, Brayson has suppressed most of their work through pure jealousy. That scum! Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on. But I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou. But I don't know if he can be trusted. Uh oh, he's what been keeping tabs. He wants to rat out the younger brother. Uh, one second, escapees. Let me, uh, I'm gonna mute my outdoor cameras for another couple of hours here. There we go. Otherwise, we'll hear that annoying beep the whole time. Uh, well, huh, I mean, what does that report say? It describes my aggravation with how badly Brayson Bayou is running the research and development division. I'm also including a list his of all the failed experiments he's greenlit, and how much they've cost Genodyne as proof of yeah, his Yeah, 3D printing, exactly. I'm praying someone as financially successful as Administrator Bayou might be able to put aside his ego and look at this from a business perspective. Huh, well, I mean... Jeez, I'll be 100% honest, he's a, a dangerous man. I don't know if I want to help this guy out or get him into deep water. Dude, if he sends him a... A report on his younger brother. I think this guy is gonna get fired. Hmm. Well, <sighs> for his own sake, he should bury that report. But for the sake of the mission, if you're really worried about this company, send that report immediately to Administrator Benjamin Bayou. I'm sure he would love to read all of the dirt you got on his bro here. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Yeah, hundred hey, percent right. Thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at you all? Just walked in at the right time, apparently. All right. Well, uh, 
So, yeah, I hope that helps out and stuff. Dude, this guy's Sorry, gonna get fired. I, uh, I have a lot of work to do. Maybe I shouldn't have told them to do that. Oh, well. No time for a, you know, uh, dirtied up conscience. <laughs> hey, mind if I ask you some questions about Ayumi Komiko? As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Is it true she's sleeping with that one guy? No. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, I mean, we could try to persuade him out of some info. But first things first, let me ask the normal questions. Do you enjoy, like, working here under her? Is she cool? Uh, she's my boss. <laughs> uh, she's fine, I guess. Like, he doesn't know what to say. Look, there. Uh, you like don't want to get trouble. I don't want to get into yeah, serious yeah. trouble. I knew it, I knew it. She might be a bit tough on all of us, but being responsible for Neon's power grid is a very stressful position. Sometimes that stress trickles down. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, how long has she been your boss, though? I've only been working here for a few years now, and she's been my boss the entire time. Well, right, the big right. boss is our CEO, Mr. Harada. But I've actually never met him. He lives somewhere in New Atlantis, I think. Ah. So, uh, you know, come here. Do you suspect that she's involved in anything, you know, illegal? Shh. Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I, I know, I, can't I know. discuss company matters like Just this. Keep your voice down, keep your voice down. Like, you know, nobody else needs to know. It's just you and me. Remember your therapist? I'd like to help you. I really would. Oh, come on, man. Just, you know, give me the dirt here. I'm not leaving until you tell me what I need to know. You're just annoying enough that this might work. <laughs> all right, all right. I promise, dude. Just between us, between friends, you know. Friends. I wish oh. I could. Damn it. But if anybody found out, I'd help you. Look, oh. I don't know why you're pushing me to talk about Miss Komiko's private affairs, but I don't think it's appropriate to ask me about this right now. Gene, you spineless. Ugh, fine, that's all I wanted sure, to know. Sure, sure, no problem. Damn it, we're so close, you guys. So close, yet so far away. Hey, Dr. Phils, thank you so much. Take my prime. Thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know why the... Oh, Streamlabs. Damn it. Sorry, I have to reload Streamlabs here. Gosh dang it, Streamlabs. Sorry that the notification sound didn't play. There Things we go. Yeah. Mind. I'm right there with you. Let's throw that resub love in the channel to a Dr. Phil's therapist. Thank you, Dr. Phil's. I appreciate that. For the 20 months. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Yeah, anybody close to your keyboards, please drop some love, some hype, some emotes of any kind out for. Dr. Phil's therapist. I'm just gonna pretend that the sound played. Hark now, what do I hear? Dr. Phil's therapist ascending in the stream. 20 months. Thank you for the 20 months. I appreciate it. Woo! And welcome back. Yeah, thank you so much. I hope I haven't hey, offended you in, in any way. Oh, thank you for the lurks. I appreciate that. Always good to have you here, Dr. Bale. Welcome, welcome. Hey, well, thank you. Just uh, in the middle of this quest here, I was trying to persuade this guy and I went and I blew it. Sadly. Uh, but I think that's all I need to know, though. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, see you later too, G. Which, that is kind of a cool logo right there. Man, I was hoping to get some dirt on this lady. Uh, there's no way I could, you know, just go into the office or uh, look around a little bit. The way things are looking at Jenardine, might be time to polish up my resume. Hmm. I was hoping if to find some me, dirt. I have a deadline to meet. On that one Yumiko sh uh, chick. Let's see, close this door here. 
I don't know whose office this is, but I'm gonna start putting my mitts into stuff. Alright, let's see what we can get out of this computer. This one for that next one. And these two are gonna be used somewhere here. Alright, we'll do that one, that one, this one, and that one. Alright. Any dirt on that one lady? Security reminder, automated update, update available. None of these are gonna help me out. Uh I don't know, security reminder? Nope. Automated update. Updated after all? I don't know. Alright, nothing. It was useless. No, I just wasted my time. Oh well. That's a cool sculpture right there. Anything on this computer? No? Coffee mug. Desktop sand garden. Damn it. David Copperfield book. A switch? What is that gonna do? Alright, maybe the master safe. Let's steal from the master safe. Probably nothing good in here, but you never know. Alright, I quick save just in case. Alright, let me move the camera down just a little bit. So y'all can see what I'm working with here. Show me what you're working with. Oh, and the camera just popped up too for a second. I'm looking a little bit shiny there. Nothing a little face powder won't fix. All right, there we go. Once again, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Good stream. Yeah, thank you for all the conversations earlier. We got a lot done actually doing some Crimson Fleet stuff. I drank this whole little pina colada wine cocktail mix thing. It was 12.5%. I got super buzzed. It's kind of wearing off now, though. I'm like, oh, I should have got another one of those. Oh, man. Well, I hope you get time to play some Starfield pretty soon, Dr. Phil. I actually like it, too. It's the first per High five, Dr. Phil. You're the first person that has said that they like the uh, lock picking system. I like it, too. I like puzzles. I, uh, you know, I have nothing against puzzles and stuff. However, it does take me a little bit of time occasionally to solve some of these. <laughs> Why did they give me the creepy music right now? Yeah, some lady in the background. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, this one they just threw in there, but it actually doesn't fit any of them. All right, let's see. I'm gonna need to save this one for that particular ring. Right in the middle. All right, I'm gonna look for any of these little notches that only fit the first ring. Which it looks like we don't have any, so are there any that I'm going to need for only the innermost ring? Alright, we got a few. Alright, here we go. Um, let's see. I'll try that one and that one, and then I need one that has two, kind of like this. I'll do this and that. Yeah, I like a, a good challenge as well. I know I had to time somebody out the other day because I kept asking them, please, no more, no backseating, please, no more help. I had to ask them at least two to three times, and I was like, all right, I already asked you, so now I'm gonna time you out for 10 minutes. <laughs> I felt bad, but it's like, hey, I mean, I play games because they do give me a little bit of a challenge. If uh, if I sit down and play a game, I don't want somebody telling me like, okay, here's where you go get this and that and this and that, you know. 
there you go, there's all the answers. Which I totally understand, some people do like playing like that, that's cool too. Uh, like for example, Sour Kool-Aid Show, he loves having back seating, and so I'm totally cool with going in there and telling him, you know, what to do. But that's the only reason for that is because he enjoys that. And sometimes I'll have information, like I'll, I will have already played a game that he's streaming and stuff, and I won't backseat and I'll just, you know, shh. I'll just watch him struggle a little bit. <laughs> but that's what I like. I like, uh, I like the struggle in video games a lot. If, uh, I know it's been such a long time since Man vs. Game streamed, but if anybody remembers Man vs. Game, uh, he kind of had, you know, the same motto going on too. Okay, let me, uh, let me start kind of looking forward. I need that one, that one, and I think I might even need this one. Oh, no, no, that one's a little bit too far. Could fit right there. I think I have the ones for the next level figured out. The one for this one, the only one I can think of would be... Yeah, probably this and one of those free notches right there. Alright, this next one... I think might go like this. And the last one, I might have messed this, this up, but I'm not sure. Okay, we got it. Alright, there we go. Oh, oh, I think I got, uh, I think I got in trouble. Stop right there, criminal scum. I heard somebody yelling. Damn it, I was looking for the evidence here. And there is some, but I'm pretty sure I got caught. I heard somebody talking back there. They're probably pissed. Yes? Oh, god damn it. Ah. All right, all right, all right. Shh. Just joking, just joking. Dang it. I did quick save, right? I think so, we'll see. Well, how do I close the freaking window blinds? I went over there, it didn't say you could go look at the window blinds. Gosh dang it. Yeah, he was a legend not allowing the back seats. <laughs> yeah, he'd be a lot more brutal than I am uh, when it comes to like, you know, banning folks not for anything, <laughs> for any rule breaking and stuff. Yeah, good old uh, man versus game though. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out the blinds. All right, let me see. It could be, was it the security, maybe? Security, close the blinds in this place. Right now. Nope. All right, I'll just have to be sneakier than I was. Yeah, that guy's definitely eyeballing me. <laughs> well, I mean, I am being a little suspicious, you know, just hanging out. Okay, okay, okay. Shh, shh. All right, he's gone. Fuzz him. All right, let's try it again. I don't know. I'm just praying that he's turned around now. Oh, man, I have to do this again? Oh, it's terrible. Another 10, 5, 10 minutes here. Okay, let's see, let's see. Are there any that I need for the inner ring? Possibly this one. Okay. It would fit like that somehow. This one they just threw in there for fun. If any of the, if none of the rings have turned blue, that means that doesn't fit in any of the sections. But this one they just threw in there to throw us off. Great. I do have a, a couple perks in my lockpick tree. Okay, and this one for sure we're only 
using on that second ring right there. All right, well, I'll keep that one. Let me see, I'll try to figure out this next level here. Alright, could be maybe like that. And then where's the other one I needed for the second level? This one? Alright, so possibly that one. Possibly this one right there. Alright, I think we got that second level, maybe. for one that would fit with this one, but I don't really see anything. Uh oh, did I move this one out of the way? I might have needed that one. Oops. Okay, okay, wait, 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 okay, okay. So if I use this one here, let me see. That does not fit there. It'd have to go like that. So then I'd need one that looks kind of like a K. Yeah, like this right here. All right, so we'll put those two together. Hopefully that works. Now, back to the top level though, or the front level. Hmm. Alright, let's see this one, and maybe... Uh oh! I think I moved the wrong one. Oh well. Okay, this one and which one? That other one? Alright, let's try it. I might have messed up. We'll see. Alright, next one. I think we need that one and the one that looks kind of like a K, which is this one right here. Alright. Next we need one that looks kind of like that, but that's not going to fit, so I'm going to have to use one of these. With one of these. Alright, then I did save this one, and I think we can just use that. Alright, I, I think no one yelled at me that time, so I think we might have got away with this. Let's see. I'll leave the rifle, I don't need that. Oh man. Okay, yes, high five. Second try is a charm on that. Whew! That damn lock picking! All right, real quick, let me uh, fix the camera. I'll push it back up to where it's supposed to be. Center right. All right, back to where we need to be. Good, whew! That took a while, escapees. Those master ones, how I, how I try to figure those out is I, I try to think ahead or, you know, plan ahead and stuff. Or it's like, all right, so I'm gonna need these two for the bottom inner rings. I don't have time for this. Probably Go save those even though they look like they'd be useful on the, you know, outer rings and stuff. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Uh, no, I'm good, Aaron, but thank you for the, uh, the heads up, though. Now I do know that there's some way to do the blinds, I just don't know how. Alright, let's see here. Which I didn't know we could move the blinds at all, so that's interesting. Alright, next thing's next. Now we have to go talk to... Somebody over at the... That other bar that sells Aurora and stuff. God, what was that place called? It wasn't Madame Sauvage's, it's... Yeah, Euphorica, I there you go. To get my Facebook yes, Euphorica, right here. Yeah, you. There 
we go. Yeah, not too bad. It is, uh, I'll be honest though, uh, Starfield is one of the games that takes a little bit longer to load on the Xbox, which makes sense. All the other games I've been playing were uh, made for the Xbox One and stuff originally, so this is my first like next-gen game that I've been playing. Hello, Micah! Well, hello again, I should say. I'm no stranger to Micah. <laughs> Come in and let your cares melt away for a while. Well, well, well. I guess I'm back for more information. This time, I'm looking for Ayumi Gomigo. Any uh, you news? You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? You people? What do you mean by that? Excuse me. I'm I'm an old friend. We go way back. <laughs> no way. You're going to have to try better than that. Damn it! She read right you through me. You debt collectors are low life assholes. She's broke, okay? Debt collector? Now get out She's of my She's a COO. I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. Micah, I thought we were friends. Jesus Christ. I'm not a debt collector. I'm from the Crimson Fleet. Don't you remember me? I wasn't with the Crimson Fleet back then, but you know, I'm the same person now. The the Crimson Fleet? Oh my. Yeah, you better I'm sorry. back down, Micah. I have no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. I'll send Sorry, my evil I friends just... down here. Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. You already well, have access, so you should know the way. Yes, I've been there before. Oh, now you remember me after I flash my members' badge ID and stuff. Jeez. All right, Enjoy all right. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Let's... Wow, imagine treating your old customer like that. Rude. All right, so I could use the evidence to extort Ayumi Gomigo, or I could just kill her. Uh, but I don't think I want to just slaughter her. <laughs> let's, uh, I don't know, let's everything else shake her bit. down with some evidence. All right, here we go. Yeah, it didn't mean anything, huh? Yeah, you better not. That's more like it, Micah. <laughs> Shaking down the poor bar owner. Alright, here we go. But I have been here for a different quest. So I thought we were on cool terms. Guess not, huh? Yeah, I gave her credits last time for information. How dare, how dare. Love the vibe of this place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you have it on the PC and stuff? Still pretty cool. That's amazing. All right, here we go. Ayumi Komiko, didn't know you had so many gambling debts or debts of some kind. <laughs> Could be drug-related debts. Yeah. What do you want? Hello. Um, well, hey, you work for Jennerdine, right? <sighs> Before you continue, <laughs> let me save you some time. She's like, "Oh god, not if this." If you're having a problem with your I'm power not at or work. about your rates, you need to contact our customer service department. Anything else? Well, uh, nothing about that. I, uh, you know, I, weird that I should ask, but I need a way into that facility of uh, yours. You must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. Yeah, I didn't think so, but it was worth a shot, though. Um, I mean, oh god. You know, I hate to do this, I hate to be this scumbag blackmailer, but... You help me, or this evidence here of your scheme with Bayou, it goes up on the Superstation News Network. I think it's Star System News Network, but whatever, the SSNN. How the hell did you find that? I snuck around. Piece, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here. Yeah, you should have. It should get you through the storage room, Angie, to the facility. I'm warning you, though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. Oh man. Dude, but she's a loose end now. Now she knows that I'm a scum that's wandering around that facility. How am I going to know in good faith as soon as I leave this building I'm not going to have cops right in my ass? I don't know. I mean, uh, hmm. I'm guessing since that was a little bit easy that you don't have much love for how things are progressing over there. If you had to work with Brace and Bayou, 
You don't understand. I thought the those two had a thing going totally on. The incompetent fool, and he's running our company into the ground. The I thought you were sleeping with him. That he's Administrator Bayou's brother. So I can't Oh, she's him. sleeping with Benjamin, right? I can't right? sign him. The I brother. can't even yell at him. It's that... like having a cut on your body, and you're helplessly watching yourself bleed to death. Oh. Except in our case, we're hemorrhaging money. Oof. Well, that's sad. Hey, uh, wasn't there... <laughs> I was just going to throw salt on the wound. Isn't there something personal going on between you and uh, Benjamin Bayou himself? I suppose if I don't explain, a copy of that recording you found might end up on the next SSNN report. <laughs> okay, fair enough. A few years back, the previous CEO of Jenardyne went missing. As the COO, I was next in line for the job. Instead, All right. Bayou muscled his way into the company and gave me an ultimatum. Either back up his bullshit Mr. Harada identity, or I'm gone. Oh, Mr. Harada choice. doesn't exist? But <gasps> I decided right then and there, I was going to do whatever He's Mr. I could Harada too? to take what was wow. rightfully mine. Wow. Mr. Bayou and Mr. Bayou, Bayou himself balance, is then, the same person. So be it. Luckily for me, Mike has been incredibly understanding about the whole thing. That's probably how she got into debt. Well, that's terrible. What happened to the previous CEO? Did he get shot? Did somebody kill him? What do you think happened? Somebody killed Bayou him. Bayou started sticking his nose into Jenardine's business, all but outright demanding a cut of the profits. In response, the CEO made a huge mistake by threatening to take his grievances to the FC. His shuttle never arrived. Need I say more? Oh, they blew up his spaceship. Wow. Sad. Uh, and scary. Don't mess with the freaking Bayou family, which I'm messing with them right now, so I better get out of here. Huh. All right, well, she must be very important to you then, that Micah chick downstairs. More than you can possibly imagine. Micah is the There's something only like person going on. in this godforsaken city that's kept me from going completely under. She doesn't want money, doesn't use me for influence or as a stepping stone to get ahead. She loves me oh, for being Oh, there is me. something going on. Woo! And Bouch, I go love wow, her for wow, being the same. Wow, wow. And when this stupid bullshit is over and Bayou is ten fathoms deep under Neon. They're going to bone and that's what's going to happen. each other. Forever. Nice. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, good luck with that. So uh, I already know what you do for Jenardine. You uh, spill all their secrets. Remember, I'll be seeing you later. We never talked. Got it? Yeah, and I won't tell anyone that you're a lesbian. <laughs> all right, I'm out of here. Oops. I just went and slammed right into the wall. My bad. <laughs> it's following the quest marker. Ah, I didn't know you swang that way, Micah. I just met your girlfriend upstairs. Very nice. Alright, let's get out of here, escapees. <laughs> yeah, the extortion got her talking, huh? Opened those oh, lips boy. real quick, didn't it? Um, the F.A. Zombie, welcome to the stream. I'm sorry I missed you up yeah, there. What's up, F.A. Zombie? You're really going to walk on by? Yeah, now she wants to help us, huh? That scum. Yeah, it's like the Spider-Man meme picture, right? Wait, you! They have the, the mask and stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. So Mr. Bayou is Mr. Hadaba over in New Atlantis. No wonder no one's ever seen him. Because he's freaking Mr. Bayou that already owns Neon. That's crazy. So I'm pretty sure there's nobody else that's contesting Bayou's, you know, ownership of Neon or the fact that he kind of rules over it. It's him working with him. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Wow, well, that was crazy. What am I supposed to do now? Oh, yeah, yeah, go into the actual facility. So now I think we have all the info to shake down more people up there. But we have to go into the actual Jenardyne facility. They told me that there's going to be a bunch of security and all that nonsense. So, uh, you know, I don't know. It might be a little scary. What I don't sell ends up in trouble. Alright, we're going down to the waterworks. The underbelly. Excuse me, the underbelly. 
but yeah, you just find out that Neon is more and more corrupted every time we come in. Oh, there it is, Jennerdyne, right there. Let's go. So that's kind of cool. I did not know that Neon City mostly had neon lights. Not for decoration, but because it's their power source. Whoosh! Could have fooled me. I thought it was just cool decoration, to be again. honest. Alright, here we go. Good old Jennerdyne Industries. Yeah, that was some cool lore. I did not know that. I've been to here at least quite a few times, I would say. Oh, we helped out like a bunch of the stores already with some of their side missions. Alright, we're going in very inconspicuous. You know, lo looking like we belong here. Wait a minute, was I not supposed to go inside? Let me see, let me, uh... Oh, oh, fool I am! Enter through the storage entrance, not the front door. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this isn't the bathroom. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, foolish me. <laughs> oh, just looking for the bathroom. <laughs> oh, oh, oh I've, I've had a little bit to drink. <laughs> had a little Aurora earlier. <laughs> oh, man. That was embarrassing. All right, let's get out of there quickly. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought this was the ramen pho shop. <laughs> Oh, no pho here. Excuse me. All right, there we go, there we go. Shh. Just walking through the front door. Hey, everyone. My ridiculous helmet and everything. Gosh. Stood out like a sore thumb. Well, which we already... <laughs> still sticking out like a sore thumb. All right, sh hopefully nobody will notice our colorful get-up. And right off the bat, I see a bunch of free stuff. Hell yeah. Cheese! Free cheese! My goodness! What a blessing! I can't say no to cheese! Imagine, like, how long- imagine how long it's been there, right? How long has that been there? It's all hard. Ooh, I'll take that space pack. Might have to throw it away later. <laughs> Might be a little heavy. Uh oh, I hear people talking on the other side. Alright, now I'm gonna send star stuff just to make sure no workers are down here. You never know. Whoa, that's a lot of workers up ahead. All right, well, I just gotta be careful then. Oh my god, oh, I just opened it right in front of everyone. Oh god, oh god, okay. Shh, got nervous. Yeah, I didn't know, I thought there'd be a wall right there. Oh. As long as nobody turns around. Shh. Bring it on. After that spell book my wizard found, I found a batch of drink sometimes. Alright, so far so good. I think somehow I have to get over that way. Crap. Oh my god, there's one right there. Right here. Woo! One wrong move. Oh my god, this guy turned around too too quickly. It scared me. Alright, must resist stealing. It might be a little bit too loud, I don't know. Oh man. Okay, do I go? I'm assuming I go through this door right here, but I don't know for sure. I'm just gonna walk on through. Shh, shh quiet down, door. Okay, shh, 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 shh. All right, let me just make sure the coast is at least kind of clear. All right, close that door. Oh, I can't reach. 
can't reach the door, otherwise I'd try to close it. I hope I went the right way. Oh, there's no hole! I was hoping there'd be a hole through here or something. Alright, uh, okay, I might have gone the wrong way. Damn it. Let me check my scanner. Yep, gone the wrong way. No! Curses! Alright, oh man. Okay, let me locate everyone again. Okay, let me consult with my scanner as well. Am I supposed to go up the stairs? No way, I have to go up the stairs. Dude, everybody's there. It's like a freaking party over there. Oh my gosh, oh god, okay. Oh man, I'm just praying that these guys don't turn around or something. Oh my god, hurry, hurry, hurry. Just go, just go, just go, just go quickly. Oh my god, the door is closed. Go, 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 go. Oh man, oh my god. The guy's name tag popped up. Just a scientist running through. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. I think we made it. Oh no, the worker robot. These janitorial bots can get you into a lot of trouble. Believe you me. I shot one downtown before. Man, security was on my ass like that. It was crazy. Alright, uh, is this the right area? I don't know. Let me consult. Oh no, somehow I'm on top of it now. Oh, great. No, I'm going the wrong way. Okay. The scanner knows where to go. Actually, what is this? What kind of spacesuit is on this mannequin here? Oh, mid spacesuit, as the kids would say. That one's mid. We don't want it. Oh, straight ahead is where I'm supposed to be headed. All right, let's go. Oh my god, a robot! Oh god, oh man. Alright, we might have to engage in a battle here. I'll try my best to take him out in, you know, least amount of shots as possible. Here, close the door. I might have to take out the robot, not sure. I'm gonna try not to, but... Oh, that's right, I can't sense him because he's not alive. Yeah, 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 the sense star stuff won't work on the robot. So, uh, yeah, good luck. Oh. Okay, okay, shh. Please, nobody else have heard that. Alright. Now I'm just gonna check upstairs. Okay, looks like everybody's cool. Nobody heard that. At least nobody out there heard that. Well, there's an option to go under the vents, and I'm going to take that option. Don't care what was upstairs. Probably more robots, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, that was mid. Earlier I said that uh, my video didn't slap. I know. I started incorporating some of this zoomer dialect into my everyday speech. Not all of it though, just a few. Oh, here we go. Open the hatch, there's like a person standing right on top of it. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, damn zoomers and their catchy phrases. By the way, Dr. Phil, like your drip today, nice drip. You know, thinking about rizzing some girls? Mm -hmm. You got that riz going on? Man, I'm trying to... Uh. Okay, maybe I have to put the gun away. Damn it. Uh. I know I don't have the skip backpack. I know, damn it. I don't have a boosting backpack. 
<laughs> no. Okay, there we go. Yay. Somehow I wasn't able to grab it the first time around, but second time's a charm. Oh, spice. Don't mind if I do. Ramen mini bite. Yum. Speaking of ramen, I just got my miso soup from Amazon uh, online the other day. It's the first food item I've ever bought online. But I can't find any miso soup mixture in my local Safeway. Usually they have it and stuff. So I was like, you know what? Let's see if they have any online. And they did! And I was like, oh, okay. Haven't tried it yet. Different brand. But uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know if it's good or not. Alright, where am I headed? Down this way? Let me uh, see if there's anyone around. Oh man, there are people around! Oh great, okay. Save it and shave it. And so far, so good. If you're just coming in, I'm working with the Crimson Fleet. But I'm kind of being an undercover agent, so eventually I will backstab the Crimson Fleet. But right now, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. But right now we are working with them escapees, yay. I don't know why I'm yaying to that, but yay enough. All right, wait, am I going the right way? I guess we are. Oh man, there's no way that person's not gonna turn around. There's no way, dude. Isn't there not a, uh, an extra vent or anything that I can go in? <clears throat> Hopefully they're so into their video game that they're playing that they don't notice. Go, hurry, hurry faster. Good, good, good. All right, let's see if there's any more. I'm surprised we made it through there. Oh, looks like we might be getting a little bit closer to the core. Uh, I'm just gonna head this way. <laughs> we out here, Ray. Oh no. Oh, one second, you guys, I almost lost connection to my stream. No, we're good, we're good, everybody, we're good. Yo, what's up, send the boom? Yeah, the glizzy. I was like, what the f is a glizzy? Apparently that's a hot dog. I was like, what? Have you guys heard of those uh, AI? Uh, well, I guess it's TikTokers pretending to be AI and stuff. I guess uh, some of them have gotten in trouble for, you know, accepting glizzies or whatever. You know, the way that they accept the glizzy animation. Like, mmm, glizzy. Well, I can't do it on Twitch, so, you know, I won't do it. Never mind. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Bryce? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, those AI. They're like, oh, thank you for the rose. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you for the rose. Oh, yeehaw. Thank you for the cowboy. Yeehaw. Thank you for the cowboy. Oh, thank you for the rose. Oh, thank you for the rose. You know, and they just keep going on, depending on what you donate to them and stuff. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Woo! Kind of like that a little bit. <laughs> One could say maybe I'm an AI. No, just joking. Yeah, hot and spicy chicken ramen noodles. Oh, that sounds good, Quivy Room. Oh! Wasn't paying attention and the damn vacuum robot came towards me. Jeez. Really gave me a slight heart attack right there. Ooh, Kitty's those girlfriend calls. Well, welcome back. Thank you for hanging out. That goes for everybody, guys. Much appreciated. Good stream today. So far, so good. I only had that one mishap where on a different sneaking mission, I accidentally ended up killing someone. And then I forgot I wasn't supposed to. I mean, I didn't think I was going to get yelled at for it because nobody saw. Well, apparently they noticed afterwards. And uh, yeah, I got in trouble for sniping one dude. Oops. That's what I get. Yeah, a little bit of a, a lag out. Oh, man. Whoa, this is a maze. Oh, God. All right, there's someone right there. Uh, I'm not too sure how we're going to do this one. Let's see how this, the scanner recommends. Oh, they recommend going through the back right here. Smart. 
uh, smart, but uh, I don't know. What's the chance that this guy is not going to turn around? All right, I'll save it. Man, I'll save it, but I hope there, there's got to be a better way, right? I don't know. We'll try it. But these guys gotta be really into their computers to not notice. Oh my god, they're gonna notice! Oh, oh, dude already turned around! Okay, 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 okay. Is there a way to go... behind? Maybe, yeah, back here, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright. Let's see. I just gotta... I don't know, this guy's like looking right at me, though. I mean, I'll try it. I'm sure he's staring at us. Oh no, he's- oh, his bike- his back is turned. Okay, okay. Alright, nice. Good, good, good. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if I can go all the way through the middle. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was gonna go for it too. I'm like, I don't know. Oh no! Oh god, I'm so sorry! Oh man! Oh, the jig is up! Quiet down back there. All right, we're going through, skateys. Now I'll reload it in a second. I wanted to sneak through. I don't want Commander Conde to yell at me again. I know I already got yelled at and chastised for shooting that one guy earlier. <laughs> Imagine doing it a second time, dude. I'm gonna get yelled at. Yeah, I should have gone super, super slow. Good idea. We'll go super, super slow. What ship am I using? I am using the. Uh, oh, we're doing we're doing an ad break, aren't we? I'll uh, I'll at you, Kirito. Uh, it's an old. Oh gosh, it was a. Uh, I forgot what. Originally, my ship was called, I think it's an old Crimson Fleet ship. Uh, that I uh, kind of broke down and started building some stuff on. I call it the Purple Haze. Hilarious, I know. Hilarious. Alright. Oh, oh, not again. Dumbo's walked out right in front of them. Alright, here we go. I gotta move crazy, crazy slow. But the thing with moving slow is I didn't want to move too slow and then get caught in the act. But I have no idea how these guys saw me up here, though. idea how that guy saw us last time. That's weird. Alright, well we made it. Good, good, good. Nice. Yeah, I have no idea. It must have been a glitch maybe or or I went out at the wrong moment or something, huh? Picked up one of those uh, biker souvenirs or whatever it is. Motorcycle souvenir things. Just a decoration you can put on your ship, or your outpost, or wherever. Alright. Oh man, there's a guy right next to the freaking... Oh, they're good. Yeah, get out of here. Go on break. Make yourself useful elsewhere. Alright, let's save it right there. way to the corner. Good, good. Alright. Oh good, another vent. I was like, oh man, how am I going to get through there? 
Well, whoever told us about the vents wasn't wrong. There are a ton. But yeah, Kirito, it's an old, uh, either a Crimson Fleet ship or an ecliptic ship that I somehow ended stealing on a planet, or I ended up stealing on a planet after they landed. Did you hear about um, yeah, one of the test panels exploded in his face. Burns were so bad, Reliant had to ship him off world. That's unfortunate yeah, for whoever that was. It's ridiculous. I should file a complaint before someone loses their life. You kidding me? You file a complaint and the next person to lose their life around here could be you. Sounds terrible working for this company. Not only is it going underground, uh, seems like a lot of people are having accidents too. That's not good. Oh yeah, they're not gonna notice somebody falling from the ceiling? Jeez. I have to land like a freaking cat. Yeah. Light as a feather. All right, but we're doing good. All right, nobody up ahead. Any, uh, you know, costumes or whatever I could wear? Can I blend in? Come on, man, any uniforms? Moby Dick. Don't mind if I do. A space undersuit. Well, that's not gonna help me now, but I'll take it. I'll take it for later. All right, a few people ahead, but they all seem a little bit far away. Good, good, good. Aside from that one mistake that happened earlier, we've just run into a robot so far. Ooh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Is this the power grid? <clears throat> it must be. Look at all those freaking thick cords. <laughs> Looks like the back of my TV with my Xbox and all that stuff. <laughs> oh, man. You're gonna need Liberty Prime to unplug that thing. It's a giant ass robot. Yeah, get some cable management, right? Get that damn cable management going. Whew, this is a long crawl indeed. Dude, that's how I felt with one of these missions. Going into the key and stuff. Or no, 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 it was the lock. This old abandoned prison had a whole bunch of these cheesy ass aliens. They were like level 5 through level 20. My character's level 40 already. Man, by the end of that, it was like a big old maze. By the end of that, I was like, I am so done with this mission. And at the very end, I think it might be our latest highlight, but I was so done. At the very end, they gave us one giant one of those creatures we've been fighting that entire time. And I was like, I was so sick of those creatures. I wasn't even excited. Oh, okay, never mind. That's not the right highlight. It was the one before that and stuff, but um, there actually was several previous. But there's this particular highlight from a couple days ago where I was like, oh, I don't want to fight any of these creatures. And lo and behold, the boss happened to be just a big ass one. And I was like, oh, wasn't even happy to fight it, dude. I was just like, oh, let's get this over with. All right, I think we made it. Nobody is around. Man, is it cold in here or what? All right, here's the computer. I'm gonna save it before I start pressing buttons. There we go. Save it and shave it. Uh, what exactly was I supposed to be doing down here? <laughs> Took so long to get down here, I forgot what I was gonna do to it. Uh, current power status? Seems good. Oh, I have to put that virus in for that lady, huh? Hmm. I guess. I mean, she, well, she didn't really help me out too, too much. Oh, well. All right, we downloaded the conduction grid plans. Good. They are highly classified as a safety precaution. They're encoded with 512-bit hollow matrix encryption. If decryption is required, please obtain a cipher from Chief Technician Brayson Bayou in the R section. All right, let's uh, read about this. The conduction grid, which I guess is where we're at right now, explains all of those wires and stuff is an electromagnetic absorption system utilizing the shroud suspended above neon as a lightning conduction array. Dude, that's really smart. They're using lightning to uh, basically power the whole town and stuff. Well, the city. 
When a lightning discharge is created between the array and the troposphere, the energy is dispersed evenly across these system's receptors. It is then transported via conductive conduits into our processing facility, where it passes through a series of polyphastic capacitors and rectifiers. This ensures that the incoming energy is equalized from its original positive and negative state. Once the energy is cleaned, it gets stored in power storage cells located in the power core of the facility, and I assume dispersed through the city somehow. All right. Oh, oh darn, I thought that was a magazine. Well, I'll take that. Some cake, woo! Chunks cake for our trouble. I'll take some delicious cake. What's this? An unfortunate situation. Currently posted to Genadai's R&D laboratory. Personal notation. I'd like to go on record about my feelings about Chief Technician Bay. Another complaint. Though most of my fellow employees feel that he's underqualified and incompetent. I feel that they are underestimating him. Oh, I've never mind. Not a complaint. Grayson at length, and I find him actually to be a kind and endearing person. This I lady think wanted to get promoted. The of his brother, Administrator Benjamin Bayu, has given him a bad name, and that's a shame. From what I can gather, he was placed in his current position against his own better judgment and asked to do the impossible. It's an unfortunate situation, but I will endeavor to get the rest of the technicians in the department to be more supportive. Hmm. Well, uh, that's nice, but I guess that's not gonna help my cause. All right. Oh, sorry. No, no, I already, I already heard that. All right, I guess I'll take that with me anyways. Ooh, a battery. I think that's about it, though. Looks pretty good. I could take some of that other stuff, but I think we'll do without it. All right, last thing last. I think we gotta just get out of here safely. Oh, is that more cake? What is this? An egg. Don't mind if I do. I'll take all the food. Or I can't just stomp out of here like an elephant. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Still at least one more group of uh, people to bypass. <laughs> we should just run through. I got the thing and leave while they're all shooting at us. Oh my god. That'd be a real anime exit. <clears throat> Ooh, I'll take that. Got some free crap on the way out. Hell yeah. You know what? I was thinking too, is this uh, one of those particular type of pistols? There are certain pistols that shoot out. Oh no, it's not this one. <clears throat> There's particular pistols and rifles that shoot out electromagnetic energy. It doesn't kill the enemy, but it incapacitates them, so they just like, ah, uh, you know, fall over and stuff. Maybe we could, uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe I would have been able to utilize one of those guns. Because technically, we weren't killing anyone. We were just, you know, knocking them out and stuff. I don't know, but I don't have one of those guns on me. So that's, you know, a sadness that I can't try it out. And I've been forgetting about that, too. <laughs> yeah, like a stun gun. But you can be, you know, as far away as you need to to, to shoot it. They use particular bullets to EM rounds. <clears throat> I think I have a water here. <clears throat> Losing my voice now. Sorry about that, you guys. How many? Uh, wow, four hours, 15 minutes. Not bad. Yeah. What faction am I? I have no faction just yet. Uh, the only reason I got wrapped up into the United Colony System Defense people and the Crimson Fleet is because I got caught with contraband one time or Aurora or something. It was like either drugs or probably more drugs. And so basically I got thrown in jail and I was like, ah, oh, here we go, escapees. And a cutscene started where Commander Conde is like, hey, if you don't want to be in trouble, you work for me for a little bit. Now come work undercover in the Crimson Fleet and do all this nonsense. So I'm basically just doing this because I was in jail for a little bit and I'm trying to, you know, clear my good name by being a sneaky rat bastard, I guess. Because <laughs> eventually I do have to stab the back of my Crimson Fleet friends. 
Even though I'll be honest, I've been having some fun with them. I liked working with the Crimson Fleet for a little bit. I'll, I'll come clean, all right? They weren't the worst people to work with. I've worked with worse, sad to say. But uh, yeah, how about yourself, Kirito? And anybody else in chat who's played this game, what are your guys' favorite factions so far? Uh, what I have done, though, is I've been working a lot on the main story as well. We've done a lot of side questing here in Neon. We did a ton of side questing on Mars, a ton of side questing in New Atlantis as well. But I just haven't gone in with any factions. I guess supposedly now I'm probably a UC system def faction member. But you know, I guess I don't really see myself as one because it wasn't like a, a solid choice that I made. I was kind of arrested and he said, well, you do this or I'm going to charge you more money and, uh, you know, put more money on my bounty. And back then I was poor, so I was like, no, please. And nowadays I'm thinking, man, I should have just paid the extra credits. What was I thinking getting on this mission and involved with these people? Oh man, hopefully nobody looks through the window. Oh God. I'm like right there. One time I had to do a mission in Neon and it was part of the main storyline where we were working with, uh, God, what's that old guy's name again? I haven't seen him in a while. Um, Walter, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was working with Walter and he had me do a mission similar to this where I had to sneak through. Well, lo and behold, I was also doing that one quest with uh, Sam Co, where I had to take his kid to go see his ex-wife or something. So we had Cora with us, right? And I was sneaking around and stuff uh, in the vents just, oh, oh, I thought somebody heard me. I was sneaking around the vents just as we're doing right now. And I don't know what Cora was doing, but she was like wandering around all crazy. She kept getting us into trouble. I was like, God damn it, Cora. I'm like, who brings a kid? And then we kept getting shot at too. And I'm like, who brings a kid to a gunfight? Damn it, Samuel. I, I was blaming Sam Co. I have to sneak by these guys over here. Oh man, I don't know. I'm banking on no one turning around. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, the robot! Go, 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 go! Quickly, quickly! Oh my god, oh no! Oh no, 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 no. They are sneaking for me. They are looking. Damn it! Oh god damn it! Oh, I should have ran the other way! No! Dang it! Alright, alright, alright. Man, when was the last time I quick saved? Ah! I might have to download that damn thing again, too. No! foiled again hey what's up fat fuzzy how are you doing yeah i got caught with contraband nice you're a uc vanguard cool yeah i heard some of the vanguard missions are pretty fun i'll probably join them eventually <clears throat> all the the more positive factions i hope to join with this character eventually yeah that's what i used to do too dog same. I was uh, trying to go to my outpost to drop my contraband there because I didn't know we could sell it to, uh, where's that one place? The Wolf Solar System, the Den or whatever. And so I was heading that way and stuff and I got caught over in, uh, it was my own fault, I got caught in uh, either Alpha Centauri or one of those systems there. I was like, gosh dang it. Uh, I actually, if anyone wants to know, I don't have it myself. I accidentally spoiled it on uh, watching somebody else's stream. But I do know where to get that shielded cargo perk if you do want it. Uh, if anyone wants to know where to get it, I'll let you guys know. But uh, it is a little bit of a spoiler. Yeah, Fat Fuzzy, I'll send you some credits right now. I got about 700,000, I think. 800,000 now on the bottom left. I've been uh, saving them up. I mean, you know, some of those spaceships are pretty expensive. 
Oh, you have to fight some terror morphs. I've seen a couple of those when I've been scanning planets and stuff. Yeah, those things are brutal. They're uh, they're pretty uh, scary, pretty hard to defeat. Okay, what part of the quest am I here? Did I already grab that thing? I think we did, huh? All right, so now we just leave. Exit. So we're not too, too far behind. You know, maybe this is my fault. Probably because I'm over encumbered. Maybe I'm stomping around a little bit more. I have too much stuff for seeds to pick up even more. All right, all right. So far, so good. Yeah, me too. I love doing those bounty missions. High five. Hell yeah. That's how I get a bunch of credits as well. I do a lot of the constellation missions where you just go scanning different planets, finding certain uh, uh, regions or whatever they're called, certain anomalies. I was listening to some guy complain. He said with all the money that he makes there, it goes back into the CEO's pockets, which sucks. Nice, Fat Fuzzy. That's balling too, dude. 300,000 credits. Yup. I used to think having like 10,000 credits was a lot. I was like, oh, we're rich. 50,000. Like, oh, yeah. Then I started playing off stream a ton. And honestly, off stream though, I just do those bounty missions. Uh, before I was working with the Crimson Fleet, I was able to do more. But now I can't, you know, hunt Crimson Fleet members without getting a Crimson Fleet bounty. So yeah, so I, my money's kind of stalled right now. Otherwise, I would be making a little bit more. All right, save it this time because this is where I got caught last time. So I'm just gonna go my slowest that I can. So I'm thinking maybe I made some noise last time, or the robot turned around. Nope. Nope. That robot right there is pretty smart. Come on, come on. Oh man, all right, all right. Now we gotta get away from the window. What's the rest of this junk here? Imagine it's like the security control. We can make that robot go ballistic right at the end. That'd be terrible and hilarious. Ah, don't mind if I do mess with stuff I'm not supposed to mess with. Uh, Jennerdyne messaging system. Mm hmm. Any dirt here? Any tea? Any good tea? Anybody cheating? Mm hmm. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, from Ayumi Komiko. Your last batch of progress reports was very disappointing, Mrs. Deshmuk. Three years, no results. There's no excuse for that, including trying to blame your failures on Chief Technician Bayou. According to your file, you came to Jennerdyne with the highest of recommendations, but apparently we were misinformed. If I don't see an uptick in successful results soon, I'll start searching for a replacement supervisor. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Miss Ayumi, yes, I'll do better. All right, from Technician Wanyan. I'm sorry to report another failure with Experiment GDY072. Although I am confident that we could adapt the conduction grid to be used as an EM-type shield for spacecraft, I am afraid our limitations are making this task impossible. I'm sorry I let you and Generat dine down. If you wish, I'll submit my resignation first thing in the morning. Well, he's quite cheery about, you know, getting fired. Another one from Ayumi Gomigo. Just checking in to remind you that the entire laboratory facility is to be completely cleared of all personnel for Mr. Harada's impending visit on Saturday. Mr. Harada, by the way, found out that it's Mr. Bayou. He probably puts a wig on. He's like, oh, yeah, hello. Mr. Harada, Mr. Everyone's like, that's Benjamin Bayou. No 
one needs to know. Don't tell Mr. Baya you know the, exactly who he is. He'll have you fired. Uh, as you know, Mr. Harada is a bit of a germaphobe, and I've given him every assurance that he won't encounter employees. Oh, that he won't? Aha! That's how they do it. Mr. Harada is a bit of a germaphobe, is he? And I've given him every assurance that he won't encounter employees during his tour. Mm -hmm. Fair warning, anyone at all that we encounter that day will be instantly terminated, and they're probably taken to the back and killed, I bet. Because then they'll know, they'll be like, Mr. Harada, it's just Mr. Bayou with a, a wig on and a funny hat and that fake mustache that he has on sideways. Yeah, yeah, we've got no whistleblowers, huh? Alright, from uh, G. Nashida, that, that one secretary that we talked to way earlier. Sita, I don't know how much more of these corporate shenanigans I can stand. I've been yelled at twice by Ayumi this week for trying to go over her head, and I'm worried that my job is in jeopardy. I know we both share the same concerns, so I hope you'll be able to meet me at Euphorica for a drink this evening. We have a lot to discuss, which is terrible, because remember Ayumi, uh, what's her name? We saw her at Euphorica, and in fact, her girlfriend is the bartender, the owner. Uh, what's her name again? Micah. Micah is the owner, happens to be the girlfriend of Yumi Amokino, or whatever her name was. Komiko. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Well, that's gonna be an awkward meeting there. Like, oh, hello, boss! What are you doing here at the drug lounge? <laughs> you doing some drugs too, boss? Oh, okay, I, I was thinking about doing some drugs as well. Well, that's what the Euphorica lounge is for. It's no secret. Alright, well, sad to say there was no, you know, kill switch over there where we could just turn the security against all the uh, employees. But I tried. Yeah, just play along. And <laughs> a uh, dog said, yeah, I don't know how I was able to go undercover seeing as I farmed the Crimson Fleet bounty for experience. I know, right? Same. Dude, I've been, like, talking so much about being in the fleet and stuff. I'm surprised. Nobody's like, come shook me down for it. Hey, I know you're working with them, right? Kick your ass or put you in jail. Oh, so far so good. But yeah, I mean, I've been trying to keep a secret, but I, I've definitely... ...let loose on accidents. That's some stuff I probably shouldn't have. Uh-oh, uh alright. Oh man, I might have messed this one up. Let's see. Okay, might go that- oh, okay, and then this one might fit right there. Okay, here we are. Good, good, good. Ooh, a frost wolf. Oh, I thought that was a weapon. No, it's just a drug. What's that, coffee? Don't mind if I do. I'll take some CEO level coffee. They probably have the good premium stuff, I bet. Alright, any uh, secret notes, weird evidence of any kind that I might want to take with me? No, maybe, yes. Alright, I guess no. Uh. Uh oh. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, well, yeah, it's telling me to go out that door, but that'd be foolhardy, wouldn't it? Yeah, we're, we're definitely still sneaking. All right, but I, I'm guessing we're almost there. We, you know, got the supervisor's computer. Oh. All right, very gently. Looks like we made it to the coffee room. Delicious. What's this? Oh man, if this had a perfectly preserved pie in there, oh, I would have lost my mind. I would have been like, oh, it will fall out. But no, 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 no perfectly preserved pie, no perfectly preserved pie. I can calm down now. That would make a good uh, little clip for later, though. I'll try to remember to highlight that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Phil. I appreciate it. 
digging the hair today. Much appreciated. Yeah, I dyed my hair. I think beginning of summer, just because I well, I thought I was gonna go swimming, so I didn't want all the, uh, you know, the pink and the blue and the purple that I had in my bangs to wash out. So I'm like, oh, just to make it easy, I'll just dye it all black. And now I'm like, well, you know, I kind of like it. I'll stay like this for a little bit. But I do eventually want to put the colors back in. I think it'd be cool. But yeah, thank you for the compliment, Dr. Phil. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. I think we're, uh... oh yes, hello, hello everyone. Wait, who's this guy? Uh, am I supposed to talk to him? I guess so. Who is this guy? Uh, and you are? Oh, Brayson Bayou himself. <laughs> oh, it's you. I was wondering how long it would take you to get down here. If you I want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. Wait a minute. How'd you know I was here for that? Did Yumi talk to you? Uh, when you access the computer and the power core, it sends a notification to be here. Oh, I should have known. I knew you were coming. They got me in the end. Went. All right, uh, so when I leave this room, I'm going to be shot down on sight, aren't I? No, no catch. Mm -hmm. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It it's yours. At this point, well, I do anything. Well, he is quite opposite from his brother. He yes. everything he's got coming to him. Yeah, his brother is brutal, dude. S straight businessman, ready to screw you over in an instant if he needs to. And this guy is not giving me the same vibe. All right, all right. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you have good reason to dislike him. I mean, half a neon hates him. <laughs> oh, don't, don't patronize me. I know I'm no prize winner myself, but at least I don't spend my days trying to screw everyone over. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works so out. So I've me. heard. Well, I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, that's sad to say that would be back. embarrassing. Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. Honestly, I was thinking this guy was going to be like a mean old like chem head or something. Like he's all drugged out and stuff. That's why his brother hated him. But no, I mean, I don't know. He seems like a. Remember that hollow tape that we found <clears throat> earlier? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that had somebody vouching for him, said he was a kind-hearted guy and all that. I guess I can see that. I mean, I've just met him two minutes ago, but <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't give me the same vibe as Benjamin. Benjamin, right away, he was like a mean old asshole. What do you want? I don't have time to talk to the likes of you. You know, like he was all uppity and stuff. This guy is just like, yeah, I'll give you the thing. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Good. All right, uh, how do you know he talks about you behind his back? You watching him through the cameras? Uh, I mean, I would. There's one advantage to being perceived as stupid is that no one takes you seriously. Oh, when man. I walk into a party, I'm instantly I know the, feeling. the resident social pariah. But my eyes and ears are wide open. I can't True. tell you the number of times also when you're the my quiet brother one. spread amusing anecdotes about his stupid brother. Oof, that's terrible. Yeah, sometimes people think that when you're quiet in a party and stuff that you're not listening or watching. It's like, well, what else is a quiet person doing? Of course they're listening and watching. I mean, you know, I, I say that that's coming from a uh, quiet person at the party. <laughs> we hear everything and we see everything that the drunk people are doing. We know what's going on. The wallflowers can talk too. All right, anyway, sorry about that, Benjamin. I, I'm just saying, yeah, I get you, man. I get you. Um, yeah, you should take him out. No, no, no. You know, giving me the cipher and stuff and kind of messing up the city for a little bit, that's a great way to get back at your brother. Pfft, possibly one well, of the bests. This is awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you should give us that cipher. Yeah, that would be nice. You know but... what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my okay, turn no to but. take control Good. for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, 
I suggest you do the same. Well, hell, no, I'm gonna stay here. It's like, well, hell yeah, I'm getting out of here. No, I'm gonna stay here and hang out in your office for, you know, a good couple of days. I might stay here a whole week. Of course I'm leaving. Wow, all right. Well, okay, low key. Benjamin Bayou was right about his brother, though. Shh. Maybe not the stupid part, but the part where he is gonna betray him and stuff. Dude just betrayed him right now. I mean, I hate to, to agree with the evil businessman, but the evil businessman was right. You can't trust no one, sometimes not even your flesh and blood. However, it was Benjamin's own fault. Why is he treating his brother so badly, calling him Could stupid stop and stuff? stop staring at me like that? Yeah, 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 I was just, uh, you know, consulting with the my imagination of here um all right all right all right so why are you and benjamin you know that's such odds just because he talks trash about you and stuff which i totally get you know because he's a two-faced son of a bitch that's why oh that's not wait don't you guys have the same mom <laughs> we were younger we he just called his mom a long very well i mean he's 11 years older than i am we had two different mothers Oh, never mind. Well, never mind. Two separate families. I retract my statement then. Two different mothers. <laughs> so his mom was the bee. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, yeah, that is kind of a big age gap, which I totally get as well. Mean old age gap between me and my bro, too. So 17 age gap, actually. Well, there's a reason for that. I never knew yes. my actual mother. Oh, my heartbreaking. Mistress. I was told she vanished Oof. from Neon when I was only two years old. Ben's Mr. Mother, Bayou had a mistress she didn't give there. A crap about me. Wouldn't even let me call her mom. I just had to call her Liliana. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oof. And then there's Dad. So buried in the day-to-day -day operations of Neon, he didn't have time to pay attention to his bastard son. I'm honestly surprised they didn't ship him off with his mom and stuff. <laughs> Interesting. Well, uh, I don't know. Have you ever sought out your birth mother? Yeah, I've, I've tried, but I always had a dead. Now we're having a heart to heart with this guy. It's as though she was once again here I'm one this day person's and therapist suddenly vanished now. the next, and then her existence was erased from everyone's memory. I wouldn't be at all surprised if my father had a kill to avoid public embarrassment. That's the kind of man he was. Sounds like the Bayou family. Well, uh, man, that sucks. I met. I'm so, so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Everyone's sorry. Just as sorry as I am. Oh, you're fine, Look, Grayson. I appreciate what you're trying to do. And, you seem like and a it's decent nice guy. to get this off my chest, but talking about it isn't going to change a thing. That's why I gave you the encryption cipher. Anything I can do to stick it to Ben, that's the real therapy. All right, well, whatever you say, Bryson. I don't think it's the real, real therapy, but, you know, maybe actually going to real therapy might help him out. Huh. All right, so I know how he ended up working here. Once again, it's the brother and the nepotism thing. How rough are things down here? Like, I mean, I've heard everybody else's side, but what about yours? On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, I'm at about, I don't know, a negative 8. <laughs> Damn. I don't have the background for this electrical engineering stuff. Chief technician? It's, it's ridiculous. Ben stuck me down here, expecting me to work miracles. He didn't stop for even a second to think of the repercussions. That's and then so this guy tragic. drove the company All to the I ground need is one on accident. One. And I could shove this job right in his face. Damn, that would feel good. Hmm. Well, I mean, uh, you know, I'm down to help this guy out if it'll help him a little bit. Hey, uh, you know, I might have some connections with the Crimson Fleet. Shh. I'm fairly sure that conduction grid technology can be adapted into some sort of anti-EM weapon technology stuff. Holy crap. You might be right. Yeah. I mean, it would take some time, but, but I bet I could figure it out. Then you can get out of this dump. Huh. Cool, huh? All this time I've been trying to develop something new and it's been staring me in the face for years. Oh man, that is so like me. Thank you for giving me that He's kick in the ass I needed to get going. All right, yeah, good luck. Feels good to be in control. Hey, you helped for me out. I hope you scratch my back. I'll scratch yours. All right, see you later, Bryson. Uh, I'm gonna steal from your cool treasure chest over here. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, 
what is that? A melee weapon? It's called a wakazaki or something like that. Wakazashi. Let me see, what's the wakazashi thing? Oops. Sorry, I pressed B to open my pip boy. Oh, hey, that's sick. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, I do have a legendary knife that I've been using. I haven't really pulled it out in combat recently, but I used to back when I was fighting the lower level enemies. But uh, yeah, this uh, sword might be, you know, 10 times cooler. <laughs> yeah, it looks amazing, doesn't it? That's a nice katana. Yeah, the guy's just done, huh? He was tired. He's like, ah, you know what? My brother's been fucking me over since day one. I feel for him, dude. I mean, I I have me and that, what's his name again? Uh, Bryson. We have similar situations. Uh, me and my brother share different, we share the same mom, different dads. We're half siblings as well. Huge age gap, 17 years between us. And, uh, you know, I feel him and stuff. I never met my dad either, so... You know, I feel you, I feel you, Bryson, you know, there's stuff that happens that's out of our control and all that, but you know, it's what you make out of the situation that counts and so on and so forth, etc., etc., yada yada. Now, there's something else that I have to do on this computer. What is it? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. I have to upload Estelle's virus. You know what? I'm not going to upload Estelle's virus. I'm going to be an asshole and take it with me. We're going to take it as evidence. Or well, maybe I have to, huh? I'm not sure. Can I just leave without doing it or are they going to be upset? All right, all right. Well, whatever I have to do, I have to definitely uh, decrypt that one thing, right? I'll read some of the messages that he's got uh, from Ayumi Komiko. According to last month's budget reports, you've spent over 10,000 credits and have nothing to show at the review. This has to stop. For the last two years, you've been promising some kind of breakthrough, yet you have absolutely nothing to show with your supposed efforts. I've spoken to Mr. Harada, and we're both very disappointed, but willing to give you another chance you need to bring us something tangible. Spoke to her brother, or his brother, I should say. Uh, from Technician Headlinger, or Helginger. Bryson, we've had to pull storage cell 04 offline again today for full diagnostic. According to our figures, it's reporting only 93% efficiency rating, which indicates that it's slowly but surely in a process of degradation. No, we must get the budget to fix these aging power cells. Or in a few years' time, we could be looking at a total plant shutdown. Oh, man. Well, he should be worried about that. Whoo! A couple of... Wow, a lot of failed experiments. A couple of ongoing ones. And I think one last message. The emergency exit from your office has been complete as per... <laughs> complete Emergency exit, by the way, has been completed as per your specifications. The lift should bring you directly to the surface and can be easily accessed using the standard elevator call system. The cost has been deducted from your personal account as requested. Please let me know if you have any issues with the product. That's probably where the 10,000 credits went, huh? Yeah, he's ready, dude. He's like, if shit hits the fan, I am out of here. I'm gonna take my private elevator go up to my private spaceship and fly. I mean, he is still a bayou. Everybody says he's kind of on the down low, but dude, the bayous are rich. He's probably still rich. All right, there we are. I did upload her virus. Yes, yes. And decryption routine. Here we go, very nice. All right, let's get out of here. Now we have to return to Estelle. She's that one lady over at the... Uh, ooh! Oh, I can't go to the penthouse! Come on, man! Aw, uh, that would have been hilarious. Uh, I just wanted to drink some free alcohol. Yeah, he had an exit plan, huh? He's like, oh, hell no. 
somebody comes in here or the robots go, you know, haywire and stuff, he's out. Smart though, honestly. Very smart, I probably would have done the same thing. Oh yeah, the Astral Lounge, here we go. Which we're already dressed for it. Oh, they cut the music right when I was about to jam. Come on, man. Just about to get down. By the way, it took me forever to find these, but if you notice right at the entrance, right as you come into the Astral Lounge, here's the bounty boards. I know, I Googled it. I was like, where's the bounty boards in the Astral Lounge? All the bars are supposed to have them. It's so right in the entrance. I passed by them a million times. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's yeah, we're the entertainment time. tonight. Get Woo! Zoom and have fun. Yeah, back that ass up. Call me Call Big Daddy when you drink. back that ass it's up. Girl, who was you playing with? Back Come that on, ass man. up. Woo! Go crazy. Yeah. Everybody's looking real good tonight. Drop that beat. VIP area. Good, good, good. Out of the way! There we go. Whew! Oh, it's so loud in there. Uh, I did do the quest where I helped out the DJ, too. DJ Borealis. She was pretty cool. This is actually in the VIP area is actually where I first met Mr. Bayou. Oh, no! Oh! Speaking of Mr. Oh! Speaking of Mr. Bayou, there he is when I turn the corner. Oh no. All right, save it. I'm going to get screamed at, dude. This is my third meeting with him. Ugh. Ah, there you are. Oh no, you? not you again. I believe we have a lot to discuss. Hello, it's Mr. Harada. To meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. Well, that was I assume smart. that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. Maybe? <laughs> I've no clue what you're talking about whatsoever. Oh, I think you do. Please, don't insult my intelligence. This is the guy that you know, runs all of Neon. I should give credit where it's due. Yep, Mr. Bigwig himself. quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. Well, good. The last time you got plenty I'll of credits. You have like hundreds of thousands of credits. For Probably billions of credits. Well, I mean, uh, hmm, I'll remove it for half that amount. As if I know how to do that. Jeez. I ain't no computer technician. Well, uh, I mean, cutting a deal with them might be cheaper than paying to remove the virus. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? Because It's pirates? because I don't negotiate with pirates. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought so. They don't so. understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No, they understand no. guns and For brute your violence. kind, it's only brute force and violence. <laughs> oh, I knew it! Shoot yep. first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. I know, Mr. Bayou. I know. I'm the same way, sadly. Ah. So, uh, oh, man. Hmm. Well, your methods are practically killing your workers, too. You're no different than we are. It may seem that way, but for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I've made two times as many legitimate deals. Look, Lies I'm not and fabrication. Here no, he's I'm here to make an truth. offer. All you oh. have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, oh, man. I'll let you leave the city alive. Do I sell out that one chick? Hmm. It was Brayson Bayou. No, that guy was cool. He didn't do me wrong. It was me. I guess it was me. Hmm. What will happen to that person? Or me, if it was me? You don't have to worry about that in the least. Oh, man. You point me to our little mole, and I'll do the rest. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. Well, I mean, I'll be honest. I didn't really care for her that much. Dude, the Crimson Fleet's going to think I'm a mean old rat, though. Ah, look at his evil smile, too. Yo, welcome back, Kirito. Oh, man. 
gosh, I know, fuzz the sky, right? But then at the same time... Uh, remember, I can't be getting too connected to the Crimson Fleet members, because I do have to betray them eventually. Oh, uh, it was Estelle! It was Estelle Vincent! Oh, I sang like a canary. One of your own, I believe. It was her! Yup. Well, unfortunately for Miss Vincent, she won't be joining us for the rest of her life. Oh man, I just so, killed Estelle! I assume oh this god, I'm a murderer. Our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Well, he kept his oh, side of the deal, at least for now. When you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regards. Okay. Oh man, this is crazy. Ah, uh, so, uh, yeah, anyways, nice to see you again. You, uh, you remember me from those other quests that we, you know, had to come in contact? Hello. Negotiations have ended. Alright, I just wanted to know if maybe you're single and stuff. <laughs> I heard you have a lot of money, Mr. Bayou. <laughs> uh, you want a private dance here? <laughs> I mean, I am in a uniform. Yeah, yeah, you like what you see? Woo! You like what you see, Mr. Bayou? I'll make them cheeks clap. Alright, alright. Gave him a show he won't soon forget. Remember me, Mr. Bayou? When you're next to your wife in bed. <laughs> alright, let's get out of here. I'm a dirty rat. I just ratted out that one lady. Oof. I know, I feel like a scum. You took the blame yourself, smart. <clears throat> That's that was what I was gonna do if I didn't want to rat out that lady, but I mean I don't know. Dude, we could have screwed over his brother too. That's terrible. Well, I'll be honest, Estelle, I literally had contact with her for like what, two to two to five minutes? That was it. You know, she's not one of the uh one of the NPCs that I had a real, like, solid connection with or anything, so... I'm not too disappointed. Alright, wait, what am, what am I doing here? I just kind of went down to Ebb's side. I think I was supposed to go back to my ship, right? Let's see... Yeah, we have to go to the key, huh? Well, okay, let's see. Did I talk to that lady in Euphorica, or was it... No, it was Madame Sauvage's bar, huh? Darn it. Well, I don't really want to talk to her if she, you know, knows that I've betrayed her and stuff. That's not gonna be, you know, the nicest conversation to have. Alright, let's get out of here. Back to the ship. Hey, thank you so much, Dr. Phil. It was good to have you. Thank you for the conversation. Nice to see you again, Dr. Phil. Have a good rest of your night. And thank you for hanging out with me on a Saturday night. That was crazy. Woo! Night, Dr. Phil! Yeah, thank you again. Thank you for your subscription. All of it. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Oh, were they talking about just those cords? You know what? Neon needs some cable management too. <laughs> Look at all these. You know, I've actually never noticed. There are a ton of cables. Everywhere. Well, it makes sense, I guess. There's even a, a billboard that I've never seen up there. I know your type. Three wheel and space ace. And it looks like it's broken. <laughs> At least a little bit. Oh no, it's like showing somebody's face or something, but just in pieces. That is a weird billboard, though. Image is everything, it says. Oh, there we go! Finally, the whole picture. I'm mesmerized, I can't stop watching. All right. Stay out of trouble or what? Let me get my personal atmosphere ready because I am a little bit over encumbered. 
No worries though, we're going back to our ship right now. Yep, spaceport terminal. Sounds about right. Excellent. Yeah, have a good night. Night night indeed. Night night. And that goes to everybody too. Thank you so much for being here, escapees. Good stream. Good chat. Thank you for all the support too. Oh, do you get scanned? Yeah, I don't got no drugs on me this time. I'm good, I'm clean, I'm clean, I swear. Maybe a little drug residue on the uh, the outfit, but that's about it. I swear, I swear. All right. Uh, I think Fuzzy way earlier suggested I get my ship fixed or something. I'll check to see if I need anything, any repairs. Don't worry, your ship's in good hands. I think it's this Got guy, anything right? you need to offload? Trade authority is always uh, by. Kiosk right here for you. Actually, I might take you up on that, but just repair my ship real quick. Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. Oh, okay, never mind then. <laughs> I was just about to give him a thousand credits for nothing. He could have bamboozled me if he wanted. All right, well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right, now I gotta sell some stuff here. Let's see. Yeah, I'll get rid of that pistol. This suppressed gun is not too bad. It's kind of cool. I don't have that many 45 rounds, though. I guess I'll sell it. Uh, not the ammunition. Uh, I don't want to sell any of my cool spacesuits. I think I'm wearing that backpack, so I'll get rid of that one. Oh, they don't have that much money? Oh, okay. Oh, I must have spent it all on that one, uh, on that weapon I sold, huh? All right, all right, never mind then. Never mind. I'll leave this stuff in the cargo then. Let's see, for now, just because it's a little bit heavy, I'll drop that. The extra backpacks and yeah that toy motorcycle that I picked up there's a lot of different variations of this particular decoration so I think I have at least three of them by now All right, I'll drop those off there too cool all right, should be good now. Not over encumbered anymore. All right, let's get out of here, you guys. Man, that was crazy. I wonder if I'm gonna get in trouble for ratting out that one chick. Oh well. Oh well, too bad. That's my spaceship right there, you guys. Um, yeah, every time I leave Neon, dude, it looks like I'm gonna hit that building right there on, as we leave. Uh, but yeah, that spaceship used to be either an Ecliptic or a Crimson Fleet spaceship. I ended up picking it up uh, after it landed on a planet that I was scanning and stuff. I went to go fight the people and then nobody was around, so I'm like, let me board the ship, and I was able to drive it away. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yoink, come on now. All right, next thing's next. We have to go back to the key, which I believe is in the Crix solar system. All right, escapees. Here we go again on our road. There we go. Excellent. Real quick, I do want to say, if you've been enjoying the stream, please consider hitting that follow button for us here on Twitch. Thank you to all our followers today. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to find any of my social media, you can find me at soul underscore escape, capital S-O-U-L underscore 3-S-C-4-P-3, S-O-U-L underscore 3-S-C-4-P-3. All the links are in the chat right there. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all that good stuff, escapees. Soul underscore escape. 
Snapchat, a little bit of a name change. That one is S O U L 0 U R 3 S C A P E. S O U L 0 U R 3 S C A P E. And my gamer tag on the Xbox Series X is Soul Space Escape, capital S O U L. Hit the space bar 3 S C 4 P 3. S O U L space 3 S C 4 P 3. We are currently at 9,800 followers. Thank you so much, you guys. Couldn't have done it without your help. Your host retweets people in chat lurkers. Thank you, escapees. Yeah. Just doing the spiel real quick because I knew we had a couple loading screens. All right. Oh, Neva. We save it. She's going to be pissed, dude. I did rat out somebody, but it was to save my own skin. What would a, a pirate do, right? What would a raider do? You know damn well they'd sing like a canary. Some of them would. Especially if it's not your best friend, you know. Hello, Neva. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. What? Uh, wait a minute. Why? Uh, you don't want to happen... You don't want to hear what happened in Neon? Hooray! You got the conduction gizmo. You did exactly what we asked you to do. Good work, pat on the head. Good, I wanted the pat on the head. Something? I just said there's an emergency. Well, yeah, I mean, what? Did somebody overcook a potato in the microwave? What kind of emergency goes on around here? Oh, that's hilarious. You're a real comedian, you know that? Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Well, what do they need a rook for? Ooh, got some money, hell yeah. 10,000 credits? That's actually really, really nice. Damn. And then she walks off slow as can be too. Did she walk off or did she? Actually, maybe she ran, huh? Oh no, she just kind of disappeared. <laughs> maybe she ran. Those crabs ain't gonna steal themselves. Oh. oh, there she is. Neva, I thought you said there was an emergency. What are you, like the door greeter or something? They need my help more than hers, Parents apparently. About the mantis being back. All right, all right. Oh, shiz, did you hear what that guy said? He said, I heard something about the mantis being back. Dude, that's us. We went and got the mantis ship the other day. Oh. Oh, yeah, Delgado and Jazz. All right, all right. Let's see what they want. Hello? I heard there's an emergency. Defense batteries up and running. No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. Delgado's kind of short. I never using realized. Duct tape and spit to keep the station. Am I taller than him? You want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. With the hat, I am. I want definitely. to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? I was listening. Jeez. All right. Well, uh, I mean, well, you know. Information for information. What's this about defensive batteries? What's going on? Nothing you need to worry about. I want to know. Stay in your own space lane and let Jazz do I'm that job. I'm nosy. Now, do you have what we sent you to Neon for or not? Of course. Why would I be back if I didn't have it here? Ah, uh, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, Who? that's real funny. Oh, Jazz? All oh, right, listen you got up, in trouble, because Jazz. I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, <gasps> oh, I want no. you to head straight for Bannock 4 what a and surprise. bring Pix's legacy home. Oh, man. Uh, uh, oh, gosh. How do you know? Wow. Who let the, the freaking info loose that Sysdef is massing for an attack? Who's the snitch besides us? I have a very reliable source at Mast. They were so concerned that the threat was real. Oh god, I'm surprised they haven't ratted me out. Right away. Jabus. Oh man, alright, uh I'd rather stay here and fight with you guys. No. I need you to stay the course and bring that money back to the fleet. Lay it out, Jess. Alright, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install guy a conduction grid module not onto your ship. Mm. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Ugh. Once your ship is ready, on my jump ship, out the uh, form, I'll have to use one of my crappy ones that I don't care about. And bring us the cash. 
Oh, man. All right, well, uh... On the off chance, I mean, we have been... working on this on the basis of a rumor what if nothing's there when I get to the planet Banach 4? You better pray that isn't the case. Oh god. Because that means we are done. As in no more Crimson Fleet. Oh man, we're banking on this last mission apparently. Wow. Alright, well uh sounds simple enough. He just wants me to modify my ship a little bit. Nothing around here is simple. Del's right. You have okay. to follow these steps carefully, or don't bother coming back. Well, I'm After gonna try. The legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any Ooh. bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. He thinks Only I'm gonna run off with the like money. It's hilarious. Be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. All right. Well, uh, what if Shinya can't crack the encryption, though? That would be a first. I have yet to see encrypted currency that Shinya could not manipulate within hours. I mean, the guy plugs his body directly into his mainframe. He eats, breathes, and shits numbers all day. <laughs> no, I'm not worried about him. Okay. Hey, yeah, of course I'll bring it here. I'm not a traitor. I am no traitor. Are you kidding? Everyone around here is a traitor. Look, we are for the right amount of money. I'm gonna make this <laughs> real simple. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Yeah, that's what Math is said. Moving. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Install both the comm spike module and the conduction grid module onto our ship. All right. Well, uh, okay. Well, before I leave, Degato, a couple of extra questions. Is there more to Crix's legacy than just the money? What else goes along with the story? The Crimson Fleet isn't really a fleet. It's an ideal, a principle that Crix sought to set up so that pirates didn't infight over scraps. Over time, that notion has been lost. Captains have been turning their backs on the fleet, doing jobs on the side. And <laughs> doing jobs on the side. Each other. Killing Bringing each other, Crix's oh yikes. Bringing legacy back to the fleet would be like validating everything Jasper Crix believed in. And I'm certain it would unify us once again. Of course, it wouldn't exactly hurt to have all that extra money at our disposal. But I think you catch my meaning. Yes, yes, no, it wouldn't. So... You're basically chasing this, not just for the credits, Delgado. You want to bring the Crimson Fleet back together and back to its former glory. Ah, makes sense. Who are these other captains you keep mentioning? Are Where are they? To? You've met some of them already. Matis Castillo, Yevgeny Rokov, Juan Dayu, Estelle Vincent, and Adler Camp. Oh man, they I got a couple like of them. independence to you, but each one of them has a stake in the Crimson Fleet. And each one of them wants a cut of I've betrayed a couple of I'm those guys. I'm sending out to every able-bodied captain that they are needed. We'll see how many answer the call. Uh, with that, if anybody's played this mission, with that first guy, Mathis Castillo, I ended up putting a bad word during that one, a bad word for him, um, during that one lock, abandoned prison quest and stuff. And so he got kicked out of the fleet. Dude, he was so pissed. Whew. He said he was going to find us and attack us, which he did when I was playing off stream. But before he could attack, I grab jumped away. So I've been hoping that he'd find us on stream and stuff, but so far, no luck. So he's still out there floating with his grudge and all that. So what's your biggest worry with the upcoming attack with the UC and stuff? What do you fear the most? The toughest nut to crack is if UC Sysdef brings in the Vigilance. Uh-oh, which they're going to bring in. has himself a hell of a ship there. A oh, they know about Commander Gandhi. Whistling with weapons. I would love to see that thing burn. Oh. If we hope to stand a chance against it, we need those defensive batteries and Griggs's legacy. All right, then uh, we'll see how it goes. Now get your ass to Bannock 4. Try my best. Uh, it says to talk to Jasmine. What do you want, Jasmine? Hey, out of the way, Delgado. 
I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Uh, all right. Um, how will the comp spike module help me find the legacy? The comp spike traces and decrypts coded signals. As long as you have the transponder ID, you can track pretty much anything. That file you lifted from the Galbank archives contained the legacy's transponder code, which I'll program into your nav system. All you I have to do that. is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, and the comm spike will automatically point you to the target. Cute toy, huh? Very nice. Sounds easy. And the conduction grid module, what's that going to do? It's going to reflect that electricity or what? Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on neon. Yes. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy, like, say, the EM fields surrounding Bannock 4, but it can't store the power. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull, insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield regen. <laughs> Lucky you. That's kind of cool, but I don't want that on my ship forever, though. Uh, what about the key's defensive batteries? That's something you're working on, right? There are three defensive batteries, basically high-powered military space turrets triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive as hell to keep operational. All right. <laughs> well, good luck with those, Jazz. So I'm assuming I have her installed the modules on my ship. I wanted to switch out ships so I could use one of my crappier ones and I didn't have to mod out my own, but all right, whatever. Help me out then. Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. All right. Uh, hey, you got some ships for sale? Cool. All right, I'll view and modify. Sounds like fun. Let's see what I've got. All right, I might be able to still stick that on my other ship here. Let's see, the Frontier. No, not the Frontier. I have this crappy one that I could care less about. Uh, Best Cargo is a cool one. I actually kind of like the ship. I don't want to ruin it. Oh man, my Watermelon Razor Leaf. This is the one we got from the Mantis. I just changed the color and stuff. Oh, okay, maybe this one, the Ecliptic Bayonet. I stole this one too from a uh, Ecliptic members, different space pirates. All right, we'll do this one. Uh, now I have to, uh, let's see, hmm. oh man, yes lady, my dog's barking, don't know what, what for, <laughs> um, let me see, oh god, I forgot exactly what I was supposed to install again, I'm guessing it's just in, in the weapons category, right? No, nothing in there. Mm, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, let me see, let me see. Probably just upgrade ship. And we need the... It's none of these, that's for sure. Not gonna be in the weapon category. Hmm. All right, do I really have to put it on my my nice ship? Or am I just looking in the wrong area? I could be looking in the wrong area. Oh, here we go, here we go. That's the grav drives and the shields. All right, let me get the exact Hold on there, Jasmine. What exactly do I need to install? Calm spike module. And what else? 
Conduction grid module. Calm spike module, conduction grid module. All right. Try that again. All right, Jasmine. I need to get those Calm spike conduction on, grid. So make this fast. All right, all right, all right. Not a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Calm Let spike that conduction grid. We can have at it. Calm spike conduction grid. <laughs> Just so I don't forget. Okay, let me see if I can throw it on this one here. Ship builder. And I need a... Let's see. Calm spike. Ah, here we are. There we go. Found him. I know, dude, it was so hard when I started working on uh, building ships and stuff. I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, conduction grid. Alright, let's see. I don't know where I'll put this, just honestly, anywhere. There we go, looks great. Well, I don't know, maybe I should take my proper ship, though. Oh, fine, let me put it on my damn proper ship. No, cancel that. Yeah, it doesn't look like it ruins too many things. Alright, ship builder, go to a little center. There we are. Alright, conduction grid. Pull that over here. Oh, I have no areas to hook that up. God damn it. Oh, there's it's always one thing or another, isn't it? All right, all right, all right, fine. Okay, other ship, other ship. Cancel all of that. Cancel everything. I need to get those defenses. I know, I know. Sorry, Not a Jasmine. Oh. I'm just wondering what ship I'm going to use. All right, all right. Okay. Here we go. I could use my S Cargo. This one's not a bad ship either. It's kind of cool. All right, fine. Yeah, use the S Cargo. If it lets me, that is. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go ship builder. Press the A button there. And now, okay, good. We have at least a couple of places we can put this. I'll put that right there. Oops, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, cancel. Hold on, I'm not done with this yet. What's the warning, by the way? Oh, I have to reduce the mass. Oh, great. Oh, it's it's only a warning, though. Okay, it's not a, a requirement just yet. All right, all right. And then the next thing is we need to add on the calm spike as well. What was that signal jammer that I saw? That's kind of interesting. Uh, how do I rotate this? There was a button to rotate at one time. I don't know how to do it now. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that there. Good. Wait, wait, not, not ready yet. All right, now what is this scan jammer? That's kind of cool. Scan jammer that increases your chance of evasion during a ship scan by 10% if you're using a shielded cargo module and carrying contraband. Cool, not bad. All right, well, I don't need that just yet. All right, let's save it and shave it just like that. Now, hopefully, um, can I also make this my home ship that I'm going to use for a little bit? Alright, there we go. Cool. This, this ship's pretty nice. I like it. It has a huge storage capacity. That's why I'm like, I'll keep this one. And I changed the color on it, of course. Alright, uh, looks good. Ah, uh, yeah, they were in equipment. True, true. Yep, yep. Alright. Thank you, Jasmine. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I thought everybody was there. Uh, thanks for coming in to chat, too. <laughs> I was like, oh, everyone's gone, pretty much. I'm talking to myself now. No, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it, everyone. Uh, okay. So, that was that there. Next thing's next. I'm gonna save it. Save it and shave it. At least, you know what? Let's do a hard save. A little bit of a hard save. So, before everything goes down, am I supposed to... 
yeah, yeah, that's what I was wondering. I'm like, am I supposed to go talk to the uh, the vigilance, or you know, are we just gonna go do this thing, or what's going on here? Yeah, I have the proper modules <clears throat> installed in my ship to penetrate the EM field, ho ho ho, uh, surrounding Bannock 4. Before I proceed to Bannock 4, though, I should report my progress to Commander Iconde over at the vigilance. Ooh, all right. And we gotta turn in that evidence that incriminates uh, that one person. Oh wait, no, we actually, no, you're right. I already turned her into Mr. Bayou, didn't I? Oops. Well, then she's been dealt with. No so worries about you that. On my tail and my well, Neva, I'll be honest, that emergency wasn't really a huge emergency after all. You're just telling me what was going on. Which is basically, he knows that the Vigilance is preparing an attack, so... I'm gonna go rat out the rat, dude. I'm gonna rat out the rat in the Vigilance. Be like, you got somebody working for the Crimson Fleet here on your ship, dude. Come on, Commander Akande, wake up, bro. How did you not know? Imagine not knowing there was a rat on your ship. Last time we'll ever see the key operational. No, I'm just joking. I'm sure we'll see them again. All right, back to the vigilance though. Yes, lady, what you barking? Who you barking? Oh, the vigilance is actually, wow, they were a lot farther away. They are like right next to us now. <laughs> well, hello there, vigilance. Literally right next door. Alright, three, two, one, hit it! There we go. <sighs> yeah, they are getting ready, dude. Oh my gosh. If they haven't seen this fleet creeping up on them by now, I don't know what they're looking at then. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Level 100 spaceship. Damn. Remind me not to make the UC Vigilance angry. Alright. Let's go. Gotta go uh, give Commander Ikande the big news. Honestly, I am gonna tell about that guy. I'm gonna be like, hey, there's a rat on the boat somewhere. And he's been feeding info the to Captain Delgado back there. Where it goes. <laughs> All right. Oh man, I'm nervous. Hello. Oh also man, Commander Ikande. Good. Yeah, it's crazy. After we're done here, arrange it briefly. I want all of their CEOs over here as soon as possible. Yes, yeah, it's sir. hustling and bustling in here. They even have the background noise going. Ooh. My family's all in the UC Navy. But being Sounds sister, like a bar in here. Like a we Commander? There you are. Where have you been? I've been doing what you told me to do. Oh my gosh, these people think, what, what do they think I'm doing? I thought I'd take a detour, of course, you know, sightsee a little bit. If I were you, I'd check my dome. I'm in no mood. <laughs> I've received well, the reports sorry. about your little foray into Genadyne. Last piece of the puzzle before you go after Crix's legacy. Yes. Which means it's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. All right. Well, uh, wow. Whew, it's a little bit crazy. They're, uh, they're quite in a panic over there, to be honest. Good. The more confusion and panic we cause, the more damage we can potentially inflict. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The okay. credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, 
UCC's death won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. Oh, man. Whew, that's crazy. Well, uh, <laughs> I suppose running off with the money and keeping it for myself is out of the question. <laughs> that's terrible. I mean, but it is, uh, you know, it's an option, right? I'm pretty sure you're joking. <laughs> but just in case you're fishing for what I'd say, I can tell you this. That I'm money curious. doesn't belong to you, or the Crimson Fleet, or even UCC's death. It was for war reparations and belongs to the people. Oh, you got Gallo me with the honor, Texas dude. Medicine, oh. Keeping it for yourself would have extremely serious repercussions. Oof. Which means probably all of UC will hate me. And all of the rest of their quest lines would be locked out. As a good character, that wouldn't be too good for me. All right, well, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bring it back here. I'm not going to let you down, sir. You're not doing it for me. You're doing it for the security of the well, settled systems. You know what I mean, Commander. All right, I guess this is it. I Do won't let the people you down need to then, do all right? The and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Fix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. Right. What uh, what happens to Crix's legacy after I bring it back, though? Just curious. During the end of the Narion War, the money was destined to bolster the Freestar Collective's coffers. Even though we were rivals at the time, and I suppose like she... we still are oh, to some extent, the credit still yeah, yeah, rightfully yeah. belongs to the She looks like people. she could be bothered less. After the money is like... turned over to Mast, I'm certain arrangements will be <laughs> oh, made checking to return that watch, the money huh? to the proper authorities in Aquila City. Oh, it's going back to Aquila? Oh, man. All right. Uh, how do you finally convince the U.S., or excuse me, the U.C. to actually authorize this attack? The evidence you've been bringing to Lieutenant Toft has been instrumental in convincing oh, the brass the at Mast to greenlight the attack. They've sent us support ships, extra troops, weapons, all on account of your role in the operation. But it seems yeah. if it wasn't for you, this operation would be at a standstill. Well, it's nice to finally get a somewhat of a thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thank you, Commander Conde. Um, I don't know. Can you t tell me more about my expected behavior? I mean, we should, probably should have been over this in Please. the beginning, but... While you're running with the Crimson Fleet, you're undoubtedly going to be faced with some... Yeah, well, this is probably something we should have discussed earlier. It's going to be difficult for you to weigh the consequences of pulling the trigger while maintaining your cover. Do what you have to do, but remember why you're out there in the remember first Remember when place. I got screamed at by this guy for killing one dude? Gosh, he's like, you killed so many people, rah. It was one guy. Anyways, uh, I mean, you know, what if I don't have a choice? Then you do what you have to do. The Crimson uh -huh. Fleet has the potential to kill and hundreds, I did what I had to do with thousands that one guy. of people per year. If it takes a few deaths to maintain your cover, then so be it. But I'll only see. as an absolutely I was final pressured resort. to kill that one guy. This is not I a licensed continue. killing spree. Wink. Understood? No. All right. No, I do understand. All my hopes go with you. Good luck. Oh, man. Was that it, though? Hey, Operation can we finally talk, work. Lieutenant Toff? Has anything on your mind? Setting up outposts out there. Well, um... time before we take hmm. them down. I do have some evidence. Well I done. Think. Let's see what you found. I grabbed this from a Jenardine executive's office. I think that's the one from oh, from Ayumi or whatever. Oh, well, who cares about Benjamin her? Benjamin Bayou, pride oh, of the Benjamin. Free Star Collective. The authorities yeah. there have been trying to nail him for a long time. Bringing us proof nice. that he's been manipulating Jenardine from the shadows is pretty tasty stuff. The FC will pay dearly for this. Good job. Find anything else? Uh, I think that's it for right. now. Keep up the good work. Hope I got some money for that. Well, uh, so now that we're done with that and almost done with the mission, won't well, feel like talking about the past? You're not gonna let this go, are you? <laughs> why do you care so much about my past? Because I want to know why you have such a grudge against the uh, Crimson Fleet. Who did they kill? Who was it? Family members? I mean, I don't know. You're the one that implied you had something to tell me. You're right. I did. I suppose I'm hesitating because I'm not sure you'll like what I have to say. What, what she used to be one? you to learn that I spent some time in prison? Oh! 
I suppose that makes me a hypocrite. Oh, well, uh, no. I mean, I am shocked, though. Good. I like keeping you on your toes. Maybe I should explain. I grew up in the well in New Atlantis. Parents Not made well. barely enough money to keep the lights on in our apartment. After I dropped out of school, they begged for me to look for work. But I realized it was a lot easier to simply take whatever I wanted instead. A year oh. after that, I'm a career criminal with UC stealing. security breathing down my neck and my parents kicking me out of the house. Ooh, well, this is juicier than I could have ever hoped for. Well, I mean, you know, it, uh, it happens. You did what you had to do sometimes. I mean, that's just it, though. I was having the time of my life, earning way more than I needed to simply get by and loving every minute of it. Back then, if you he loved being a thief, one day I'd be wearing this uniform. I'd have said you were out of your mind. And at the top, almost the top rank of lieutenant. That's pretty good. I know, right? And yet, look at you now. Yeah, did the UC rec eventually recruit you too? Are you like me? Hmm, very funny. And not even relatively oh. close. Well, they recruited me. Let's just say the years after my Because I got in, in trouble for contraband. With highs and lows. Now here I am. Look, the point is that I felt you deserved to know a bit about my past. To know where my anger towards the fleet comes from. I thought it was something worse, to be honest. I mean, you know. Um, yeah, but being a criminal in New Atlantis is a long way from running with the fleet. The fleet actually kills people, unless maybe she killed someone. <laughs> Longer than you can possibly imagine. Well, <laughs> I think you've had enough for now. <laughs> you get the point. Let's get back to it before Keyboy writes us a citation for loitering. All right, all right. Oh, we have a raid! Yo, what's up? Ice Cream Mikey, thank you for the raid. Yeah, it belongs to the people. Give the money back to the people. Thank you, Ice Cream. Much appreciated. Let me uh, give you that shout out right here. Ooh, thank you, thank you. Escape still please there? consider checking out like Ice Cream Mikey. And nothing. I'm busy right now, Lieutenant Toft. There we go. <laughs> I'm thanking somebody here. Thank you, Ice Cream Mikey. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, well, let's see. I'm going to get some dirt from her, just some info about what's going to happen. So when I bring back Crypt's legacy, are you going to be able to decrypt it? Once I bring it back here to the Vigilance? Even as long ago as the Narian War, Galbank used an extremely potent level of encryption on their currency. Unfortunately, the yeah. online ciphers are lost to time. Still, However, involved, if you can bring us one of Galbank's old Perhaps. transfer modules, I know it would help. Don't system. worry, I'm sure some of the techs at Mass will be able to work with whatever you bring to reverse the encryption. Our gunship showing up on their doorstep right. seen as neighborly. Fleet. Ooh, now everybody's having their here. background conversations. No, sir. Uh, uh, okay, we already asked that one. Are you familiar with the Key's defenses? You're about to go to war with them. Anything you can tell us would be helpful. Oh, uh, let me see. Well... Yeah, Jasmine Duran's trying to get some uh, defensive batteries online. You might want to try to thwart that. I was afraid of that. I'll warn our ships to use looser formations. Hopefully Durand isn't as clever as she thinks she is, or you can help us take the batteries down when the attack begins. Was that all? Oh god, I hope so. Um, well, they're also rounding up as many captains as they can, so they'll have a, at least a few of them. Yeah, I heard they some of them are fired. Some of the contacts you met. They're writing an awful lot of checks they can't cover without Crix's legacy, but we'll be ready for them. Anything else? All right, well, that's it for now. Okay, well, if anything else springs to mind before you leave, <laughs> dude, I am ratting so hard. All right, um, let's see. Will I have access to any of these resources while I'm undercover? Wait, I, I probably should ask that a long time ago. We'll provide you with information, but any inventory or ship services, it's best you get from the fleet. It'll help you maintain your cover and also give you an idea of how the fleet's operation works. All right, and uh, any other background information? They're pirates in every sense of the word, but they've managed to get more organized under their current leadership. That makes them especially dangerous, but hopefully it makes them a little more predictable, too. All right. 
You come back alive. Let's get out of here me. then. Whew, all right, Commander, Lieutenant. Man, this is gonna be crazy. Any final well, words, Lieutenant? I, I mean, Commander. The first place I'm jumping. Uh, I don't know. Let's just ask him. What's the primary directive of cis death? Our directive is simple. We are tasked with the eradication of space piracy in the settled systems. As the chief source of pirate activity, the Crimson Fleet is our primary target. They've been hunting them for a very long time. Stay focused All right. and be careful out there. Woo! All right, next time I see you, I don't know. It's gonna be crazy, Commander. It's gonna be crazy. All right, escapees, and with that, I will leave it there. We're ending on a cliffhanger again, you guys. So we're right on the cusp where we have to actually go and pick up Crick's legacy. Everything, this thing, this, the scene has been set. The pieces of the puzzle have been laid out. All we gotta do is get to that planet, Banach 4. I'll get us to the orbit and stuff, and then we'll go ahead and, you know, continue from there, I guess. There we go. But I do want to say thank you so much, you guys, for hanging out. If you enjoyed the stream, please consider checking out some of my social media. You can find me at soul underscore escape. That's capital S-O-U-L underscore 3-S-C-4-P-3. S-O-U-L underscore 3-S-C-4-P-3. All of the links right there you can find in the chat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Discord, all that good stuff, you guys. Uh, I hope to be back. If not tomorrow, then we'll get back on this Monday see what we can do escapees I don't know gonna be interesting we, we definitely we've been working on this for a while wait a minute let me scan this real quick all right yeah we've been working on this mission for a while honestly the only reason I'm doing this is because I got caught with contraband one day and I got thrown in jail and then all of a sudden they're like hey I have a proposition for you and if you say no we're gonna put a whole bunch of credits on your bounty so you can't pay it and I'm like oh damn it so that's how I got wrapped up into this whole uh, UC defense versus uh, Crimson Fleet nonsense. Yeah, where's uh, where's Bannock 4? Oh, it's on the other side. Oh, crap. Well, god damn, it's way over there. Level 50. All right, it's actually not crazy far of a jump. All right, let's go. I'll stay floating out in that area. Oh man, that's wild, you guys. Thank you again for the awesome stream, escapees. Thank you, lurkers, people in chat earlier. Oh, here we are. Oh wow, that's crazy. Woo! All right, I'm gonna save it and shave it right there. Excellent. And with that, my friends, let's uh, let's take a little screenshot too. All right, one of those should work. Good, good. And with that, thank you so much, escapees. Hopefully, we'll catch you next stream. Once again, hit the follow button to get notified on when the next stream will be. Uh, most likely Monday. I might show up, you know, tomorrow though. Never know. We'll see see how it goes but yeah thank you again escapees go ahead and take some of the soul gems that i just dropped in chat it is 11:59. wow almost made it into sunday i uh, probably will by the end of uh the spiel right here sad to say i don't have any streamers that i know that are streaming right now Besides a few partnered ones, but they're good, you guys. They got like a thousand viewers. <laughs> All right, escapees, thank you again, you guys, for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I will catch you next time. Uh, we are still doing October dress up days, so today was good old schoolgirl. However, I was being naughty. I did finish this little tiny bottle of alcohol. It was Chi Chi's Pina Colada, 12.5% alcohol, right there. We did drink that a little bit earlier in this lovely glass cup. We're smoking a little herb and stuff, so <laughs> kind of funny. I, I don't know. I thought it was ironic. It's like, hey, you're supposed to be a schoolgirl. 
I was telling people, don't tell the teacher, don't tell the principal on me. Yada, 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 all that. Have a good night, Fuzzy. Thank you for keeping me company. And as always, my friends, ever onward, ever forward. Catch you next time on the Soul Stream. Bye, everybody. Peace. See you later.